It has almost been three years of Duel Monsters on this world. And for this entire last year of Duel Monsters, we have had the champion of the D, the King of Games. Which means that we are coming up against on his anniversary, his first anniversary. There has only been one other champion that has actually had an anniversary right as they quit being King of Games, and that was Yuki Muto. So, for the anniversary, the King of Games, the D, has decided he will be throwing a very large tournament, inviting all the pro players, and he will also be inviting the winner of today's minor league tournament. On top of that, he will also be releasing five golden cards that will be uh, hidden in any pack in the world. So, any five characters that find these golden cards will be invited to the big tournament to become King of Games, yet to be named. So, for today's tournament of the minor league, the winner will also get a shot at the pros and a shot at being king of games if they can defeat not just the D, but everyone else that shows up to that big tournament. Today, we are going to be going through our character roundup of minor league duelists. Duelists that aren't quite good enough to be pro, aren't brave enough to go to the underworld, and could also be virtual league members, but they're, they're using their real life decks today in the minor league. So... Without further ado, let's get into our character roundup. Fortuno! Fortuno stages events where he predicts which duelist will win in the Pro League. In other words, Fortuno has started his own underground betting league. And he is one of the best predictors there are and has managed to make a lot of money this way. He hopes to earn his own Pro slot so he can man start manipulating the betting pool. This is his big chance to scam big. This is what I have been waiting for. Fortuno, a character that was always an average duelist, is now going to try and go pro, not for glory, not for the ability to be the best duelist in the world, but to be able to get everybody to bet on him or against him, and then he freaking like throws the duel <laughs> just, to, just to earn a bunch of money in the pro league. So we'll see if that happens. His prediction skills about which pro is going to win which duel is actually pretty decent. But if he becomes a pro, it's going to be a lot easier to predict who wins. And his betting pools will start to go his way every time. Beluga! Beluga is a major player in the Game Boy Advance Virtual League. He swiped a spot in the minor league when he heard the winner of the tournament was going to be invited to the Illusion Park event. That's right, everyone. The big event, the big tournament will be taking place in Illusion Park, the brand new Industrial Illusion theme park created by Maximilian Pegasus. Beluga wants to go there and he wants to become pro. He always did, even back when uh, he was, you know, a little bit mind controlled by his V pet. But now that he's defeated his V pet, he's going to work really hard with his 3000 needles deck. And honestly, I think he has a fair chance. He's got a lot of new beast support and he's, he's a really cool duelist to watch duel. Tomoya Greendale! Tomoya Greendale has been trying to chase the high he got in high school. Back then, he was sponsored by Zombire, and he enters today's tournament to try and go pro and spread the word of Zombire yet again. Yeah, he peaked in high school, he was really excited about being sponsored for that small amount of time he was, but now that he's not sponsored anymore, less and less people are watching the Zumbira show, so he's bringing back his Zumbira deck today in the minor league, and if he can go pro, he could show everyone how cool a Zumbira deck is, and maybe get people to watch the show as well as earn himself a Zumbira uh, sponsorship. Ribbon! Ribbon has been working at the Domino High Library after graduation. In between work and reading, she has been following Taya Gardner's career. She really wants to duel Taya Gardner again because honestly she's developed a slight crush for that character. The Taya Gardner we know is one of the strongest duelists in the pro league and one of the most consistent duelists we've ever seen. Ribbon is one of the few characters that have actually defeated Taya Gardner in a tournament. So she wants to get another shot again against Taya just to show her how how strong she's gotten. But we don't know if she could do it. Her book deck or library deck is pretty interesting. And her Chaos Command Magician is still a legit powerful card. But we'll see how it performs in the minor league tournament today. 
Mr. Periwig, Minor League. Mr. Periwig has been obsessed with entering the Pro League ever since the Big Bang. He joined the Minor League as soon as he heard that the winner of today's tournament can join the Pro Tourney. Mr. Periwig is obsessed with somebody in the Pro League after the Big Bang has happened. We don't know which pro he's talking about, but there's someone up there he really wants to meet, or worse. But we won't know if he'll be able to do this and accomplish his goals unless he can go pro, which he's going to need to win today's tournament to do. Mr. Karita! Mr. Karita isn't exactly Mr. Karita anymore. He was fired from Domino High and now works at the local car wash. No wife, no good job, and still living in his car. But at least he gets to clean it for free. When he heard about the fact that you could go pro and that this could be his way to earn some uh, quick cash and, you know, some money, he decided to enter the minor league, which, which honestly, he still has his deck that he spent $100 on, and it is still pretty darn decent, even to this day. So we'll see if his reptile deck can take him all the way. Miss Chono! Miss Chono has been dueling all her new students into submission since Yugi graduated. She really wants to join the Illusion Park tournament as she believes Yugi could show up. She only speculates that that could happen. Honestly, I don't think that Yugi would show up to such an event. But Miss Chono is convinced that he will show up sometime and that this big event might be the time that he'll do it. So, in order to get her revenge, she must go pro today. Natalie! Minor League. Natalie has been attending Domino University as of late. She is studying to become an actress, but her fallback career is to work with animals. She loves dueling and believes going pro could start her career. Honestly, if you want to start any career in social media or popularity or even acting, go pro in the Duel Monsters universe and that probably will get you started. So, we're going to see if Natalie can pull that off today with her upgraded beast deck. Honestly, her beast deck is also pretty darn decent, but her boss monster could use a little work. Bright Abyss! After Bright failed to become King of Hell, she lost hope at getting her revenge. She now knows that she can get a real shot by winning today's tourney or by pulling one of the five golden cards. So, Bright Abyss's goal is to get revenge for what happened to Odelia. The only way she can pull that off is by going into the Pro League and uh, going to the big Illusion Park tournament. She can't pull that off yet because she is not a pro. Therefore, she must join the minor league as this tournament is a quick way to go ahead and uh, get in there. So, if she wins today, she'll have a chance to get revenge for her sister, who is still in a coma. Simon Stone. Simon Stone has been working hard. He works two jobs and has managed to hold a spot in the minor league. He hopes to take his Rock Dragon deck all the way to the pro league. Simon Stone still dreams about being a pro, even if just for a short while, but honestly, his Rock deck is not the worst in the world. The only problem is, and I'm going a little off script here, Mega Stone Dragon is a great card, or Mega Rock Dragon is a great card, but the AI sucks at using it in Master Era, so that just, it's his pro it's his fault. If he draws it late, maybe it'll be good, but just good, good luck to you, Simon Stone. Jamie Inferno! Jamie barely managed to graduate from Domino High. He has struggled to find a job since most businesses have seen his criminal record. He lives at home and uses the minor league money to buy cards. You earn insanely bad money in the minor league, like it is not a job, it is barely anything. It's like a side hustle at best and it's not a hustle, you, like you're not making much money for, per duel. But if Jamie can go pro, he might finally have a job, which is being a pro duelist, and he can start his life anew. A lot of people won't forget about his criminal record, but honestly, I think he deserves a second chance, so hopefully Jamie can do it with the card he got from burning down a card shop. Ray Tortimer. Ray has been going to counseling classes. These help with her outbursts when her turtle cards get destroyed. She has even got to a point where she uses more than just turtle cards. That's right, everybody. Ray Tortimer, a character that's obsessed with turtles in real life and in Duel Monsters, has actually been getting some counseling about that and is doing a lot better now. Her deck has even improved since she's taken out a lot of turtle cards. She still uses some powerful turtle cards and uh, has added some support for them. So, we'll see if Ray Tortimer can do it today. If you like turtle decks, this is your character. Johnny Steps? 
Johnny hasn't been dancing like he used to. People just aren't hiring him like they used to as well, and the pro league was too hard to get back into. He fights in the minors, hoping to go pro again. That's right. The pro league has actually become a much harder place to go pro in ever since the D has started changing the regulations. You can't just challenge somebody for their spot now, you have to do it in an official event. And because of that, it's much harder to become a pro leaguer because that means if you become pro, you can just not accept a duel, which is pretty freaking not okay. So the only way Johnny can do it now is by breaking through the minor league tournament and just becoming number one. So we'll see if he can do it. Sammy Trunks. Sammy has always wanted to go pro after Pegasus gave him his elephant deck. He duels in the minor league with a hard-hitting strategy. We shall see if this deck can help him go pro. So, Sammy Trunks has improved his elephant deck since Pegasus has given it to him. He's still a young kid, but he has been able to hold a spot in the minor league, which his parents take him to every time he has to duel. And he does a really good job, so we're going to see if Sammy can go all the way and become a pro leaguer today. Bruce Ryu! Bruce escaped the long arm of the law and now earns a meager salary in the minor league. He keeps himself one step ahead of the cops by using his dueling alias, Bruce Ryu, and a disguise. So he basically disguises himself while he duels and Bruce Ryu is still using a freaking Master Monk combo fighter deck. It's a pretty interesting deck, it's hard hitting with some decent spells and traps to support it. But honestly, I think the re real problem with it is that once he loses his boss monster, he just falls apart. Bones? Bones has been wandering the world with only one real way to connect with the living. That connection is his cards and the ability to duel with people. His opponents believe he can curse them. So Bones has been dueling the living trying to like keep his existence going because he doesn't know what happens once he falls out of the... Uh, it's weird. It's like if people stop noticing him, he will stop existing. Therefore, he must duel to exist. And he actually enjoys dueling, so we're going to see if my buddy Bones can keep himself alive by going pro today. Mokuba Kaiba! Mokuba is a major player in the Virtual League of Duel Monsters. He took a spot in the minors when he heard he could go pro by winning today. His brother plans on finding one of the golden cards. That, that makes a lot of sense. If you own a company that is worth so much money, I think getting a golden card won't be as bad because you could just buy like a million packs and hope that you find the one that has a golden card especially if there's five but the cards are being released all around the world so it's going to be a hard thing to pull off whereas mokuba instead of getting a golden card and getting lucky he's just like well shit i'll just win the minor league tournament abitos the third abitos suffered an embarrassing first loss in the underground league he hated the pain of the collar and quit the underground Abidos then joined the minor league in hope of going pro today. So we're going to see if Abidos can do it. His deck is extremely weak, but guess what? Most of the minor league characters aren't exactly heavy hitters, so maybe he can shine in this league. Macy Hops. Macy is a young mother who loves dueling in her spare time. Her kids always wanted to see their mom duel on TV, but she has to go pro to make that happen. She uses a silly bunny deck. That's right, everyone. Macy is just a mother. She just says she duels with her kids. They have a lot of fun. And she decided to join the minor league because of that. Her kids always wanted to see their mom on the big screen because she's such a good duelist with her bunny deck. And her bunny deck is decent. So I hope she does well today. And I hope we get to see her ultra rare rabbit dragon. This is a really cool monster. And if she gets to summon it, I'll just be happy to see that. But she does have some powerful bunny cart support and some good giant rat and, uh, what is it called? Nimble Momonga support to make it so she can get to her Rabbit Dragon. Honestly, if she gets out her boss monster, I'd say she'd be a major threat. So, if you're a fan of the mother Macy Hops, then there you go. And please, I can't, this is recorded ahead of time, so I can't see what the chat's saying right now. But please keep it civil and, um, you know, don't be creeps. Gorgon. Gorgon is a student at Domino High. He has been trying to make friends at school, but everybody plays dual monsters. 
badly. He entered the minor league to find some better dueling buds. So Gorgon is a current student at Domino High. He is a decent duelist and honestly he does pretty darn well in the minor league. Everyone dueling at Domino High doesn't do that well. I think his favorite person there is probably Miss Chono, but everyone else seems to be pretty poor at dueling. So he's hoping that he can win today, go pro, and meet some really cool duelists to be friends with. Yang! Yang is the kind of person that can't remember what she had for breakfast. She forgets to do the most basic things, but when she is dueling, she becomes a completely different being. She scares her opponents when she's in the zone. Yeah, Yang is the kind of person that walks into the kitchen and forgets why she was there in the first place, and then realizes, oh shit, I actually need to go to the bathroom, then walks into the bathroom, uses the bathroom, then goes back to her room and goes, wait, oh shit, I'm hungry. I, I, I was supposed to make food. And then that is basically her life in a nutshell. But it's okay because when she's dueling, doing something she actually loves, she goes really insane and has some pretty cool strategies that she can pull off. And she's a darn good duelist at that. So she believes that she can go pro today. Georgie! Georgie is the pretty boy of Domino High. His looks have given him great confidence, but that doesn't always translate to dueling skills. His admirers say he needs to go pro as soon as possible. So this guy is a very popular kid at Domino High right now. He's got lots of fans, lots of everybody just swooning over him, and they want to see him grow pro. They want to see him succeed in life because obviously they love him. He's attractive. That's all it takes to be loved in some cases. But Georgie, even though he has all this confidence from being loved, he doesn't actually play duel monsters that well. He's not the best duelist in the world. But he doesn't want to let his fans down, so he's going to do his absolute best. And you know what? He's a hard worker, so we'll see if Georgie can make it happen. Eliza Littlefoot. Eliza is a sound mixer at Domino Records. She used to love watching Rex Raptor duel in the pros, but that changed when Rex became more brutal. Now she wants to go pro to challenge Rex herself. Yeah, Rex Raptor has been changing in the pro league. He actually has been winning more duels, but he's lost a lot of ranks because he's been a little too brutal to his opponents, which has resulted in injury. Something is going on with Rex Raptor, and one of his biggest fans, Eliza Littlefoot, wants to go pro to find out what that is. We'll see how she does, uh, uh, how she does in today's tournament, and I'm excited to see her perform. I, I believe she'd be a pretty decent duelist. Goro! Goro has been working at his parents' sushi stall. Graduation has given him lots of time to invest in his parents' work. Now he tries to go pro so he can advertise their stall and the quality of their food. Goro, when he was in Domino High, used to be the leader of the seafood club. He was the, he was the president. But now that he's graduated, he works at his parents' seafood stall. And now, he wants to make that Sifu stall as popular as possible. In order to do that, he's going to need to go pro so he can advertise how good their seafood really is. He Right now in the minor league, he has attracted some local attention and that's really cool. But it is hard to go pro and his deck has not always been the best, but it has some decent combos. So, we'll see if Goro can do it today. Alda V Stormer! Uh... Hey guys, it's V-Stormer here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me as I try to go pro. Ah! That's a good scream. Yeah, that was, <laughs> okay. I think we're good. Yeah, I, think that okay. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever been interrupted before. Alda is a popular streamer on SoulSeekers.net. This site lets people watch amateur duelists and, uh, and for pay-per-view, you can watch the pro tournaments like Duelist Kingdom and the King's Throne. She has 75k subs right now. Alda V Stormer is not your typical duelist. She's a young duelist that goes to, uh, I can't remember the school's name, but she goes is somewhere in the Domino area, and she likes to stream all of her minor league duels. She has attracted some fans thanks to her energy and her craziness, but she hasn't been able to go pro yet. But she has been going with a lot of streams saying, hey, this is the stream we're going to go pro. I'm testing out this new deck. Who can help me with this deck? And because of that, she has gained a large following of 75 
75k subs. If you like Alda V Stormer, why don't you sub to her today, which is my challenge to sub, and then we'll see how she does in today's tournament. Honestly, I think she'll do quite well. I think uh, all the people watching her streams are going to cheat and tell her the strategies of every opponent because she does stream during the tournament. So she's going to be streaming her duel and then someone in the chat's just going to be like, well, Alda, he's using a Machine King deck and in order to stop that, you're going to need to run the card this, 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 or, oh, you need to watch out and make sure they don't have many machines on the field. And yeah, the chat's going to be real useful. I'm, I'm guessing it won't. <laughs> I'm guessing the chat's going to be horrible. Some of them are going to give her wrong information. It's going to be hilarious. But we'll see how Alda V Stormer does today in her stream. This isn't our tournament, it's her stream. Joey Wheeler! Joey is a regular competitor in the minor league. He has been dueling less since his sister was hospitalized. Today he brings the best of his dollar store cards. He must go pro for her sake. Joey Wheeler has always been kinda poor. He makes money through the minor league and he makes money through a side job working at Tristan's fam family's factory, but he doesn't have enough money to pay all of the hospital bills. You would ask, where's the parents? Well, they don't care. They do not care. If you're curious, let me give you the situation of what happened to his sister, Serenity. They were watching TV one day. She was just sitting there with Joey and then suddenly she was just like, wait, what? Shit, I'm blind. And Joey was like, what? And she was like, yeah, no, I can't see. And he was like, ah. <laughs> and then he just took her to the hospital. They told her that she has a degenerative eye disease, which means that she's losing her sight. And then it just kind of just spiked at this point. So now she's going under and she needs a major surgery in order to fix that. She, he will have to go pro in order to pay for such a major surgery. And if he can become king of games, it'll basically be dealt with immediately. But... If he doesn't, and if he doesn't make the money he needs, his sister may never regain her eyesight, and she may have to live the, in the world blind. Which, you know, he doesn't want that for her, but he'll be there for her all every step of the way. Still, it's going to be expensive, and the hospital bills already are expensive. So, I wish you luck, Joey Wheeler. I hope you do well, but you have no money for cards, so you're basically using as many old cards as you got, and any cards you happen to pull from the dollar packs. Good luck, buddy. Good freaking luck. Light Tsukiko! Light Tsukiko is a young duelist that recently entered the minor league. She doesn't seem too concerned about going pro. That being said, her brother is interested and she wants to stop him. Light Tsukiko is a young duelist that uses a pretty powerful light deck. She has some duelists that she actually likes, like she is a fan of Taya Gardner and she wants to kind of be like her. But she has her own way of going about things. She has her own way of building her own decks. And she's trying to make sure that her older brother, slightly older brother, doesn't get to go pro because she thinks that if her older brother goes pro, she, he might be able to meet his biggest, or uh, uh, the person he literally looks up to. And the person he looks up to was in the pro league. So we'll see if he can do it and we'll see if Light can stop him. Yami Kuroda! Yami Kuroda is an elementary school student that likes to act as a servant of Night Shroud. He is one of the four strongest duelists at his elementary school. He cares for his sis, but idolizes the former pro, Night Shroud. So, Yami Kuroda is just a young kid that really liked watching Night Shroud's duel, especially when Night Shroud injured Koyo Hibiki. So now he's kind of going through his you know, cringe lord phase of like, oh man, I want to be the servant of darkness, the servant of night shroud. And honestly, it's kind of working for him since he's at the elementary school level and because he does have a decently powerful dark deck. But his sister's trying to, you know, rein him in, hold him back, stop him from meeting his freaking hero because his hero is probably going to be a zero. Still, we'll see if Yami Kuroda can do it today. I will admit him and his sister are decent damn duelists. They are some of the strongest duelists at that elementary school. And I don't know how they'll perform in the minor league as they recently earned their spot spots trying to... Well, he earned his spot because he wants to go pro. She earned her spot to stop him from going pro, which I find hilarious. That is going to be all the characters I have for you today. It is not going to be a ginormous tournament as the minor league is not as... Uh, 
popular as every other league, but it's still going to be an important tournament. There are a lot of really cool and really popular characters coming in today like Joey Wheeler, and that's it. <laughs> no, the minor league is a home for a lot of characters that you might not get to see anywhere else. And I really, really hope you enjoy today's tournament as it will be my first ever YouTube stream. If you're watching right now, please sub to me on YouTube as I'm trying to reach 100k subscribers. And if you can, like this video so that we can get as many people to show up to this stream as possible. If the Thursday streams are popular enough, I will try to make Thursday streams a normal thing. It's just really hard because I have to make these intros and these intros take a long time. And I guess I wouldn't have to make the intros because not everybody's invested in the lore. But I feel like it adds an extra layer of depth to every character and... When it comes to the Saturday Twitch tournaments, which please don't miss the Twitch tournaments either, when it comes to the Saturday tournaments, it makes people bet on characters that they think will win, only to find out that the AI uses their deck horribly. So it kind of skews the bets, and a lot of uh, fake money is earned in a funny way. Like, a lot of just characters like, Oh man, I want to vote for that guy. I want to vote for Nitroud. Loses immediately. Like, I don't know why Yami Kuroto looks up to him. Nitroud has lost every duel immediately. I, I hate it. He's my favorite Red Eyes guy, and he keeps losing. But without further ado, we're going to be getting into our minor league tournament. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Remember that the winner will be going to the big tournament in a week on Saturday on Twitch. And I hope you all enjoy that one too. Because that tournament in a week on Saturday on Twitch, not this Saturday, but the next one, will be the tournament to decide the next King of Games, or to see if the D will be known as the king with the longest record. I'll see y'all next time. Oh, I'll see y'all today, right now, in live. Everybody. Welcome to today's tournament. It's me, Casual Cooper, and I am so happy to be here. I can't wait to watch all of these cool new characters start dueling. And I know, I know, I still got two minutes before we start, but I just wanted to get on the screen earlier than normal just because I am super excited for some of the decks I have to show you today. Despite the fact that they're not very powerful, they're not the highest tier decks you're ever going to see, a lot of them are just a lot of fun, and I... I want to get started. I want to I want to see these characters go at it, especially my boy Joey. He's in the tournament. I haven't seen him in so long, but if Joey fails me, I'll I'll be sad. What are you going to do? But we'll see. So who's your favorite character today? Well, I have, I have one minute before I start the tournament. So who's your favorite character today? Let me know right now while you have a chance. So let me set this up a little better. I had this set up uh, for a different thing, but hey, here I am. My favorite character will always be Joey, but there's some cool new characters with some really interesting new decks, so maybe that's your favorite, I understand. Um, especially since um, some of the decks are thematic. Like, oh yeah, we have that turtle girl, she's back, but now we got a bunny girl. And now we got a, uh, well, we always had freaking, uh, what was the other guy? I don't know, who cares? Eliza, you like the dinosaur girl? Okay, we got a dinosaur person, that's good. Uh, Alda V Stormer, because she's a streamer and that's the only person that's ever interrupted me. Yep, that's fun. That is fun. Uh, I, I can't wait for any of that stuff to go. The Rex Raptor girl, the girl that's a fan of Rex Raptor. You like Yuma, who's actually in our tournaments called Yang because I don't want two Yumas. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's already 12 o'clock, so I'm, I'm going to start the tournament right now. I hope you're all excited. I hope you're all ready. Let's get it going. Let's start the first duel of Mr. Karita versus Alda V Stormer. We have one of our new streaming characters taking on our $100 deck character, and I wish them both luck. The winner of today's tournament will be going into the Pro League tournament next Saturday. This Saturday is going to be the Fortune Cup, so don't pretend like there's no tournament this Saturday. There is. It's going to be the Fortune Cup. Next week's tournament is going to be for the King of Games, but I, uh, I'm very excited. Good luck with your new job, by the way. And it looks like Mr. Uh, Karita has a great start against V-Stormer. V-Stormer is going to lose her card. Monsterborn might help her out, but honestly, I can already see his hand. And yes, I forgot the faces. Don't worry, we'll start now. Starting now, Cooper is uh, totally, 
totally not going to mess this up anymore. Uh, v Stormer's ready to go. And where's Mr. Karita? Mr. Karita is ready to go. There they are. And there we go. Bite Leon stuck in defense mode. She got him. And because he's in defense mode, she can now go in and try to defeat it. But she needs to kill both monsters or she's in danger. Ah, oh, she's got Harpy's brother. That's going to do it. And with that, all of those characters are gone. So you can't summon your Bite Leon and you're in trouble, Mr. Karita. This is, uh... Yeah, this is not a good thing. Why'd you play that in attack mode? He's baiting. Only people who played that bait put him in attack mode. So, we got another card. Oh, Battlestorm, there's three winged beast monsters. Ego Boost is destroyed. And Dawn Turtle is dead. What a shame. It's looking real bad to be a Mr. Karita. There's no such thing as a Mr. Karita fan. Not a single one of you. And that's fine with me. I don't like the guy either. He's a bad person in the anime, he's a bad person in the manga, he's a bad person in general. Harpy's Feather Duster was unnecessary, but you didn't know that. Go for it, Alda. Alda V-Stormer is going to take game number one. But for those of you that have not seen our new tournaments, we do best at a, out of three now. So we're going to see if Mr. Karita can make a comeback in game number two. Oh, he's not a teacher anymore. Not anymore. He's been fired. He lives in his car. So let's go ahead and get into game number two. The four golden card holders, there are going to be five golden card holders. And yes, it's going to be basically random. Basically, not everyone is going to be random. Some people have higher odds than others. And, alright, Des Feralimp is there. So, what do you got? Yeah, he uses a reptile deck, if you haven't caught on. And she uses a somewhat winged beast deck, but her boss monster is actually a dragon. So, even though she does use a winged beast deck, her, bo her boss is a dragon, so that's kind of fun. All right, Dark Hole, that is a very early Dark Hole in my opinion. I don't uh, recommend doing that. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that just seems bad. Since we can't do bets on YouTube, or at least, you know, it's not really a possibility, I would uh, like to know who you're betting on for each duel, if you can. If you don't want to, I understand, but I, I like to know. It's for my own information, just so I get to know who, which character people like more. For this one, V-Storm is the new character, so I'll understand if you like Alda more, but... Uh, there's no, there's no such thing as a Mr. Karita fan, I know. No, I don't even need to ask. For this for this character in particular, I don't need to ask, because nobody likes this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Poor bastard. And Ego Boost. But he's not a bad duelist. He's won quite a few duels in the previous tournaments. But we're going to see what happens. And Cobra Jar does its job. The Ego Boost made a big difference. Honestly, I would prefer if... Ah, oh, he didn't draw his boss monster. Without his boss monster, he didn't stand a chance. Uh, no, I had a family member voice it. My little sis lives with me, so I just was like, hey, get in here. <laughs> Please help me. Yeah, so she was nice enough to do that. Now, another Ego Boost. That's lucky. Okay, Ego Boost bait number two. That's not good. You need more Winged Beast monsters now. Uh, no, it's a, it's a mod price to pay. Always a mod. Ah, both battle storms bite the dust. And without that, you're in a lot of trouble. And 1800 attack. Don't you dare bet against Joe. Get out of here, Nightburn. How dare you? Thanks for being a YouTube member, but how dare you? <laughs> That's my boy right there. That's my boy, Joey Wheeler. And you're betting against him? Ah, oh, that breaks my heart. Your favorite character is Alito? You got a long time to wait. We're not at Alito's level yet, but hey. One day we'll get to where Alito is, and then you'll be able to enjoy him. Oh, that was a good use of the trap card. Whoa. I like that. That was good, Alda. I, I haven't seen somebody do that play before. Ah, uh, but you didn't know about the second defense monster. Fair enough. <clears throat> yep. Hmm. Got to draw a card. He still can't get his boss monster to save his life. Des Limp is here just to get rid of Sonic Shooter. You might as well. You don't want to lose to direct damage in the long run. Oh, you actually like characters more than Joey? That's your first mistake. How dare you? There's no better character than Joey Wheeler. He has the best reason to be in today's tournament. He's trying to help his freaking sister. But all of you don't care about that. All you care about are decks and, like, strategies and cool backgrounds. You're monsters. They're more important things. Oh, shit, she got her Ryza. And Ryza's gonna end this duel. We're not, we're not going any farther than this. 
Oh, wait, no, the AI is bad. They might get one more turn. They might get one more turn because the AI does misplay. They always attack with the weaker monster. So unless they draw another monster, it's not happening. Ah, I didn't think so. Yep, look at that. You even knew what the monster was, but the AI has bad programming. So we're going to destroy that card, and that's always fun. So Zoji Shriek is in the Pro League. Yeah, he's, he's a Pro Leaguer. That's where we left him anyway. And no, unless you get more monsters, Zelda, you're not winning. Apparently, Mr. Krita really can't lose this duel. He's holding on for dear life. This will be on the channel for later. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries about that, Negative Blue. I mean, I, I, I couldn't stop it from being on the channel. I'm streaming this on YouTube. It'll be in my live section. So if you're looking for it, it's in the live section. And Ryza does 24. That is it, everybody. We have done it. Alda V Stormer has won the duel. So, you guys haven't seen the bracket, so I might as well go over towards the bracket so you get to see that. Uh, let's take a peek real quick. There you go. Minor League. I can't really see much there, but don't worry. I'll, I'll scroll down. So, first duel, Alda V Stormer and Mr. Karita. Alda V Stormer shall move forward. Next duel, Abidos the Third versus Goro. Let's go ahead and find these two characters, watch them duel, and laugh at them. Laughing at them is the most important part. So, where is Abidos the Third? There he is. Let's start this duel. I am ready. And I'm going to look for their faces as we speak. I think he's up there. Yeah, and then I need Goro, who's down here. G for Goro. Yay. So, Goro here is trying to just help out his family's uh, stall, sushi stall. And Abidos the Third obviously wants to go pro for whatever reason he has. He does have a reason, I just can't really mention it just yet. I'm doing great today, and I hope you're all doing great as well. It's good to see you, Caesar. I hope you and your family are doing good. Especially your kids. All right, TT comes through, and TT does work. Very nice. Monster of Born comes through. We got Boot. Oh, you really want to use Bistro? You're basically pot agreeing your opponent. Oh, you're not willing to do it. Then why'd you, why'd you revive that one if you're not willing to do it? You ca you coward. So one weakness of Abidos is if he doesn't get his trap card early, his deck can be a brick because the spell cards are just straight up bricks. And it doesn't look like he got his trap card early, so he's in a little bit of trouble right now. Swords of Revealing Light will buy him time, but that's not enough. Yeah. Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed comes through. Let's see if it works. Son of a bitch. Got Gold Sarcophagus. Is this how he's going to get his trap? No, he wants a different card. I saw that card. That is a very interesting card to choose. If he uses swords to build up his field full of level 2 normal monsters, it might be worth it. But he hasn't really summoned a monster in a minute, so it's kind of strange that he even used that play. Welcome, Laser Mike. Thanks for watching the intro two times speed to be here. <laughs> you do know the video. Don't worry, guys. If you Oh, shit. He used that for a free pot of greed? That's amazing. Holy crap. Abidos might get his trap card yet. He might be able to pull. Oh, that's one of his best cards. The Shocktopus is probably one of his most useful cards. Yomaship's also pretty useful. There it is! Abidos is going for his boss monster. He's one spell away. And Swords is gone. But hey... It's working out. Gold Sarcophagus, he has his power-up card. It might be worth it, because they'll be revived anyway. I think he heard me. <laughs> I, I think he actually heard me. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Thousand Energy! All of his monsters are now normal beater monsters, just like his opponent. Yomi Ship may kill the card, but he doesn't care if his card dies. Yomi Ship may... He set up the field. Good play! He actually just straight up set up the field at the cost of a couple monsters. Goro lost everything. Nightmare Steel Cage might be unnecessary, but I understand. Just in case you, you want to be, it's, you want to play it safe, but I, that might be unnecessary. That might be a little too far. All right, Yomi Ship and Yomi Ship. That's going to be so annoying. It was a good play from Abidos, but uh, the Yomi ships are back, and he's pulled it off with the three sarcophagi. He can summon Spirit of the Pharaoh, which will summon every monster that's died so far. There we go. Good job, buddy. But Nightmare Still Cage says you can't ed take advantage of this turn to attack. Tribute to the Doom works, though. Um, that does work, and throw away your useless spell cards. Perfect. Good play from Abidos. Good job, buddy. 
I love that this guy is actually playing well. I really respect that. Alright, we have ourselves a set. Nightmare Steel Cage is gone. Abidos has a full field of monsters to start destroying stuff. Spirit of the Pharaoh goes first. Spirit of the Pharaoh is successful at killing the Mother Grizzly, but Mother Grizzly's too strong. And yeah, the pro one problem with Beatos is if he doesn't have his thousand energy, which he already used one of, he has two others. Uh, if he does have his thousand energy, his monster's a little weak. Let's be real. All right, he's gonna power up the Grizzly, but even with double power up, the Grizzly's not strong enough. So this play, oh, he's gonna sacrifice a Yomi ship, isn't he? Oh no, he's not. Then I'm I'm very surprised here. Oh, that magic cylinder actually had value. Twenty two hundred. Oh, twenty two hundred is too much. All right, Spirit of the Pharaoh is now going to be able to do a lot of damage, and Mother Grizzly is gone. Clown Zombie is one of his strongest cards. I'm not joking. Clown Zombie goes in for good damage. We're actually really... Goro's really low on health right now. Uh, Pyramid Turtle, that's not the way you wanted your Pyramid Turtle to die. I guarantee it, but it's gone. Ah, uh, damn. You're doing your best, but you're running out of cards there, Mr. Pharaoh. And Goro, he has a cho... Yeah, you're going down. Goro, if he's smart... We'll use the Shocktopus against you. Yeah, he is smart enough. Whoa! Go Goro! Shocktopus destroys Spirit of the Pharaoh! It's a useless attack mode monster now. A good defense mode monster, though. A very good defense mode monster. Graceful Charity, and there's no way he's getting this card back. So, he's got... Oh. I didn't expect that, but he doesn't really run a monster with 1450 attack, sadly. So, because his monsters are so weak, he can't end the duel. And because he can't end the duel, his opponent might come back. Goro might make a comeback. All of Obinos' cards are so weak, except for his boss, which has a nice 2500 attack stat, which for this tournament is pretty darn good. Only a few characters can even go above 2500. Goro's boss monster has 2000 exactly. It's like watching Panic Duel. And yes, I think this guy's out of options. But where's Ukazi? That's always a good point. I don't know if Abidos has a burn card, but if he does, he needs it right now. Premature Burial, it, it can't target the Spirit of the Pharaoh, apparently. And he's just hurting himself. Literally did 1,300 damage to himself this turn. But there is a Trap card, but he already used Magic Cylinder, so we know it's not Magic Cylinder. That's crazy. Oh, two more. Bring back the Yomi Sh Oh, God, Mother Grizzlies. They're actually monsters that can do damage. The second he lost his Spirit of the Pharaoh, this duel fell apart. His mo trap card could not save him. He is one turn away from death. Abidos, who held the duel for so long, is now about to lose it all, which breaks my heart. Unless that monster has so much de- There's no- it's a, it's a zombie deck. They have no defense. It's over. Potagree, get your boss monster. I want to see it. Yeah, I get it. Sea King Dragon. The boss monster, Sea King Dragon, is here. Pharaoh's servant is gone. And Shocktopus wins the duel. Goro takes number one. Abito fought so hard, but once he lost his spirit, he lost his hope. And he never drew another thousand energy, which would have ended the duel. So we're going to go into game number two. Abidos, don't mess this one up. Goro, great job. I'm actually really impressed with Goro. I love that he even got out his boss monster. Hmm. Goro got one of his better cards. Nice. And Clown Zombie is not exactly the best. Yeah, my Chevy Bistro, are you willing to give them two cards? Okay, you are. Well, with this, you have a higher chance of getting your trap card, unless that is your trap card, but I highly doubt it since you aren't very good at getting it. Oh, you got it. All right. Hey, there we go. All right. Abidos the third has already g is almost to his freaking boss monster. Good job. Uh, okay. No! Magic Jammer stops the freaking monster of Born at the cost of premature burial. Throw away salvage. Keep your other stuff. Throw away salvage. Come on, man. You're better than this. Wandering Doom. He did have thousand energy and he used it for this. Oh, God. I guess with the monster of Born, it might have been a little more worth it. But again, you Nightmare Still Cage when you're going to be able to attack next turn. I knew you were wide open, but come on, man. Just just wait. A little patience. A little patience gets you. It gets you everywhere. All right, Spirit of the Pharaoh is here. He'll get his two monsters back. Now, you see how much value your Thousand Energy has now? This is when you save it for. You don't need to use it so early. All right, draws a card, gets Gold Sarcophagus. Is he going to get Thousand Energy? That'd be really smart. That would be really smart. Oh, he's an idiot. Oh, I, I didn't know. Last, last duel, he used Gold Sarcophagus for a good reason. 
This duel, that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <clears throat> Why'd you keep both field spells? That, you're a dummy. All right, Sea King Dragon is here. And Umiruka is here. Interesting. So Spirit of the Pharaoh has met its match. But because Yomi ship now is in attack mode, you're just going to destroy it with Clown Zombie. Interesting. I didn't expect that from Pyramid Turtle. Okay. I guess since you knew you were going to lose a Clown Zombie, but at the same time, your boss is the same as his boss for now. He doesn't know. He doesn't know he had to crash. He's like, oh no, I could just play this safely. Uh, safely. Spike shell. So now the shell on Sea King Dragon is sharper than it used to be. And you've lost your freaking Spirit of the Pharaoh. That's insane. That is so crazy. We're going to watch Goro knock out Abidos. Abidos is a fraud. Worst duelist confirmed. Literally worst duelist. If I ever do one of those tournaments again to find out who the worst duelist is, we already have the answer. It's Abidos the third. How's he, he does have an R Spear of the Pharaoh. He can he runs two traps and two of the spells. So he could bring it back out. But even if he did, the Sea King Dragon matches it with the field spell. So yeah. Does he have Tri White? Yeah, he has Tri White. Oh, he does got the trap card. Good job. Alright, there you go. Not bad. But yeah, he does have uh, Tri White. So he, he can make a bunch of monsters come back. Not like it matters. He got swords. Wow. That's super lucky. He's gonna make it to his boss, so. I guess this duel is back up in the air, but it's not really good enough. Sea King Dragon's doing its job. Spirit of the Pharaoh number two. All right. And with this, he's going to summon all the monsters in his grave. There we go. That's four monsters now. All protected by swords. Is he willing to crash is my question. Pyramid Turtle for funsies. Are you willing to crash? He's willing to crash! Boss for a boss! Both boss monsters are gone, and he's doing his... If he had 1,000 energy, it would have been worth it. If he had 1,000 energy, it would have been worth it. This is not worth it. This is absolutely not worth because now if he draws a single monster with 1,400 attack, you lose... Oh, you are the luckiest bitch in the world. You're joking! Abidos the third pulled it off? In game number two, Abidos the third with his level two zombies actually pulled off a victory. Clown zombie for game. We're going to game three. I did not expect that. I did not expect it. I am impressed. I He had to pull off two Spirit of the Pharaohs to do it, but he did it. Good job, you crazy man. Good job. Let's get into game two or game three. Yeah, three. That's, that's the number we want. Good luck, Abidos. Keep going. Now that I've seen you duel like that, I want to see it happen again. Goro, good luck to you as well. I don't know. Goro's hand looks pretty busted against Abidos. Oh, he got his Pyramid of Wonders! He hasn't shown that off yet. Pyramid of Wonders can make his monsters even stronger. That's pretty good. Question is, will he get his trap card in time? Because I don't know if you've noticed, but his, uh, yeah. Doesn't exactly have... No, don't waste Pyramid of Wonders! You want Pyramid Turtle Dead. God damn it. Like, you don't even know how to use your deck. It's like AIs just don't know shit. All right, set. We're just going to enjoy that. Shocktopus is looking real scary. You know what's scarier than one Shocktopus? Two Shocktopi. All right, they're going in. Pyramid Turtle goes away. And Wandering Doom goes away. But he wants the normal monsters in the grave because he could just resummon them anyway. Of course, he's going to need his trap card to pull that off. So let's see if he gets it. Ugh, not looking good for Abidos. He is like none of them. He can go Bistro if he wants, though. Mother Grizzly in style. Mother Grizzly is stronger. Fair enough. Pyramid Turtle still stalling for dear life. What the hell? What do you mean main phase two? You had three monsters. Why'd you only attack with one? Does anyone have an explanation for that? The answer is you don't. The answer is they're just bad. All right, the boss monster is here. Sea King Dragon with 2,500 attack points. Goro's in the best position of his life. And attack comes through. Wandering Doom goes through. Life is good. Life is good. Just a set? All right, we'll do a set, but I don't like your odds with your set. You need to be a little bit better. Especially when he throws out that Mad Lobster. You're in a lot of trouble. The damage is too good. You're going to lose next turn. Well, if he doesn't, you're right. If he doesn't draw Dark Hole, the duel's over. He has to draw Dark Hole right now. And he never got his trap card, so you might as well call this GG. Let's see. Well, if that's the trap card, it's 10 turns too late. 
So, Mad Lobster is here again. That's five powerful monsters. Mirror Force doesn't is, exist in this tournament. That is a wrap. We're going to have to give Goro the win. Abidos the third is an embarrassment. Abidos is a legit embarrassment. So, let's go ahead and let's get rid of Goro. Let's get rid of Abidos. And let's recheck our bracket. So, looking at our bracket, our next characters are Miss Chono. All right. Miss Chono will be taking on Yami Kuroda. All right, we got some new characters. Miss Chono versus one of the new characters that has a kind of a scary new deck. Simply because Caius, I believe, is a busted monster. You guys can make up your own assumptions on, the, on this. Miss Chono, though, was once a good duelist back in old, old, old Yu-Gi-Oh. And I mean old. But... Who knows? Maybe maybe she can do good here. So let's go ahead and see these two go at it. Miss Chona's ready to duel. Yami Kuroda is ready to duel. And Fusion Sage. That does help her deck quite a lot. And we have ourselves a set and two traps. Those two traps might make a difference. Ooh, he's got some good stuff. Mad Archfiend. TT, baby! All right, TT stops Mad Archfiend. Good job. Given what she set, she has a bad hand. I can already tell. Oh, she top deck Blue Wing Crown. Blue Wing Crown goes in for 1,600 damage, so that's pretty good. Nope, he called himself that, Bernog. That's not me that called him that. He literally says he's an agent of Night Shroud, so he calls himself Yami. Harpy's Feather Duster's pretty brutal. And Saku and Call of the Haunted are gone. And the Lejin is super powerful at 2,600. Miss Chono doesn't stand a chance against that Lejin. Unless she draws one of her destruction cards, she's going down in game number one. And her hand is a little thin in my opinion. Oh, Jesus Christ. She does not run tribute monsters anymore, so I'm kind of worried why she's bricked. They could be spell cards, yes, but I don't know the real reason. That Jin is wielding two swords. He's actually like freaking, yeah, he's uh, juggling with them. And he's, yeah, he's going to destroy his opponent. Graceful Charity, what a top deck when your hand's a brick. Double poly, yep, that is her brick. Pot agreed. let's see what you can make up for. Granted, her deck relies on poly, so you should have kept one of them. Dark Bribe, interesting. I think this duel's over. Legend destroys Niwatori like it was nothing. Dark Hunter and, and uh, Giant Germ go in. Now you could just win by Giant Germ Burn, which is hilarious. I've done that many times. Anybody here seen the 2008 series that's going on forever? I love it so... Oh, her, she drew the third poly and it's gone. She can no longer fuse. She lost every single poly. She threw two away and one of them got negated. Without the ability to fuse, her deck is worthless. Her deck is actually worthless. Caius, it's over. Boss Monster is here. Oh, so cool. Gets animation. All right, with your boss monster, you get rid of a dark for exact damage. Yami Kuroda's got that brain in there. He's won the duel. All right, Miss Chono, a powerful character from the past, is getting outmatched by a new character. An elementary school student at that. There we go. Hey, thank you so much for being a member for nine months straight, Random Gamer. I do appreciate that. And look at this. He's got a very scary hand yet again. Giant Orc in attack mode means that Miss Chono ain't doing shit. <laughs> Nothing she does will get past that. Fusion Sage, even if you did fuse, I see a Raigeki break, so I don't like your odds. She did! I feel so bad for her! She got her ultimate monster! Her ultimate monster has 2300 attack, but it doesn't matter. Raigeki break exists. And now that it exists, you lose your monster, you lose everything. What a shame. Miss Chono literally gets her boss and it gets destroyed. And Caius joins the field. That face down is gone forever. What was the monster? Oh, it was just Takahi. Takahi's gone. Saku, all right, you at least got boss for a boss. A soul for a soul. Both boss monsters are dead. So, with both monster boss monsters dead, it's all up to whoever gets the better card. She has Blue Wing Crown, a decent monster from the past, but we aren't in the past anymore. We're already into entering 5D era. We've seen 5D era. We've seen what they're like. Actually, they were all pretty terrible, but that's because we only saw the satellite thing. This weekend, you guys are going to see some intense shit. Like, I'm talking legit decks. Like, I, I did some test duels, and they're fast as... Like, it's insane how fast those decks are. 
Fortune Cup's gonna be wild. Pot of Greed's coming in. Pot of Greed. Let's see what we got. Pretty much all the characters there are gonna have a Synchro Monster. Good Synchro Monster. Mystic Tomato's gone. Mystic Plasmic Zone is good. And Double Legend defeats Faith Bird. 2300. Jesus Christ. Alright. Um, do you got Dark Hole? Because if you don't got Dark Hole, you might as well give up. Set. Akiz is one of them. Akiz is insane. And Giant Orc for game. Oh, Flying Kamikiri to hold on. All right, with Flying Kamikiri, she's not out of the duel just yet. She just has to hope the other card in her hand isn't Flying Kamikiri. Oh, thank God. All right, she's still standing. Again, I'd say Dark Hole is all that matters, but I guess if she found a way to fuse, like if her card in her hand would happen to be a Skull Redbird and she top decked a Polly, she'd still lose. <laughs> I feel so bad. She's getting outmatched so easily. Okay, one trap card. Maybe that trap card will make all the difference. Monster of Born is horrifying, though, when your boss monster is in the grave. Caius is here, everybody. We have a boss monster. Let's get that summoning animation going. I love it. Looks beautiful. And that's too much damage. Magic Cylinder doesn't matter. He has too much HP left. All right, Miss Chono, get out of my tournament. You're outclassed by these new this new generation of duelists. She's, he can win by Giant Germ. He's The duel's over. He could top deck Caius and win the duel. All right, Miss Chona, your final card. Unless it's Dark Hole, I don't give you any chance of winning this duel. A Dark Bribe is a little, little just unnecessary. Caius ends the duel. And that is it, everybody. We have ourselves a winner. Yami Kuroda, a brand new character, has taken down an old finalist, Miss Chono. But the times be changing. The times be changing. These young kids got better cards than you've ever seen in your entire life. All right. Let's go with Yami Kuroda and let's move on. The next duel will be two old characters, Sammy Trunks and Jamie Inferno with obvious buffs. But we're going to see how they do. So a lot of you probably haven't seen Sammy Trunks in a long time. And some of you may have never seen him because the tournament he was a part of is actually the worst performing tournament we ever threw. Which sucks, but hey, what are you going to do? One of the tournaments had to be the worst performing. Might as well be that one. Uh, let's go find Jamie, though. Jamie Inferno. Oh, I haven't used Jamie in, the, in a minute, have I? If I can't even see him. Oh, there he is. All right, we're good to start. Thank you all for your patience. Let's get into this duel. It's time for Jamie Inferno to take on good old Sammy Trunks. This is an elephant deck versus a pyro deck. All right, Jamie Inferno is ready to duel. Oh, that's a Joey Wheeler. Whoops, I missed him by one. Jamie was right next to him. Uh, Sammy Trunks is ready to duel. There we go. And Sammy Trunks starts the duel by using one of his elephant cards to destroy the opponent, but he got Flame Ruler. That means that uh, good old uh, Jamie can get out his boss monster, but he doesn't need it. He's got Blazing Impachi. He should have got his boss monster. That thing's going to rush all reckless on you. Yeah, of course he does. He had it in the last tournament that he was in, too. He has three copies of it. And Monster Born. Starting with Double Nimble Momonga is just garbage. That's, like, literally one of the worst starts. Monster Born is here. Nimble Momonga for damage and for healing if they go after you. The Elephant card will do work. But, honestly, his cards aren't strong enough. He had to use one of yours. That is correct. You got it right, Garrett. You got it right. And Harpy Spell the Duster will make sure the other card isn't a problem. That other card being whatever the hell that was. <laughs> Another Blazing Apache comes through, but are you willing to crash, Sammy Trunks? Are you willing to crash? He draws a card. Ooh, we got another elephant card. And we got a boss monster. Everybody say hello to Garnicia Elephantis. A monster so heavy that each step rocks the earth itself. Yeah, I don't know about rocking no earth, but I do know that this guy is pretty damn powerful. A 2400 beater in today's tournament is legit strong. Think about it. Ta uh, that one, The last duel, Crimson Sunbird was the other character's boss monster, and Caius was the other character. So it, it matches with Caius in power. Oh, just to set, looks like Jamie Inferno's in a bit of trouble. He needs to win today's tournament because he can't find a job. 
And most be mostly because of his criminal record, but I wish him luck. The attack goes through. Darkfire Soldier's done for. Elephantis is coming in. And Elephantis is going to win. It is over, everybody. Sammy Trunks has done it with the Elephant deck and taken game number one. That's true. Caius is better. It's a one tribute monster with an effect. But Elephantis can match it in power. You bet on the little Saiyan? That's hilarious. Just because he's got the blonde hair. He didn't need the flying elephant that round? No, he did not. Like I said, he has three copies of it, but we're not seeing a single one. I don't know where they are. I'm sure we'll see it soon enough. Nope, nope, but he got his boss monster back, which is good for him. Uh, Flame Ruler, it, hey, this time I say just do it, man. Get your Rui Ran out as early as possible if you have it in your hand, because last time it didn't work out. There you go! We got a boss monster, everybody. It's Rui Ran. It's powerful. It has 3,000 attack and 1,500 damage will be dealt. Good job, Jamie Inferno. You probably are going to force him to use Dark Hole extremely early. And if you can get Dark Hole out of the way, then that's amazing. Because every character only owns one. So if you only got one Dark Hole and you use it on turn freaking four, you're probably in danger. Oh, we got the elephant combo. Both those elephants together. At last. 3,000 damage goes through, and you need a beater monster. But guess what? Jamie Inferno's a pyro deck, and those pyro guys love their beaters. There we go, Blazing Apache. Blazing Apache puts quick work to that monster, and now you're just going to need another one, because I bet you this kid's going to set Giant Rat like a genius. Or he's going to top deck something. Nah, just set Giant Rat. Come on, man. There you go. Now you're playing with fire. Good job. Jamie, you can't lose this duel. You're not going to find a job anywhere else. You got to do it. Inferno is so good. That's 1,500 burn. What a play. Giant Rat is next on the menu, and it is dead, but you might as well get another rat out here. Yep. And you can do another rat, or you can find an elephant you like. Your choice, buddy. Elephant you like. That can be used to destroy the Inferno. But unless you have a special summon, you're not getting Garnetia anytime soon. And without Garnetia, you don't stand. Why is that in attack mode? Oh, you're just going to put the other one in defense, but that's a little weird of a play. You could have set to scare the opponent, but whatever. I guess it's AI. AI knows what you're going to play face down. And Darkfire Soldier number two. Nothing wrong with that. More beater monsters coming in. And it looks like game two is all into Jamie Inferno. We got ourselves a comeback coming here. And if that happens, we're going to game three. Again, what is that card? Yeah, it doesn't matter. The duel's over anyway. So, let's see what he draws. Another Darkfire Soldier. That'll do the job. With that, we have ourselves a victory, everybody. It's time for Jamie Inferno to take this to game number three. All right, Sammy, don't fail. You didn't get that deck from Pegasus for nothing. You think Pegasus just hands out decks? Come on. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, terrible hand. That was one of the worst possible hands. Oh, I guess Stray Lambs could help. But that's one of the worst possible hands that uh, Sammy could have drawn. I'm still waiting to see one of the three flying elephants. Damn it. <laughs> he won't draw it no matter what I ask him. Oh, Regeki break. That's a shame. It did cost him premature burial, though, so there you go. You didn't Stray Lambs. Oh, yeah, you did the normal summon. Never mind. If you normal summon, you can't stray lambs. Energy Drain again? I, there are a lot of cards in the hand. I'd like to save Energy Drain, but I guess I understand. You could crash. Yeah, I was going to say, it's totally worth it. Just get, like, Flame Ruler or something. There you go. And then get... Yeah, good play. Really good play from Jamie. I like that. Because now he's set up for Rui Ran. So if that last card in his hand was Rui Ran, which is a brick, it's not a brick anymore. And stray lambs. Good play. You had You had to do it. You had to do it. And now it's a little less worth it to tribute for Rui Ram, but I still say do it because I like boss monsters. Boss monsters make the make the world go around. Blazing and Pachi, there you go. There we go. Okay, now it's all up to luck. Will Sammy top deck Garnetia Elephantis? Because this is probably his last chance to pull it off. Will he top deck his boss? No. The answer is no. He will not top deck his boss monster, and now he's got to get his flying elephant. It's one of his best beater monsters, and without it, he can't win the duel. All right, Nimble Malanga is healing up. That's good. He's already back above half life points, but he won't be staying there much longer. Goodbye to you, and another Impachi goes in. 
The duel is still in Jamie's favor, but one dark hole could turn this whole duel around now that I look at it. Heart of the cards, forest, yeah. Yeah, that's great. You know what pyro monsters do to forest? I think pyro monsters get buffed by forest back in freaking, what was that card of that game called? Duels of the Roses. But not in this game, obviously. But Duels of the Roses. Oh, is the duel over? Yeah, I think the duel's over. Jesus. The beatdown's too good. You lost your one chance. Look at this. You're going to try and survive with 100 life points. What monster in your deck can survive with 100 life points? It's not... You drew all three! The game cheats. The game actually cheats. He drew all three. That is not supposed to happen. Get him out of here. Jamie Inferno still has a chance at getting himself a pro ranking and a real job. Because pro rankers make good money. So, there he goes. Goodbye, Sammy. Goodbye, Elephant Deck. Yeah, he drew three of the same card. Counter one. Thank you very much. We keep, gotta keep track of that. Gotta prove that Master Duel is actually cheating. So, let's go ahead and get into our next duel. Uh, let's get uh, Jamie Inferno going. The next duel is my boy Joey Wheeler with his dollar store deck versus Georgie. All right, Georgie's going in against Joey. We're going to see who can win this duel. I, uh, I'm hoping for a good duel out of these two. But I don't know how Joey will do, given that Joey is kind of bad. Yeah, there's a reason Joey has never been in any other tournaments, because he doesn't perform well enough. And as much as I love the guy, and if you don't perform, I don't put you in tournaments. The Meyer League is just a thank you for helping me get to 75k subs. This tournament may never have happened if you guys didn't help me do that. So, once again, I want to say thank you. I know we're at 77 now. It's actually crazy. Uh, but this tournament was because you guys got me to 75,000 subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you all so much. But I should be saying thank you for 77,000 subs because you're all amazing. I, I have seen the new Flame Swordsman stuff, but uh, I know Joey won't be. I'm looking for their faces, so don't worry. I'm trying to remember who is Georgie, right? Hey, Georgie, come here. There we go. And it looks like Georgie is losing to Giant Rat. Good job, Joey. Up oh, Premature Burial. Now, Joey, you got to find a way to beat Opticlops. It was nice that you beat one card, but how are you going to beat the other? Reinforcements? Let's see what your monster is. Goblins! Yeah, they'll do it. It's, it's very, you know, temporary power, but he'll do it. Uh, all right, he had to do it. Goblin Attack Force does its job, but it is going to be wasted right now. Harpy's Feather Duster. That's so brutal. What does he lose? What cards did he lose? He lost Call of the Haunted and Fairy Box. Huge losses for Joey Wheeler. His monster is not strong enough. He has no back row now just from one spell card. A Baki hits way too damn hard. And Joey is forced into defense mode. What a coward. Damn, Joey. Oh, he got his boss, but it's a lot harder to use that boss. Oh, Joey just happened to top deck a second one. He picked Tails, and he got his Tails! And with Tails, he can not... Oh, wait, actually, no, he got Heads. Never mind, sorry. And it does not matter. Why did I not... Why did I think Blue Eyes was Tails? Oh, he messed up both times, Joey. Your luck stat has always been your problem. Remember when he used to use Time Wizard? That card just never worked for him. Alright, we're going to draw a card. Fairy Box will cost Joey some life points, even though it hasn't done a single thing for Joey. Abaki dies, and Giant Rat is like, hey, bring it. I got Fairy Box, and I swear it'll work this time. Ooh. Wicked Guy is here. Wicked Guy is willing to sacrifice itself, even though it's not worth it. Please, for the love of God, Joey, just stop saying tails. You always, they always get heads. They always get heads. That fairy box is actually worthless. If the AI can't get it right once out of three times, he might as well just say it's worthless. It cost him a thousand life points. And Gearfried is one of his best cards, and it does good work. It will take 500 burn, but Georgie doesn't want to take that burn. Kunai with Chain did make it not matter, but he's been losing life points because of it. Oh, shit, that's a good card. Card of Demise comes through. Let's see what he gets. Heavy Storm is a game changer. All right. Heavy Storm does help out. And Card of Demise throws away everything. There you go. Ooh, he got his comrade. All right. 
with his comrade. He's going in and he's doing some more damage. The burn does suck, but guess what? You buffed yourself to a point where you could totally win this duel. Not this turn, but you're going to win this duel. 2200 attack is too much for old Georgie, unless Georgie top decks Monster of Born. That's the only card. That ain't Monster of Born. All right, without Monster of Born, we are going to have to end this duel. Go ahead. Let the legend come back to life. Gearfree the Iron Knight. 2200 damage. Beautiful. All right, we're going to take game number one. Good job, Joey. Despite the fact that you're horrible at using Fairy Box, still, good job. Now, let's see how you do here. Okay, he keeps his uh, Master Duel Field. The enemy is drawing. Ooh, those are some good, rare, limited to one cards. The three cards in the middle of George's hands are all limited to one. So that's that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Heavy Storm is absolutely brutal. Joey lost everything that he cares about. That was a waste of your monster, but at the same time, at least you're thinning out. Uh, not really. Actually, that only helped Joey. All right, Joey, let's see what else you got, because he just heavy stormed everything you own. Warrior Lady, sure. Might as well. Rageki Break says no. Rageki Break says no. Damn. Damn, Joey, you're having a really bad time here. Literally, all the cards he drew were like Destruction Revival. Oh, and he got Pot of Greed. What a top deck. Jo uh, yep. Jo uh, Georgie? Yeah, his name's Georgie. Georgie, good job. That was a horrible card to Monster Born. Why would you do that? Who told you to do that? All right, Warrior Lady is going to try and hold on for dear life. Warrior Lady is going to try and hold on for dear life. But she can't hold on much longer. She's almost out of Warrior He's almost out of Warrior Ladies. That card is going back to the hand, but we'll see. Heart of the cards come through. Let's see what Joey gets. Joey draws himself Exile Force. Hitting Optoclops is pretty important, but we already see George's hand. It will not matter in the long run. In the long run, it has no value. Except that trap, which has no value, I see his hand. Literally, this guy drew all of his spell trap destruction. That is brutal. Absolutely brutal. Rush recklessly, thank God. That is one of the only cards that could have saved Joey. That is legit one of the only cards that could buy Joey one turn. Unless his opponent's willing to crash. Which, if he is, I'm going to be very sad. I'm getting worried. Slightly worried. Very worried. I'm totally worried. Crap. All right, Joey. It did, uh, it did matter. You got rid of Optoclops again. Comrade isn't strong enough, and it is over. Joey Wheeler has no hand. He has to top deck his way back into this duel, but his dollar store deck has a lot of bricks. When you run a dollar store deck, you got to expect a lot of bricks. And Wicked... Uh, that thing's just there for some damage. You might as well call that the original Spirit Monster before Spirit Monsters existed. All right, that card's going back to the hand. It did its thing. I think that was in Starter Deck Kaiba or something. I remember using it when I was a kid and hating the monster. Avaki, there's just an easy monster to kill on the field. Mystic Tomato's here to help. Giant Rat is not dead to Mystic Tomato, but will die to you. Joey's already used most of his best cards. He has Comrade, but Comrade is not strong enough. Georgie, you're doing great work here. Great work. I hate you, though, because Joey's my boy, but good. Oh, my God. Lightning Blade. Keeping it classic. And Magic Cylinder kills. It did not. It did kill Joey. Unless Joey is smart enough to crash his. Uh, it doesn't matter. Abaki can win the duel right now. <sighs> you did your best, Joey. You did your best. The AI probably is smart enough. Giant Germ's the same thing, honestly. So, Comrade will weaken the monster. Giant Germ will die. Joey Wheeler loses game number two. Georgie will take it. Literally destroying all those spells and trap cards left Joey with nothing. All right. So, we're going to be moving into game number three. And we're going to see if Joey Wheeler could do it for his sister. Or if I'm going to have to have a whole series where she's blind the entire time. Joey and Yugi were friends in high school, but they're not in high school anymore. I don't know how old you viewers are, but sometimes your friendships in high school don't last. Once you don't see them every day in class, it's just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, that was a guy I hung out with in high school. That, that, that was it. All right. Oh, what the? Okay, that's two. That's two right there. 
Triple Mystic Tomato didn't need the Pot of Greed to get it, so that is two examples of Master Duel being cheating. Two examples, I got it. The three Mammoth Graveyards and the three Mystic Tomatoes. There you go. Good job, Gear Free. Command Knight comes through. Optoclops is here. Optoclops is scary. Ooh, you could use that card with Gift of the Martyr. No, not Mystic Tomato. Even if they're... It still has value, man. All right. And Fairy Box. Will it work for once in its life? He picked Tails again. Stop picking Tails, Joey. It doesn't work. I've never seen it work, Joey. Stop picking Tails. Please. Oh, whoa, he got the lock. Oh, shit, Joey got the lock. The double command knight. He drew both of them naturally. Good job, Joey, boy. You did good. Oh, shit, never mind. Yeah, none of this matters anymore. Joey's about to lose everything. That When you fight freaking Georgie, you just lose everything. Yep. Georgie being one of the most popular kids at Domino High at the moment. Literally is doing this for his fans. And I think he might be able to pull it off just because Joey's getting the most unlucky. Oh my god, the Chosen One. But he needs more spells and traps for that to work. But Chosen One works really well with his deck. It's all luck-based, but hey. Maybe luck will work for once. Well, all the Mystic Tomatoes were destroyed. Not a single one used their effect. That's wild. Well, we're just going to set Wall of Illusion. That makes the most sense. Joey's slowly burning to death. His opponent's just waiting to draw one of those spell trap destructions. Giant Rat's going back to the hand. It's got, you know what? It was worth. You need to get rid of Wall of Illusion. It's such a problematic monster. Okay. Okay. Morphing Jar. That's a game changer. That's a game changer right there. Both characters need Morphing Jar really badly. So that, that, that can make the whole duel turn around. Giant Rat's going to make it happen. We're going to see what cards they get. I'm more interested in what Georgie gets. Georgie gets Monster Reborn. That could be scary if he gets enough cards out of his hand. But they have no resource management, so I highly doubt that'll happen. Premature Burial is a little early. You should wait till your next turn. And okay. Well, we got a Command Knight. We got a Giant Rat. We got Fairy Box. And we got Card of Demise. And we're going to set everything. We're going to Monster Reborn ourselves. A Gear Freed. The, yeah, Gear Freed's coming. Yeah, Gearfried is coming, and Optoclops is here, and Fairy Box, don't say Tails. Double Fairy Box, don't say Tails on both of them. Come on, Joey. Do it for old Cooper. He said heads. Thank God. It worked out for once. I don't know why it's been heads six times now. Oh, our first Tails, but it doesn't matter. That time it didn't matter. 1,400 damage. That's what you get for risking it for the biscuit, but he's not willing to risk it with Gearfried because he knows the value. Hopefully, he has a gear fruit in his hand. Joey's losing 500. He's not willing to pay 1,000. Fair, fair enough. He's got Comrade, and right, Gekki Breaks says no to Command Knight. Damn it. Damn it. Joey Wheeler, you still have Fairy Box, but maybe you needed both of them. Premature Burial can be good. Let's see if he gets another Opticlops. Oh, no. That was a terrible card. All right. Terrible choice. I don't know why he picks this such a bad card. Tails. It actually worked. Tails mattered. All right, your opponent, the opponent is super low on life points, but he's still willing to risk it. Kunai with chain says no. I'm not risking shit. You're going defense mode, bro. I need my, I, I need my comrade. Yeah, he was right to do it too. He would have failed in fairy box. Georgie and, and uh, Joey are fighting for their lives. Georgie has monster advantage. Joey has spell trap advantage. Rocket Warrior is here. Rocket Warrior getting a buff from Comrade. Takes out Gearfried. And now it's just Optoclops. Optoclops is the last card he has to worry about. Oh, shit. With life points this low, that card is risky. And he's just... Oh, my God. Card of Demise on main phase two. What are we going to do with it? Okay. Yep. Shouldn't have summoned a Baki. Well, honestly, Giant Germ. I don't know if it had that much value. Oh, release restraint. We got Gear Free, the sword master at 3000 attack. And that's going to end this duel. Joey Wheeler gets his boss monster. Joey Wheeler ends it with his opponent's Abaki. That is good. Good job, Joey. All right. Joey Wheeler fought for his goddamn life and he won. Georgie fought really well for a character that uses ultimate obedient fiend as a boss monster. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see who's up next. The next opponents are 
Bruce Ryu versus Yang. Yang, for those of you that don't know, was actually called Yuma in the Tag Force games. But uh, I call her Yang. I think that name will work out. So let's go find Bruce Ryu and let's watch these two go at it. Uh, yeah, of course this guy's going to be harder for me to find just because it's been a minute since he's been used. So let's go ahead and start this duel and see what happens. Yeah, Georgie wasn't that bad because he's in a tournament like this with actual beater monsters. So, yes, for those of you that haven't noticed, Yang is going to be... Let me get her face. Yang is going to be a Dark Lucius deck. And her opponent, um, Bruce Ryu, is a fighter deck. And a monk deck. Master monk combo fighter kind of thing. Uh, let's see here. Sorry, I'm still looking for his face. I know I have it in here somewhere. I just can't find it. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's just been a minute since I've used him. Blast this Modian. They're going to gain some life points. Now, Yang has Dark Hole, so that thing has super value right now. Ooh, drawing your boss monster. Not the best thing for this deck, unless it was in the grave. If it was in the grave, then you had Monster Born. That'd be amazing, but... Uh, yeah, it's not in the grave, so it's not the most amazing thing. You stole your opponent's combo fighter. You're really into that combo fighter, eh? Dark Lucius level 4 is here. Combo fighter's level here. Dark Lucius cannot survive. If Dark Lucius survives, you're in a little bit of trouble. And Giant Rat with the Black Pendant. Wow, keeping it old school. And you let Dark Lucius live, which I believe does let it level up on the standby phase. Oh, it has to destroy a monster by battle. I knew it was some stupid reason. Yeah, it has to destroy a monster by battle. So, yep, Dark Lucius level 4 is going to get its ass kicked. That's a shame. Oh, we got it! It's Master Monk! That card does not care about your monsters. They will literally just blow through them. Giant Rat, he wants you to summon another one. He wants it. And Master Monk is doing a great job. Giant Rat again, though, is like, shit, I got to keep it up. So, what are you going to do now? You got a rat, and you got, like, zero chances. Oh, Dark Lucia's level 6, but you're not going to be able to make it. So, that kind of sucks. For those of you wondering why she didn't tribute for it, let me show you Dark Lucia's level 6 attack stat. There you go. That level 6 monster's attack stat is that much. Dark Lucia's level 4 has no chance against the Chusuke fighter. And that game... Oh, just end this duel. Double 1900. The ability to attack twice is just too good. Why do you think Cyber Twin Dragon back in the old days was just this busted card? Yeah, this duel's over. This duel's super over. I, I, can't, I can't see it going any other way. I'm going to have to give the first one to good old Bruce Ryu. Gravity Orb saves the day. Gravity Orb was your only shot. So... Did that buy you enough time? Oh, you already dark hold. You are, you lost. You you already dark hold. Magic cylinder. You never got. You never really got damage on them. So go ahead, win the duel. Attacks come through. Twelve hundred. Game winning attack will not work until the second one. And the second attack comes through. That is game. Yang loses duel number one, and the winner will be Bruce Ryu. But. There's always duel number two, so let's see if they get a little lucky. Does level up work? I'm sure level up works, yeah. I am sure level up works, but I didn't see a single flying elephant, so I'm hoping I get to see a single level up. And... No luck. Giant Germ could be very good with this opening hand, though. Because Dark Lucius level 8, you're allowed to tribute it. And even though level 6 sucks, level 8 is legit strong. Even if you don't use it for its effect, it's legit one of the strongest cards in today's tournament. Alright, that giant rat with black pendant, I don't know why I've seen that combo so much today. Call the Haunted, they're going for their boss. Since this is a normal summon, they won't have an effect. But, their boss, Dark Lucius level 8, has 2800 attack. Even stronger than Joey Wheeler's Gear, Gear Free the Swordmaster. So that's pretty good. Giant Rat is still here. Black Pendant is 500. Nothing in Bruce uh, Ryu's deck can beat him. The strongest card, or beat her, I should say. 
The strongest card he owns has 2300 attack, so it's all up to spells and traps to try and save the day. Or a good monster effect if they have one. Uh, giant rat for a giant rat. Yeah, that makes sense. Dark Lucius level 8. Sadly, without its effect, can't uh, destroy giant rat and stop it. For those of you curious about Dark Lucius level 8's effect, what it does is that it banishes any card it destroys by battle, and it also negates their effects while banishing them. So it has it plays double duty. Up, oh, you got Monk Fighter for the evolution, and you got Dark Lucius level 4, which is not going to be evolving anytime soon. It's Lone Wolf, everybody. Lone Wolf will make that monster invincible, I believe. So, without Spell Trap Destruction, you're in a little bit of danger. Kaminati Blow. Whoa, you're not risking it, are you? Oh my god, you're doing it. Okay, that was 100% worth. Master Monk is here. Um, You are in danger. Mm, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too damn soon. That is good. Um, Problem is they're probably not going to let you keep Dark Lucius. Even though if you could keep it, you might actually get started. But if Dark Lucius survives, we're going to get started and see if she can do it. She It survived. We're going to see it. Dark Lucius level 4, you succeeded. You could level up to Dark Lucius level 6. Dark Lucius level 6 is an okay beater monster at 1700. Pot of Greek comes through. We got ourselves Giant Germ. The damage is... Uh, you know what? This is how Dark Lucius levels up. He might, she might do it. She might get Dark Lucius level 8 with its actual effect. If she gets that, then it's over. I'm calling the duel. Alright, she totally did, didn't she? She draws a card. Dark Lucius level 6 makes it to Dark Lucius level 8 with its effect. And we got Dark Lucius level 4 again. And this monster is banished forever. And all the damage will begin to come through. I've never seen Dark Lucius level 8 ever be summoned normally. The way it's supposed to be. That's, that's good. Or 6, honestly. Ever. No one uses these cards. So we got Lucius level 8 with its effect, which banishes and negates, which is just amazing. And uh, we got Jowls of Dark Demise for hilarity. 2800 goes the wrong way, but she didn't need that card to win the duel anyway. Just use the other cards. Yeah, Jowl Demise, Giant Germ, get some Asmodian in there. And that is game. We're going to game number three. Yang shows us that her deck, when she pulls off her combo, can do work. But she has to pull off her combo for it to matter. We're going into game number three. Let's see what happens. Mm, not the best hand for Yang. I guess Magic Cylinder is good, but other than that, not the best hand for Yang. You didn't even set Magic Cylinder. I, said, I, I told you which one was good, and you just you ignored me. You, you just ignored me. Now you lose your Jaws of Demise for nothing. If you had set the other two and not MST, you would have been fine. Instead, we live in a world where you messed up horribly. Terrible. Absolutely terrible from Yang. She could have already had Dark Lucius, level 8. It would have been normal tribute summon, but still. Ooh, there you go, MST that card. Let's see what we got. TT, holy crap. Okay, good. That was a very valuable MST. Hot agree, that's one of the luckiest cards you could have drawn at this point. And, oh, the, the whole family? Oh, we drew the whole family. Dark Lucius, level 4, level 6, and level 8. I got to see it for half a second, but Master Monk is going to make good, quick work of this. I haven't seen that monster in over 20 years. Yeah, no, next turn it's over. I don't like your odds. If you are a fan of Yang and the Dark Lucius deck, we got to see what it can do, but she can't win. It's over. It is over. That card attacks twice. Shusuke the Mouse Fighter's here. And Giant Germ comes through. Two germs are better than one, but it will not matter. The burn effect doesn't make a difference. And yep, just attack twice and then let Combo Fighter just end this duel. Working together, everybody. So, there we go. The winner is Bruce Ryu. And with Bruce Ryu's win, we're going to go back to our bracket and we're going to see who's up next. So, one of our new characters have lost to one of the old characters. Bruce Ryu will be moving... Oh, let this load. Bruce Ryu will be moving forward. 
The next duel will be... I think I can see it from here. Beluga versus Mr. Periwig. Beluga wants to go pro, and he always has. And Mr. Periwig wants to go pro because he knows somebody in the pro league that he really wants to meet, apparently. Either that, or there's something that's uh, in the, something in the pro league he wants. So let's go find these characters. Beluga uses a 3,000 needles deck. Mr. Periwig uses a plant deck. So you know, take your pick. I don't know. I I, I wouldn't care, but I like between the two, I like Beluga more. I think his beast monsters have some cool combos, and I think Mr. Periwig's deck is kind of blech. Blech. Yeah, blech. It's just a blech. So let's go ahead and see this character's neck. And Beluga already has his boss mo Oh no, those are his mini boss monsters. And Mr. Periwig has... We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, those are 2,000 needles, not 3,000 needles. They're good monsters. 2k beater monsters. But uh, they're level 5, so you need to get up there to get them. Pot of Greed, MST. You've already lost one of your... Tra uh, Magic Cylinder's a big loss. And Graceful Charity comes through. Graceful Charity throws away useless cards. Bean Soldier is here. Bean Soldier can't beat the rat. Which means that Beluga, if he wants, could go all the way to 2,000 needles or can own two monsters. 2,000 it is. 2,000 needles is here. We're going to do 600 damage. I saw him throw away Sakuretsu as well. It broke my goddamn heart. I don't know what's wrong with these people. He kept Bean Soldier, threw away freaking Saku. Feral Limp is here, but I think it's bait. I feel the bait. And but the zoo, the soul eater, is going to eat some souls just to make sure its attack isn't too bad. Rush recklessly will do its absolute job. But the way he played this, he does get to keep 2,000 needles, so it worked out. At the end of the day, it worked out. That was just the best picture I had for it. There's no, there's no reason he's monochrome. That's just the best picture I had. By the way, that's Mr. Periwig's boss monster. Fairy King Truesdale is here. And Fairy King Truesdale will do some good work. So, oh, that's a boss monster as well. So, Beluga is in a lot of danger right now. Because even a 2,000 needles could not destroy that thing. But a 3,000 needles could. Problem with that is he'd need to find a way to get three monster, or two monsters onto the field. To pull off that 3,000 needles. And with what he currently has, that's not happening. I would say draw a premature burial or something, and then you can maybe pull this off, but that's like your only hope. Whoa, I didn't even think of stray lambs. That You're just making sure you have a lot of monsters left. Interesting. As long as Trojan Horse doesn't get destroyed, this could be the best play ever. I'm curious if it'll be destroyed. Okay, Bubonic's gone. Okay. Oh, shit! You did it! That was a good play. You baited your opponent. There is a trap card I'm worried about, but you baited your opponent, and now the boss monster is here. Boss versus boss. Okay, that hurts, but you're fine. Boss versus boss. It's going to be Fairy King Truesdale versus the all-powerful 3,000 Needles. Good job. Good play from Beluga. I did not know he pulled pull that off. But he... Oh, yep. There's Fairy King's effect. If it's in defense mode, it buffs all the plant monsters, which... Doesn't exactly matter when your opponent's like, hey, look at me, I drew the best card ever. And Mystic Tomato will die, but at the same time, it might result in your loss. All right. How are you going to deal with 3,000 needles? That is your question. You had control of the duel for so long, you have a large life point advantage. You're just playing the crash game, which is kind of interesting. Okay, Giant Rat versus... D that was terrible. <laughs> Why even do it if that was the best thing you had? And you already threw away Saku, so what the hell are you going to do? Monster Reborn for 2,000... Oh, no, you can steal your monster's boss up. You should... Fuck. Out of all the choices, you chose Bean Soldier. Sometimes, guys. Sometimes the AI just makes me upset. Sometimes there's just, there's just something wrong. Uh, he just really, he really loves being soldier. I don't know what it is. His virtual pet told him to do that. He already killed the virtual pet. It came out and he just freaking destroyed it. Mizzou the soul eater is here, but it's not strong enough. So it's just being used to destroy whatever they got. Uh, two, uh, oh, a thousand needles. No, he lost thousand needles. I got to see the whole family. Thousand needles, two thousand needles and three thousand needles. Ooh. 
That's pretty good. Well, we got 2,000 on the field, 3,000 on the field. Draw 1,000. I want to see all of them together on the field. There we go. Well, if you're a Beluga fan, he's actually doing pretty good work today. I, I, I like these combos. And the fact that he even pulled off 3,000 needles was just a really good play. Come on. Draw 1,000 needles. Do it for the fans. Ah, you coward. I know this has nothing to do with cowardice, but still. And that is it. Game number one, after having a really rough start, goes to Beluga thanks to a comeback play. Good job, Beluga. Mr. Periwig is on his last leg. Will he be able to win, or are all the teachers out? Because Miss Chono lost. Mr. Karita lost. If Miss Periwig lose, Mr. Periwig loses, all the teachers from Domino High are just proving they're terrible at their jobs. Now that dueling is one of the classes they have to teach. All right, Trojan Horse. I might have set with Stray Lambs, but that's just me. Mystic Tomato with Black Pendant. Sure, why not? 1,900 attacks, pretty good. It's not 19... Oh, that was good, but Mystic Tomato doesn't care. It wanted to, it wanted to die anyway. It wanted to die anyway. Dark Hex Sealed, my god. King of the Swamp. Whoa, what are we doing here? Are we going to go for one of your fusion monsters? We are! We got a fusion! It's going to be the Snake Yashi with the Dark Hex Seal, which equals Rose Spectre of Dun, his mini boss. It's gone. Damn. It was cool for like two seconds. All right? I don't care what anybody says. I enjoyed that for the two seconds that I got to see it. Oh, 1,600 damage comes through, and we're going to stray lambs, and we're probably going to set that trap card, aren't we? Don't waste your monster born. None of this is valuable enough. Good. Good play. We have a set. Now that we have a set, let's see what you got. Do you have a boss monster? Damn. He needs to draw one of his thousand needles now. Trap hole. It's gone. Never mind. Now you want to draw one of your thousand needles. We're using the monster born. Sure. Bring back the Trojan horse. Kind of a weird play, but sure. As long as he doesn't draw a dark hole, you're good. Snake yashi has gone. 1600 goes in what you gonna do now you're running out of options ah mr periwig you're on your last leg all these teachers suck what is wrong with them how are they allowed to be teaching the students when they can't even duel 1600 only 3000 life points left bubana vermin in attack mode as an insult he didn't even need it he just wanted to show it i'd call game right about now yeah this this feels like game. Come on, tribute already. Where's your tributes? Nah, that's just your baby form. That's the baby needles. All right, Feral Limp with Energy Drain, which honestly actually does save him. If he draws a Dark Hex Sealed, he could do it. Mr. Periwood can make a comeback happen if he draws Dark Hex Sealed. That's like his only option. And he did not draw a Dark Hex Sealed. That's all I have to say about that. He didn't draw shit, apparently. All right, Heart of the Cards, let's see. Giant Rat could be good as a beater month, so you love your Thousand Needles. I'm not going to blame you. How the Wild comes through for Burn. I think it'll be like a shit ton because you have five monsters. 1,500 Burn! And that is it. Beluga, with a nice Burn effect, ends the duel. 1,500 Burn is nothing to scoff at. So, let's go ahead and get back into our brackets, and let's see who's up next. Beluga has done well. Uh, there he is. The next duel is Mokuba Kaiba versus Eliza Littlefoot. So, we're going to see how these two characters do against each other. Mokuba has done okay in tournaments in the past, and Eliza is one of our new characters. If you missed the intros, you can guess what her deck is by her last name. So, yeah, let's see how these two do against each other. Where's Mokuba? Mokuba. Mokuba. Why must you hide? There he is. Alright, starting the duel now. Thank you all for your patience. Let's get it going. I'm going to look for their faces as we speak. I got Eliza. I got Mokuba. We're good to go. And be quiet, Jason. People, we don't use Link Monsters yet. We're not there yet. 
And we got ourselves UFO Turtle. UFO Turtle's gonna do a good job. Harpy's Feather Duster gets rid of the card in the background. And Axe Dragonude is pretty strong, but it doesn't want to attack because it knows it'll just help them get a new monster and they won't get anything out of the deal. Uh, we have a new trap or spell or whatever that may be. That's always good. Let's see what else we can get. Set and still not willing to attack. Mokuba might be setting up for their boss monster though, so that'll be good. For those of you that have forgotten, it's Seiyaryu, something like that. Uh, there it is. Seiyaryu is here, everyone. And with Seiyaryu, we're going to go ahead and attack, and that is really nice. UFO Turtle comes through, and UFO Turtle is back. So this is Mokuba's strongest card. And uh, I will say it's probably not going to be stronger than any of Eliza's strongest cards. But the good news is, is that it's she doesn't have any of her strongest cards just yet. So we're going to see if uh, she could top deck some, or he could top deck something. Axe Dragonute. And oh, they do piercing. Oh, my God. Good play from freaking Mokuba. Now that his cards do piercing, he's a real threat and 800 damage. He knows he's going to lose Axe Dragonute. But as long as he has uh, Seirai Ryu, I don't think he cares. So, what is uh, Miss Littlefoot going to top deck? Eh. I guess it doesn't really matter what she top decks. None of it can save her. Yep, that's about right. None of these can save you. That card doesn't exist. I've checked. And maybe it does exist. I just couldn't find it. Even so, we're still too early. Swords. She's no. She's gonna stall, Mokuba. You can't let this happen. Don't let her stall. Don't let her stall. All right, Mokuba's in trouble because honestly, she's just waiting for her boss monsters, and now she's probably gonna get to them. Unless Mokuba draws a card to destroy these cards, she, he's in trouble. Luster Dragon's very nice. He finally drew a nice uh, monster, but he can't use it. And she's just playing the patience game. She is legit just playing the patience game. She's like, I'm going to draw it eventually. I got plenty of boss monsters. Pizza money. Thank you very much. Actually, what I have is I, I actually got some Denny's. Uh, but I got this uh, this morning, which uh, around like 3.30 in the morning. More like 4.30, 4.30 in the morning. I could not sleep last night, so I, me and my buddy just went to Denny's instead. Wow, don't do it. Oh my god, Eliza, you're so crazy. Oh, what the hell? There's no reason. It's just, it's, it's, oh my god, it's so much. What's going on here? You didn't even pick the strongest monster. Why? What's going on? That was a bad play with your fire card. You should have gotten your strongest monster out of here. Thanks again, though. I really do appreciate that random gamer. TT! All right, with Seiya Ryu in the grave, honestly, she has a better chance of winning now, but we'll see what happens. Mass Dragon, okay. Mass Dragon can make a pretty big difference. I did not see that Lord Duck on, Drac on, something like that. Uh, Monster goes through. I think this one's special summon, so that's going to be real good because he's about to special summon as well. Let's see who gets the better monster out of this deal. Mass Dragon is here. Ooh, that's a good-looking card right there. Uh, I, even I know Durak Velo. I used to use it in the Attack Force series. It was like Attack Force 6. Dark Hole! That was probably a good use of that, even though uh, it's a, a bummer to get rid of Mass Dragon. You kind of had to. And Backfire will only do 500. And yo! Our, no, don't Dark Hole if you're bricked! If you're bricked, it wasn't worth it. I thought you were going for game. They only had 1,600 life points left. I thought you were going for game. It wasn't worth it then. I take it back. You're an idiot. Mokuba, you are an idiot. You shouldn't even be here. Smashing ground is nice, but you need something better. You took 1,700 burn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, man. You can do this. Oh, my God. Mokuba, uh, Mokuba is not drawing a single monster. You just got lucky the last card she has has a terrible attack, and she wasn't willing to go in. She's out of cards, but you apparently don't have a monster. You don't even really run tributes other than your boss. So the hell is in your hand. Oh, she drew her boss. That is the strongest card in her deck. 
but because all of those monsters that she once had are gone, think of all the damage you could have done if you were in attack mode. Mokuba has been bricked for so long. Mokuba, if you don't draw... You already got rid of Dark Hole. If you don't do enough piercing damage right now, you lost. You lost. You just, you just lost. We're going to see it. The duel's over. It's Titano time. Titano, go. Strongest card in her deck. 3,000 attack. Go. Call the Haunted to try and save the day. Sayar Ryu is strong enough to make sure that he doesn't die. His boss held back her boss, but it does not save the day. Uh, double backfire. And what are you going to do, man? Pot of Greed, you're desperate now. Heart of the Cards might not be good enough. He got a new trap, but unless that trap is Magic Cylinder, he might as well just say it's over. The attack comes through, 3k damage goes in, and it is over. Eliza Littlefit wins because at the last second when he had game, all he needed was a 1600 beater monster and he would have won. He braked for three turns straight. Three turns straight when he had the game. That's just embarrassing. So we're going into game two. We're going to see if uh, Mr. Dragon Man can try to make a comeback against Dino Girl. But I don't like his odds. Yeah, he really is, isn't he? Kaiba's is making his little brother a worse duelist just by being next to him. All right, Grace the Charity comes through. We're going to get some stuff away. He threw away his boss, which might mean a monster born. Harpy's Fire Duster is extremely valuable. And, uh, yep, it's called the Haunted. Luster Dragon goes in. UFO Turtle didn't stand a chance. Anything else? Okay, we got a weird monster. What is that? Direct Terra. Okay, whatever. TT and Dark Hole is kind of a meat. Don't use your Dark Hole, you idiot. Yeah, TT. All right, terrible use of your Dark Hole, but whatever. 17 comes through. Negate attack. Classic. So she's out of cards, but he has already used a lot of options as well. So let's see. Call the Haunted for his boss monster. He's probably going to get TT. But he has a normal summon this turn, so he's going to take advantage. Yep. 1400 comes through as long as she draws a monster with more than 1400 attack she should be fine that's not a tribute monster I, for, I forgot to add that okay she's not fine but not terrible that monster has a good effect at, ver at the very least double mass dragon is a very bad hand you didn't want that but sure so this monster will leave you uh, some tokens um, if one if you draw with your level 5 or 6 monster then I guess you'll be okay or just a beater monster in general. What do you draw? Ah, I got nothing against Backfire. I think it's great for fire decks. I just don't think uh, you want it at, when you're top decking. You want that when you start the duel. And you don't get to keep it anyway. In fact, instead of you doing 500 burn every time you, something gets destroyed, you're going to take 500 burn. Mokuba is making game number two look like game number one never happened because he's about to perfect her. Eliza's about to get perfected. Oh my god, it's, it's happening. Mokuba Kaiba just needs one more boss, uh, one more monster to try and end this duel. And he did not draw. Again, he seems to have a problem there. He does do 2,800 damage, and that's nice and beautiful. MST comes through. MST will be hitting this new trap. It does do, it was for piercing, so there you go. Backfire again. Again, I, I was just talking about this. That is not what you want. You want that when you start the duel, not, oh my god. Not when you're top decking. That is the end of the duel. Flying Kamakiri goes in. And the winner is Mokuba with a perfect victory. Talk about a bad top deck. So she has good game. Not like she has good cards. She has bad top deck. So let's try again. Eliza, don't waste your Dark Hole and TT this time. This time, actually, wait. That's a much better hand. That is a much better hand. All right, Pot of Greed comes through. We got Molten Destruction to make her Drac monsters unstoppable. And uh, yeah, Mokuba, you're going to need some pretty powerful cards to match up to this. That's... Don't Dark Hole on the first turn. You, uh, you did nothing. You took 1,400 burn for using Dark Hole. That's what happened right now. Grey Wing, you, you just wasted TT for a Grey Wing. You would have beat it anyway. You might as well let it live. All right. Both these Drac monsters are pretty decent. So, oh, and you just wasted TT this early as well. Mokuba has no TT and no Dark Hole. 
Whenever they start the duel with the best spells and traps in the game like that, they lose because they waste them immediately. Zero resource management. But Mokuba, for some reason, is bricked again, and I don't know how. I don't know how it keeps happening, but he's bricked. And she's rocking 2200 beater monsters right now. Call the Haunted won't matter. He doesn't have any powerful cards in the grave. Smashing Ground, okay, it slightly matters, but they have swords, so none of this technically matters. And we have a set. Still not a single top deck or a draw of a card. Mokuba, where are your monsters? That's a very good question. No, Macy Hops has yet to duel, but she'll duel soon. Backfire. Yeah. I gotta get comfortable because honestly, I'm seeing how this is gonna end. Mokuba is getting his butt kicked. All right, 2,200 damage is dealt. Next turn, it's over. If she had top decked a monster, the duel hut would have already ended, but this is fine. Eliza, unless he draws MST, Harpies. Did, was there really no monster in your grave worth stealing? Oh, he has a tribute. Okay, Kaiser Glider. What? Holy shit, he drew his Kaiser Glider, but he doesn't have many life points left to work with, so he might lose to Backfire. He needs a card that destroys spells and traps. In fact, he absolutely will lose to backfire if he doesn't if he doesn't fix this. <gasps> no, she's gonna get it! Kaiser Glider be damned! The boss monster is here! Titano will end this duel! 3500 attack! It is over! Kaiser Glider couldn't do it, everybody. <sighs> oh, that's a shame. Mokuba Kaiba, just like his brother, is quite disappointing. Eliza Littlefoot, good top deck at the very end there, getting your boss, and it saved the day. So, we're going to go ahead and move Eliza forward. The next duel will be Gorgon versus Light Kiko. Gorgon is a student at Duel Academy currently. Uh, not Duel Academy, sorry, Do Domino High occur currently. And Light Kiko is an elementary school student. Alright... Light Tsukiko. There she is. Said I was a bad role model. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Now let's see here. Light Tsukiko and Gorgon. Gorgonzola. Nope, oh, these two duelists are ready to go. MST is here. MST will not... Well, actually, yeah, it totally will work. That card's not going to help you. Gorgon is not a grown man. He is a high school student. High school students are not grown men. They're hard to even call them men. All right. Well, looks like your monster has zero attack now, so that's no good. And, uh... Yeah, we got a problem here. She's going to need her boss monster. Wait, what? <laughs> she she used Freya on purpose, really? And interesting. Because his monster was dark, he took advantage of it to get Fre Freya's being used just for her buffing effect. I love that. That's smart. That's really smart. Oh, it was ruined by TT. Damn, that was a good play by Light and it got ruined. That was a good play to get ruined. Oh, shit. Okay, that's one of his best cards. That card is going to put some real damage in on her. She's going to be in trouble. All right, what can she do? Yeah, I, I understand. You, you, you got unlucky. That TT had a lot of value. Oh, Marshmacon. Oh, crap. It's Marshmacon. That's actually really good. Or Macaron. Macaron. So if she has her boss in her hand, she can make a comeback happen. If she doesn't, she's screwed. But I don't like her odds, given that one of those were in her hand. Exactly. Oh, wait. She actually drew a good monster. I don't know if it'll make the biggest difference, but she drew a good monster. So now what are you going to do? Ooh, what is that thing? All right, Marshmacon dies, but that's part of her plan anyway. She's just like, haha, it's back now. Unless you have three monsters, you'll never be rid of my monster. Okay, I like your strategy here. It makes sense. The problem is you're not getting through his monsters because you need more beaters. 
When you lost Freya in all of those cards, you kind of lost a lot. A set? Maybe that set will matter. I, I wish you luck there. Attack the Moon is hilarious, but there's no spells or traps. This opponent is not using many spells or traps. They could finally get through the Marshmallow Cons. That's gone for good. And I know it's not called Marshmallow Cons. Marsh macaron or Macaron or a Macaroons. I don't know. If I say Marshmallow Con, you guys are okay with it. No, no one's complained yet. All right. Hoshinigan! Monster Reincarnation for what exactly? For another Hoshinigan? Okay. We're going to play it? It does make the Dark Monsters really weak. I give you that. Oh, are you going for game? If he uses Mystic Tomato's effect, he loses. It's over. It's over. You should have just not used it. Oh, my God. You're so dumb. Holy crap. Taking advantage of a type or an attribute advantage wins her the duel. Not bad. Good job, Light. So now we're going to go ahead and get into game number two. Going into game two, Light Tsukiko showed some good combos, but Mr. Gorgon has good cards. He just has to play them in a little bit of a different way. Plus, we haven't seen his boss monster yet. His boss monster is one of the most annoying rock monsters ever created. Who here knows the name of that boss monster? All right, 600 damage goes through. Shining Angel wanted to die, though. As, uh, Whoa, really? We're going Marshmallow? I didn't expect Marshmallow, but okay. Oh, we got it. It's boss monster time. Karaz is here. Karaz goes for the spells and traps, and that's going to cost you. So, because you went for the spells and traps, you actually just gave your opponent a pot of greed. Beautiful. Swords. Okay. Yeah, light has swords. Yep, Guardian Sphinx is the correct answer. You were right. Good job. Good job. One of the most annoying rock monsters ever created. Even though they have harpies and MST, they're unwilling to use it because AI will be AI for the rest of my life. Dunamis is here, and we got ourselves Shining Aid. It's not going to stay. But Dunamis will. Dunamis the, is going to be a very good card. It's going to destroy any of these uh, rock monsters. Yep, get out of here. Oh, shit. You didn't want to kill that one. Damn. <laughs> that is not the light monster. I mean, the, the monster you wanted to destroy, because Dunamis was such a good beater for like two seconds. Mystic Tomato sitting there laughing at you because you have no attack points. I hope you have a tribute. Hoshin again. Interesting. Okay. If you can get enough of those monsters, yeah, you could turn the duel around. No, only the other guy runs Mega Rock Dragon. And that's a waste of the Monarch Storm Force. That's a shame. We are we already have a character in the tournament that runs Mega Rock Dragon. It's not this one. Monster Aborn comes through. Monster Aborn gives them the knight that is very powerful. Or no, warrior. Sorry, warrior that's very powerful. Light stands no chance now with all of her uh, their monsters being rebuffed. Light is below half, and honestly, I gotta give it to Gorgon in this duel. I don't like uh, I don't like Light's odds. It's gotta be a damn good top deck right there, because this guy's about to have four monsters. Oh, just wants three. Frey is dead. Oh yeah, just get up, get up out of here. She is one turn away from death. She's got 1,100 life points to her name. She has a 0% chance of winning this duel. Without Dark Hole, I guess. That's not Dark Hole, so I'm, I'm calling it. She already lost Marshmallow on. She already lost um, most of her best stuff. That card has an effect, apparently, that I didn't know about. Oh, that spell or trap is locked. Freya again. It's over. The winner is Gorgon with a perfect victory. Light Tsukiko is in trouble. All right, we're going into game number three. We had a lot of game threes so far. How many game threes have there been? I feel like there's only been like two that weren't game threes. Mm. All right. So light just has a basic set, but this man has some pretty good hand the cards in his hand. Mystic Tomato is a very safe card. Marsh Pecan is a very nice card for tribute. The question is, will you tribute? Why is it in attack mode? I I have to assume. Yep. I was going to say, I have to assume. Oh, she got her Zaborg. Holy crap, you're in trouble. Oh, double summon. What are we getting? Tsunami's the Dark Witch. The damage is brutal. 
Laitsu Kiko is blowing through her opponent. Yeah, Kuraz may be her boss, but she also has the board. She's running two. Her mom lets her have two monarchs. Mystic Tomato and another set. Gets rid of Marshmacon, but Marshmacon's like, hey, thanks, bro. Wee. Wee. <laughs> Why are they always in attack mode, though? That's the one problem. That's the one thing I don't agree with. Why are they in attack mode? And we're... No, you don't have a monster, apparently. Ooh, that's really bad. All right, Magic Cylinder getting your life points kind of low. Uh, your opponent has infinite uh, Mystic Tomato stuff. And your Marshmallow Calm was completely wasted. You're wasting all of your life points. You had Nova Summoner, which could have been used to counter Mystic Tomato, but you misplayed hard. All because you're scared of a face down. Lilith, thank you so much for joining the casual crew. Thank you for being a YouTube member, and I hope you're enjoying Light vs. Gorgon. And thank you for watching Tail Concerto. I do appreciate that. All right, Shining Angel comes through. Mystic Tomato comes through. <coughs> oh, bless me. Sorry about that. And Freya, good choice. Freya was a good choice. Marshmallow is still costing her a lot of life points. She's down to 34. One big misplay or one boss monster can turn this duel around. But the real question is, will they draw Karaz? No, they will not. All right. All of the Gorgons are going down slowly but surely. You're not, you don't have enough attack. That's sad. That's really sad. You, you, are, you are depressing me a little bit. The fact that you can't make this comeback happen. Gorgon's eye is not necessary here. I think you won now. You got so lucky they never got Guardian Sphinx. If they even got one of them, you would have been screwed. I have no idea how you didn't get any more Tribute Monsters. And Zaborg goes in for 24. That is the end of the duel. Light Tsukiko takes game number three. So she'll be moving forward. Her brother already did move forward, so I, I would have felt bad if she lost already. Let's go ahead and move on to the next fight of the tournament. We're going to see who's up next. Speak of the devil, you guys want to see Mega Rock Dragon? It's time. It's time for Simon Stone to take on Bones. Simon Stone is our Stone Dragon user, and he'll be taking on Bones. Um, Where are these people? All right, I found Bones. That's the good news. And I found... No, that's not him. That was Hunter. No. 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 There he is. All right, found him. Simon Stone's ready to duel. Stone versus Bones. That's right. What lasts longer, rocks or bones? That is the real question. The answer might surprise you. All right, Bones starts the duel with just some basic stuff. United We Stand is not basic, but it is one of his best cards. Don't worry, he only has one, but still. It is one of his best cards. Let's see what he does with it. Graceful Charity, one Harpy's Fire Duster turns this all around. Well, if anyone saw the intro, I already warned you. And Rock Bombardment will do a good job throwing away the Stone D, his mini boss monster. But he already wasted his boss monster, so that sucks. I think he runs two, though, so maybe he can make up for it later. That Dragon Zombie is quite scary. He's got Armored Zombie, Dragon Zombie, the Snake Hair. All of this is just uh, really beautiful. Uh, premature Burial is interesting. He did get his uh, mini boss monster. That was his boss monster back in the Domino High tournament. If anyone here can even remember that tournament, as it was so long ago now. The game has changed very much so. That used to be the strongest card in his deck, and it used to be a decent monster. But things have changed. Level 7 for 2,000 attack is not worth it. Reliable Guardian, which actually works really well with that card's effect. So that's, that's going to have some value. Do we have a tribute? Oh! Oh, God! We're playing with fire now. We're top decking. All right, time to top deck. Who has better top decks? We got Clown Zombie. That's a good top deck in my opinion. Call the Haunted with the six, uh, the 800 burn. The Everlasting Cannon does good work. The Clown Zombie, the Dragon Zombie, the damage. It's too damn good. 
All right, but does this guy have a good card? Now, he doesn't run the best beaters in the game unless he draws Mega Rock Dragon, but what he does run is some good defense. There are some really good 2K defenders in that, de uh, in that uh, deck. Another one of those doesn't hurt. Might as well have some extra damage in case you get more. Giant Rat will hold the field for now, and Clown Zombie is probably going to die. Destroyer Golem is going to live up to its name real quick, but uh, you need an equip spell. That's all I got to say. You don't have an equip spell. That's a real shame. Well, if you don't have an equip spell, then... Okay, I was going to say, at least have a defense monster. Heart of the cards. Bones gets... No, he can do it! Bones has achieved his special summon. The gold the mammoth of gold fine. Sorry. Big G is here, and Big G is ready to do some damage. 800 burn, 800 burn, and a game-winning attack from Goldfine. Good work, Bones. Good work. It may not be a shiny Big G, but it's a good one. All right, so there we go. And that is my way of saying go watch the Poke Duel series. So let's go ahead and get into game number two. That's my boy right there, Buddy Bones. We're going to go back into our deck. Ooh, I like that. Start with Castle. Start with Castle. Be smart. All right. MST, that's a shame. He lost. Call the Haunted has a lot of value. All right. Castle of Dark Illusions will hold the field. Sadly, there were no zombies, so he doesn't get its effect, but that's fine. Oh, that's cool. Thank you so much. I'm glad PokéDuel got you to come over here and enjoy our Yu-Gi-Oh! series stuff. It was sad to see that I was sad to see that let's play go, but it was a good time while it lasted. And there will be more. There will be more series. Not exactly like it, but more like it. In the future. So we're just gonna set right there. Giant rat is here, but I know what's gonna happen to it. That's uh, that's right. So one weakness here is Giant Rat can actually hold the field for quite a while. That castle does have weird stats. That is accurate. Dragon Zombie. We're going to double it up. And that's 4,000 attack. That's that's enough to end this duel, isn't it? Almost. Yep. Very close. 750 life points left. Destroyer Golem's too damn strong. But Castle of Dark Illusions is not going anywhere. So, what are you going to do? What can you do? Other than top deck Dark Hole. You didn't top deck Dark Hole. You might as well give up. That, that United We Stand has the most value in the game. All he has to do is summon Armored Zombie. He's got all of his classic zombies coming in. Dragon Zombie, do you want to do the honors? Morphin Jar is way too late to the party. It's uh, needed to be... Oh, my God. And Bones, with 4,800 attack, will end the duel. Bones has 2-0'd his opponent. I'm sorry, Simon Stone. You have some cool cards. I like your, uh, your Rock Dragon cards, but at the end of the day, you don't know how to use your boss, so you're useless. All right, a lot of characters. Bones, your existence shall remain. As long as you do good in duels, I have to let you remain. The next duel is Johnny Steps, a former pro and an American runner-up. Back in when, you know, Duel Monsters was simple. <laughs> Back when Duel Monsters was simple, Johnny Steps was a well-known name. We're in the future now. We're living in times where tuner monsters exist. So, Johnny Steps is not exactly uh, the same as he used to be. But, can he stop Natalie? <laughs> Natalie is a struggling uh, college student trying to become an actress. We'll see if she pulls it off. Her deck is not bad. It's a good beast deck. It's just she doesn't run many beaters. Like, I'm talking her boss monster has 2250 and no effect. But, her other cards are good. So, maybe that'll make up for it. All right, Johnny Steps and Natalie. Okay, well, Natalie's just going to go ahead and go with 2300 attack. That'll do it. He did retire from dueling, and then dancing stopped paying the bills, and that means he had to go back to dancing. But it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't going to do it. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Dark Hole, there we go. You know, if he uses Premature Burial, I could see a really big damage play right now. Okay, are you willing to Light Hex Seal? 
Oh my god, he's doing it. Johnny Steps has summoned his boss monster at 1750 attack, and it's gone. Damn. Damn, he had so much damage. He had so much damage. Johnny's entire deck is fusions. That's his whole idea. And uh, his boss monster is dead. That is, uh, that is, that is really weak. The faces are on the wrong side. Ah, shit. I did put the faces on the wrong side. I apologize. I flipped the faces. It happens. That might be the first time I've done that, but it happens. All right. Pale Beast comes through. Shining Angel could work out for Johnny if he ends it on Light Hex Seal. Is he smart enough to end it on Light Hex Seal, or is the AI poorly programmed? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This guy can do it. This guy can have the most damage in today's tournament. And he's going to do it. Light Hex Seal with Witch of the Black Forest. His boss has returned. The Musician King is here. What song will he play for us with his super powerful 4,750 attack stat? Yeah, you thought, you thought Musician King was a weak boss, didn't you? Nah, it works with Fusion Weapon. It's a damn good boss monster. That's a horrifying boss. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, 4,750. That sounds about right. Natalie is in so much trouble. Unless she draws, like, I don't know, Fisher after killing Ancient Elf. You're, you're, you're dead. Or a Harpy's Feather Duster. That would help. Harpy's Feather Duster would help pretty, pretty much. Please nerf Johnny. He used to be a pro. All right, King of the Swamp. We're going for another one. Why not? Why not? You got the fusion naturally in your hand. Here we go. Musician King number three. This is his last Musician King, everybody. He's got no more after this. And he's got Shining Angel for funsies. All right. Musician King has done the job. And Shining Angel will match uh, the Giant Rat. That's a good play. That was a very good play. That's awesome. I'm glad you still have it. Bubonic Vermin is here, and Ancient Elf is here. Oh my god, he just wanted damage. He just wanted damage. No, Fencing Fire Fairy, and it can't save... It did save the day, but it can't really save the day because you couldn't target the freaking Musician King. This duel is over. End it. Pot of Greed, unless you get Dark Hole, it's over. Two traps, and I bet you neither of them matter. Another Light Hex Seal. It won't work, but it, it'll be there. Bubonic Vermin to try and hold the field desperately. Light Hex Sealed will see that and probably just kill it anyway. Johnny Steps with your Musician King ends the duel with 4750 attack. That is beautiful. He's showing you all why he was a pro and a runner-up for American Champion. He only lost that to Bandit Keith, who's been a pro for a very long time and has gone top 8 multiple times. Actually, I think John, uh, Bandit Keith has only been top eight in tournaments, which is kind of crazy. Since I only put a... Number three of Master Duel Cheats. There it is, everybody. There it is, it happens. I, I have proof. Every stream, I, br I bring more and more proof that Master Duel Cheats. Proof, right there, in the pudding. We're on three. It's only 1.43 p.m. right now. How are we on three? I I'm gonna keep bringing the evidence. Oh, shit. All right. Looks like Natalie pulled off one of her new monsters, the Big Tusk Mammoth. And that is scary. There it is. Caught in 4K. <laughs> 2,000 attack comes through. How much more... TT, okay. TT could be good. That is uh, probably the card that'll save you, Johnny Steps. Natalie gets Giant Rat, and it will cost her. The field is wide open now. Fencing Fire Ferret has no target, which means it can't do anything. It's really not that uncommon to draw three of the same card. I disagree. Premature Burial. Go Ancient Elf. Ancient Elf goes in. 1450 damage. Drawing three of the same card in the opening hand is uh, insane. Especially when they're all back-to-back. -back. 350. Ooh. 
All right, Johnny, your hand is terrible thanks to that opening triple fusion weapon. They come in handy in the later game, but they def... Oh, Metal Morph. Okay, Johnny Steps uses the card he won from the tournament. 400 damage, that's good. Pale Beast, that'll do the job. It's sad, but Metal Morph is only good when you're attacking, not the other way around. Johnny, do you do you run a beater? I don't think he runs a beater. His fusion is 1750. He doesn't run a beater. That is surprisingly able to protect him. I did not expect that. A card that could actually protect him. Oh, shit. She got her boss monster, everybody. With Firewing Pegasus, Johnny Steps is not coming back. 2250 beats all of his defenses. He has two major bricks in his hand. I may have forgotten one of his pro cards. My my apologies. My apologies. I, I have forgotten. I didn't realize. And we're in trouble. Black Pendant. Bubonic Vermin. <laughs> Horn. Rush. She got one monster out of that deal. The rest was like all power-up cards. Alright, Natalie. Good for you. And a block attack. One of the most powerful cards in the game. Witch of the Black Forest. Harpy Feather Duster has so much value. A poly will have value when you're... Car Literally, that poly has value. A fusion weapon might come in handy now. Harpy Feather Duster has the most value right now. We're going to hit so much. What do we hit? Take a quick look. All power up and, and bottomless. Black Panda puts Johnny below half. Lubana Vermin will not be holding this field for very long. <clears throat> when we already know one's in the grave. Or was that the last duel? I don't remember. All that I know is that they're dead. Okay, it doesn't matter. They're dead. They lost all of them. And yeah. He's probably going to put Witch in defense mode, isn't he? You coward. Now, if this guy draws a Light Hex Sealed or a Lady of Faith, he's going to go all the way into Musician King. Oh my god, he's... She's bricked. Oh no. Oh, you got lucky you did not top deck. You got unbelievably lucky. Like, this is crazy. Natalie, even though she had such a good start, is one turn away from losing because she didn't top deck a monster. She top decks a monster, she's back. She has to hope he doesn't fuse. If he fuses, the duel is over. That's it. He drew it. Here we go! We are going to play one of the strongest cards in his deck. That Cyber Jar had so much value. Mystical Sand, which still applies Fusion Weapon. This monster has the highest attack of the day at 5,100. It is over. Johnny Steps has won. Johnny Steps wins it all with a super powerful 5,100 attack point monster. Five God Dragon, eat your heart out. All right, there we go. So, let us move into the last fight of top 32, which wasn't even 32, but whatever. The last fight will be Ray Tortimer, the turtle deck, versus Macy Hops, the bunny deck. So, I want to see a fight in chat. Turtles or bunnies, go. Who do you like more? If you had to have one as a pet. Alright, right. Me personally, I think I'd rather have a bunny than a turtle. Mostly because, like, turtles are cool, actually. My, my neighbor has a turtle, one of those big ones. My neighbor has one of those big turtles, and I've house sat for it before, and it's really cool. But I feel like they just don't do much, and bunnies are, like, adorable. So I, I'd probably go with a bunny. Maybe. I don't know, their turtle is really cool. Alright, I am ready to start this. Let's see who wins. Both characters have pretty powerful boss monsters for this tournament standards. Um, I'm looking for their faces as we speak. Macy is ready to duel. Ray is ready to duel. Go Ray Tortimer, go Macy Hops. All right, Manju is here. Manju gets you Turtle Oath, okay. And Giant Rat will prevent you from playing the game. All 
That's not good. <laughs> no one wants crispy bunnies. And Turtle Oath is gone, so you lost your ritual spell for no reason. Why'd you even set it? If you top deck your ritual monster, I'm going to be super mad at you. Okay, 2800 attack. That's no good. Last Will, that's a very nice card. Using that card, they get Nimble Momonga. If they get their Rabbit Dragon, this duel is already... Oh, well, no, wait. I see a Dark Hole. It's not necessary, though. Yeah, you don't have to Dark Hole. You're giving her a lot of tributes, though. I have to admit, you're giving her a lot of tributes. Here comes... Ugh. Why would you set Dark Hole? That's so stupid. Here we go! Boss monster time! It's Rabbit Dragon! I don't know why you didn't try to get rid of the Mother Grizzlies with Giant Rats, but whatever. Rabbit Dragon goes in. 2950 damage is insane. It's one of the strongest cards in today's tournament, if not the strongest. We're not counting equip spells, obviously. We're just saying monsters in general. Alright, Mother Grizzly. Are you actually out of rats? Is the last rat in your hand? Like, what's going on with you? Island Turtle. Vanilla. Ha! <laughs> they both picked a defense monster because they both don't really have beater monsters. Both decks have more defensive op options, not counting their boss monsters. That's actually hilarious. But I'm about to see a dark hole, aren't I? No, I'm not. What the fuck? Yo, what? It's like the first time they've not used dark hole immediately. Well, I'm happy to hear that, James, because Robber Dragon is right there, ready to have some fun. All right, Foolish Burial throws away. Ooh, that was a really good choice. I'm not even mad. That was good. Jar Turtle makes you almost lose the duel because you're not very good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Turn change. Let's see what they do. Now Dark Hole? Yeah, okay. You waited a little long on that Dark Hole. I'm not going to lie. It might not be worth it anymore just because you're probably still going to die. <laughs> Saku, yep. All right. Granted, they're both mostly defensive decks. But if you can find a card in your deck with 850 attack points, you can win this duel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Macy and Ray Tortimer are not manga characters, no. You have 50 life points left. Good job. Good job. They are uh, page 3 characters. Page 3 characters are like... Tack oh, Mecha Buddy victory! All right! Uh, page three characters are basically, um, what do we, what would we call that? Uh, Tag Force original characters, or just original characters in general. They might not even be from Tag Force sometimes. But the bunny takes the first win. So, moving into game number two, let's see what happens. Yeah, we'll just go with original characters, but I didn't make them. They were made by the actual Konami people. I just made up their names for fun. Harpy's Feather Duster goes through. Okay, what are we going to hit with that? Let's see what gets hit. MST. Okay, not too good. Um, Mother Grizzly is one of the stronger cards. Raigeki Break comes through. Vanilla. Okay, Vanilla is gone to get rid of Mother Grizzly. It's probably a good, good idea. Manju is here. We got ourselves Turtle Oath. Now we got to hope she draws that tur Crab Turtle. Saku gets rid of uh, that monster, which means that whatever that defense monster was, was weak. It's not one of your defensive monsters. Okay. Giant Rat and Nimble Momonga. It was weak. I was right. If she draws her ritual monster, she can control this entire duel, but she has to get lucky. Eh, no luck. Why did you do that? Oh, Mother Grizzly. I forgot she had Mother Grizzly. That's my bad. All right, yeah, go ahead. Oh, you're not going to go after Nimble Momonga? Well, we're going to see who wins between this. They're going to go through a lot of crap right now. I will say this, though. The turtles have better beaters than the bunnies, but the bunnies have better defenders than the turtles, which is really weird, right? That, that It's like it's like the opposite. All right, they're really running out of cards now. Mother Grizzly and Giant Rat, they got they to have something else. Are we going to see a Mecha Bunny? Are we going to see a Vanilla? Are we going to see what other else you got? Vanilla it is. And what do you got? Oh, Boulder Tortoise. That's a little bit better than you normally choose. And Nibble Momonga. If she has her Rabbit Dragon in her hand, this will be the clutchest thing ever. If she doesn't, then I think Ray's got this. 
All right. If she has Rabbit Dragon in her hand, this will be the luckiest thing ever. Hard of the cards? No. All right. Now she's just waiting for Crab Turtle to get through those big defenses when we get to that point. Island Turtles here. They're going to start destroying Nimble Mamongas. Boulder Tortoise is like, hey, look at me. I'm one of the beaters in this deck. <laughs> in this defensive deck, I count as a beater monster. And Mecha Bunny is gone, but Mecha Bunny will start doing some burn. I don't know if you've noticed, but one character's been healing, the other character's been burning, despite the field difference. So, now there's no chance at Rabbit Dragon, so you really don't want to draw it now. Please don't. Drawing the Rabbit Dragon now would be a very bad idea. We have ourselves a set. Oh, she could do it! She's smart enough to do it! Senju gets the Crab Turtle! And she's Turtle Oath in her way to victory. Why would you pick Boulder Taurus when it's your best beater monster? You're an idiot. Oh, because it's... Okay, you were trying to maximize your stars. I get it. You're like, I want to use my level 3 star monster. Uh, just keep the beater monster next time. Alright, the Mecha Bunny is slowly winning the duel. You're below... Ha oh, she had the other one in her hand! That's so unlucky! Oh no, Crab Turtle obliterates the life points. Island Turtle in defense mode for no reason. Well, there's no chance now unless you draw a Dark Hole. It's, there's a 0% chance. Crab Turtle's way too damn strong. Turtle Bird, that's another one of her boss monsters. That used to be her boss monster back in Domino High. Vanilla. That deflected damage does hurt. And Island Turtle's scared. Yeah, I'd be scared too. All right, more defensive turtles or dark hole. Ooh, a trap. That I wasn't expecting. All right, they're out of cards. The whole duel is decided by this. Don't attack with Jar Turtle like an idiot. Oh, thank God. Oh, what the hell? That's another bunny card. Probably a newer one, but don't worry. It doesn't change anything because it's so old. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't do anything. And there it is. MST comes through. The end of the duel is upon us. They have the same life points somehow, which is hilarious. But we'll see what happens. Sharp. Yeah, a little too late for that. All right, get him out of here. We're going to see the Turtle Girl take a victory with her Steel Shell. Crab Turtle with spikes. It's basically Bowser now. Water Bowser, go. So we saw Rabbit Dragon win a duel. We saw Crab Turtle win a duel. But who will take game number three and advance into top 16 of our tournament? It's kind of hard to decide when literally they're both the same idea. They have big bosses with really good attack stats, but really defensive regular monsters. So, oh, she already got a ritual monster. That's crazy. But she does need to get her ritual spell still. Foolish Burial comes through. Rabbit Dragon's in the grave. That's kind of scary. Shard Agreed early. That's exactly when you want it. Right in the beginning of the duel. Very nice. Well, that's good. You got two crab turtles. Makes it easy to ritual summon. But guess what you really need? You need you need the other thing. The thing that actually helps. Soul Resurrection! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Rabbit Dragon on the third turn. The first turn you can even attack. It happened. Crab turtle means nothing to me now. It's not even a monster. It's not even a monster anymore. Ah, uh, use your giant rat next time. Whatever. 1400 going. You're dead. You're absolutely destroyed. Oh, you you can't be serious. That sucks. Macy Hops gets screwed over by the best top deck I've ever seen. And Senju is back. Gora is here, and they're going to go right in. That was the best top deck you could have got. But... Even though it looks like Macy's bricked, she set herself up for this turn. So let's see if Macy gets lucky. She needs another giant rat since she doesn't really have any other beers. Yeah, that's what I thought. You really don't want her to get that ritual spell because that'll turn... Oh, no. Oh, no. The best top decks in the game. Does Ray have it? Boulder Tortoise is one of her best beaters. Vanilla is way tankier, though. All right, heart of the cards. Harpies, why not? Tribute. Manticore! She got it! With Manticore of Darkness, what the hell are we going to do? Last will because you tributed because that's it. Giant Rat is here. 
Okay, good back and forth, but Crab Turtle could change it all. She didn't get the ritual spell. She needs to hold on for dear life. Raid's Hoarder must hold on. She needs the ritual spell. Hey, thanks for being here, Rare Hunter. I hope you enjoy, but look at that. Crab Turtle would be the best. The Turtle Oath. Oh, she did it! It actually happened! The Turtle Oath is real! Oh no, Crab Turtle for a Crab Turtle. A soul for a soul. Level 8 is here. With Rabbit Dragon in the graveyard. Oh no way. Boulder Tortoise is here as well. Boulder Tortoise can beat Giant Rat. Obviously, Giant Rat will just pick Giant Rat. No reason not to. And Manticore does not last much longer. The life points may be low, but you're not going back. Manticore does use its effect, get rid of the rat, summon itself. Maybe it'll try to do as much damage as possible, but at the end of the day, this is going to be game. Yes, you got rid of Boulder Tortoise. Yes, you left your opponent with 1900. What? If she can hold on, she has another Rabbit Dragon in her deck. If she can hold on, Rabbit Dragon would be able to beat Crab Turtle, but the odds of that happening are very low. Will she draw it? The last Rabbit Dragon she owns. It's all up to the heart of the cards. No, but Vanilla is going to waste her life points because AI is AI. Vanilla, you have 150 attack. Go in defense mode for the love of God. This whole duel is going to be decided by if you get your boss. Your opponent already has her boss. She's going to win. You need to get your boss or it's over. The swords actually buys you time, though, which I think is what... Don't, don't attack with Vanilla. You dumb idiot. You're throwing the duel. She's actively throwing the duel. I can't believe it. We're going to watch her throw it all. Vanilla is literally in attack mode being used for nothing. Tribute. This is it. This is it right now. It decides the whole duel. She didn't get it, and she's wasted her life point. She went from 6k... Okay, well, at least it was 6k to 3k. She lost 3,000 life points. 3,000 to Vanilla. Turtle Bird, two beaters. Yep. The mighty... No! TT! But there's nothing for Manticore. Manticore is gone for good. It's all up to top decks. It's all up to top decks. What are they... Call the Haunted! It's Rabbit Dragon! With Rabbit Dragon, we're going to end this duel. That is it. Macy Hops takes down Ray Tortimer. <laughs> that was that was scary. That was scary. Very back and forth between these two characters. Their decks are very similar, so it's ended up being close. Game three goes to Macy Hops in a very intense duel. Sorry, Turtle Deck, you are not the worst anymore. That that Rituals monster does help you, but Macy Hops beats you out. So, now, we are going to be moving forward into top 16, with the first duel being Fortuno versus Alda V-Stormer, our very own streamer. Alright, if you'd like to watch her stream, go to Soul Seekers. Oh wait, that's that's only in the, in, in the lore, that's not in real life. Sorry guys. Alright, let's see these characters go at it, I have to find them still. I like the bunny emotes in chat, that's great. Uh, freaking hell, where are they? I'll take either of them. I don't care which one. There we go. I found Fortuna. Thank God. And Alda V-Stormer. Alda V-Stormer. There she is. Okay. We got streamer Alda V-Stormer versus freaking betting racket tier uh, Fortuno. Fortuna was actually not the worst duelist back in Domino High, so I don't know how he's going to perform today. He was a pretty decent duelist back then. And we'll have to see. Alda V-Storm is a new character, so we don't really have much information on her, but we'll see how she plays. Harpy's brother, nothing wrong with that. It's, it's dead. There's nothing wrong with it, but it is, it is a little dead. Just slightly. And Groot of the Wind Spirit is going to try and hold the field, but if he draws his boss, he'll be fine. No. No. Did not draw his boss monster, so he's not fine. Oh, but he can get his boss monster. There it is. All right, Magical Marionette is here. At the cost of the Stern Mystic, he can get his boss and take 2,000 damage. And Garuda the Wind Spirit's going to ruin it. So don't waste Premature Burial or you lose. Apprentice Magician's nice, but it's not... You wasted Premature... Oh, wait! Use Magical Marionette's effect or you're going to die. You, you couldn't. 
Yeah, this is why I said don't waste your premature, but you didn't listen, you dumb idiot. All right, go get him. Go get him, Alda. He's, he's not the best duelist in the world. Her stream on Twitch is uh, most Saturdays. <laughs> My streams on Twitch are Saturdays, that's right. This week is the Fortune Cup, by the way. And I'm going to tell you right now, the minor league is a bad example of the decks we're getting into. We're going to be very fast. Very fast duels this Saturday. Very powerful decks. So, there we go. Damage goes through. We got ourselves Prentice Magician. Nothing wrong with that. Garuda goes through. And there's nothing to target because guess what's in your hand? Yeah, I thought so. We have a draw. Monster aboard for... Oh my god, that actually helps a lot. The problem is you need spell cards. You don't have any spells. Because then you could actually power this guy up. No, hit, Gar hit Garuda! You've seen the effect! No, set Magician of Faith! Why are you so stupid? What is wrong with you? You could have got Monster aboard! Who made you? Who made you like this? There is no, no reason for the AI to make that play. Absolutely zero reason. Just get him out of here. I mean, yeah, we have to go to game two, but get him out of here as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's go. Is he throwing? There's no way he's betting now. He's supposed to go pro. He has to go pro to change the bets. All right, heart of the cards. Let's see. Well, that's a really bad hand because Dark Hole and TT are going to be wasted immediately. Two of the best cards are going to be wasted just absolutely immediately. Shining Angel is there. Heavy Storm, beautiful card. Battle Storm, beautiful card. A lot of Storm cards. V Storm is doing pretty damn good. All right, we have a set. The Stern Mystics, like, don't worry, I'll hold the field, no problem. That card is useless at the moment. Dark Hole is wasted. Yep, thought so. Oh, wow. All right. Well, Dark Hole is going to get... You know what? It did 4,000 damage. Good job, Dark Hole. Good job. God said no. None of you can do that. This isn't Twitch. Damn. But God said no. All right. Fortuno is, uh, you know, doing his best. But, ooh. It's getting worse by the second to be a Fortuno fan. 1900 attack goes through. Call the Haunted could be good. Premature Burial might be wasted. So, I was going to say, you don't really have anything in the grave worth using yet. And Flying Kamakiri comes through. Call of the Haunted goes in. Shining Angel for stall. It doesn't work when your opponent has Flying Kamakiri. They can literally just infinite your, sh your Shining Angels until you run out of them. We'll see what happens, though. Shining Angel. They're going to infinite your Shining Angels. Yep. You're going to have no more angels after this. And I think the best card you could search is the Stern Mystic, which is not going to hold the field. Sir, you, you've lost. And I don't know what you're getting all the V-Storm. I don't know what win monster she choose. But I just don't like your odds. I really don't. Stern Mystic versus... <laughs> this duel's over. Shit. Oh, man. He is not coming back. Even if he drew Magical Marionette right now. The duel's over. Yeah, give up, dude. Just give up. Just give up. Alva V Storm is going to top eight. You know what? You could set Rush recklessly and you'd still lose. Good job. Sonic Shooter can end this duel. Sonic Shooter, go. Go end the duel. It'd be super funny. Battlestorm, Rush Recklessly is forced out. No, end it with, end it with Sonic Shooter. I want to laugh. Come on, do it for me. Tribute. Oh, wait, we're going to see the boss. Okay. Boss Monster, Dark Storm Dragon ends the duel. The Dark Storm from Alda V Stormer has done it. All right. Good job from our uh, local streamer, Alda V Stormer. Let's go ahead and move forward in the duels. So, moving into the next fight, we got Goro, who I'm surprised is here. Goro will be taking on Yami Kuroda. Oh, God. 
That's a little bit stronger than I'd like. Who's ready to watch Goro get absolutely destroyed? I, I, I don't like his odds at all. Like, if he were to win, it would be a miracle. Even one duel. But, hey, the good news about this is we get to see more of Yami's deck. Or, sorry, Kuroda's deck. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get rid of the bracket right now. All right. And Kuroda just shows off a Mystic Tomato. Nothing wrong with that. Goro's going to be fighting for his goddamn life. Umiruka makes that a lot easier because his cards love Umiruka. Magic Cylinder went the wrong way with that damage. That's a shame. All that damage and it went the wrong way. If you had gone first, you would have been fine. So, what else do you got? Oh, you're in danger. What a waste of an equip spell. Why even equip if you weren't able to attack? Alright, Mad Lobster is here. The damage is too good. Mystic Tomato can stall a little bit, though. Just a small amount. Unless this guy gets his boss monster, I might have to give it to Goro. Yeah, I'm still standing by what I just said. Yeah, uh, Pot of Greed, there we go. And he summons himself to put monsters in defense mode, there we go. What's that card called again? I think it looks pretty cool. Infinity Dark! Monster Born Wasted? Oh, I guess it's not wasted, it's kind of wasted. Alright, 2300 damage. Not bad, not bad at all. Heart of the cards. He got another one. Yep, he did it. Gore. Oh, he's going to crash? Is he smart enough to do that? I don't think he's smart enough to do that. He's smart enough to do that. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're in trouble. Yami Kuroda is in trouble. He needs Caius, like, right now. <laughs> Either that or Harpy's Feather Duster. Dark Hole. Waste of a Dark Hole. Okay, what did we kill for Dark Hole? Mystic Tomato. Jesus. Legin's here, but Legin, even though it's normally a great card, Goro has the field. That field spell makes all the difference. He got his boss in his hand, but I don't know if he's even going to need it. He has enough damage just being him. Alright, Yami Kuroda, you got to think of something else. What else do you got? you got? You got traps? Traps don't work. I know you don't know that, but I know that. Oh my god, he drew all three of them. Jesus Christ, that's really scary. Alright, Giant Germ? You know what? That's your last hope. Germ is going to do some burn, which is really good. But the important part is this is his last chance to get Caius. Right now. This draw right now decides the duel. Will you draw Caius or will you lose the duel? Heart of the cards for Yami Kuroda. Right, Geki Break. He throws away Legin to prop the field spell. Seven Tools says no. He's down to 900 life points, but he only needs 900 life points. Unless Yami Kuroda has another burn card we don't know about, this duel is over. Get Mother Grizzly out there, get a new, another monster, Mad Lobster out there, and you'll end this duel. Alright, there it goes. He's down to 400, but that's all he needs. All he needs is 400. Exact damage, no trap! Goro has done it! One win away! Goro! Knock this kid out! This is what he gets for being a fan of Night Shroud. You want to be a follower of Night Shroud? Get ready to lose duels. I've never seen Night Shroud win a single match. You're already better than Nitro because you've won a match. All right, going into game two. Goro can do it. Does he get his field spell? No field spell, but he has Shocktopus. Shocktopus is just as good. Oh, shit. It's on the... Okay, it's on the other side now. The other side has the field spell now. That's a little scary. Bistro Butcher loves this field spell, and it's gone. Well, this isn't good. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. 3,800 life points is uh, not very good on turn four. But, you know, Mother Grizzly's safe. Nope, you want lobster. Oh, my God, you wasted it. Giant Germ had so much value, and you wasted it. Unless you talked like a good monster right now, that was a horrible play. Oh, that's actually really good. Holy shit. Holy shit! Oh my god, that's so much damage! He summoned Dark Magician level 4! You are so lucky that worked out. If you top deck another monster, you win the duel. It'll be one of the fastest... Oh, you weren't willing to do it. You're a dummy. He had, he had game in my opinion. 
Oh, well, field spell for field spell. Now it's all up to whoever just has the better card. Yomi ship at a cost of all of your life points will destroy the horrifying monster. Oh, the germ! It's over! Perfect victory by Yami Kuroda. All right. There we go. We're going into game number three, everyone. So whoever gets the field spell wins the duel, right? That's 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 what we're looking at. If you get the, this is like Duelist Kingdom all over again. He who has field advantage is the strongest. Oh, he's got his boss, and he can summon it pretty easily. Yeah, how are you gonna beat that, Yami Kuroda? That guy has eighteen hundred attack. That's why I thought. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay. It's not the best spell in the world, but it, it has value. Tell your opponent tributes. Yeah, exactly. Right, Geki Break. All right, fair enough. Throw away premature burial. Really? I, I swear, the other two cards in your hand could not have been worse. The premature burial has the most value ever. Look here. Look, watch. He used it. Do you see the value now? He's got a spike shell now. That that thing has spiky shell. Mr. Tomato, do you have any searches that are worthwhile? That, that, that one is. That one actually is. If you have a beater monster, it's worthwhile. That card at, at the moment is not. Yes. Oh, he got the equip spell! With that, he beats the boss monster by putting it into defense mode. Infinity Dark's effect comes in handy. That's wild. Okay. I see, I see. Oh, what a top deck from Goro in game three. He needed that. Goro gets Yomi ship and knows that Infinity Dark is too dangerous. He'll lose the life points. Who cares about life points? You need life. All right, heart of the cards. You need something good. Something with some attack points. Pot of Greed. Again, game three Pot of Greeds are clutch as hell. Allure of Darkness. We're getting real crazy now. Throws away one of the cards he just drew. Giant Germ. Legend the Beater with an equip spell. He's stacked in damage. He's ready to hurt his opponent. And he pulls off 2,200 damage. That's what I'm talking about. Shocktopus is setting up. Oh, no, it's making sure the opponent has zero attack. Okay, well, we're doing that instead. Well, 400, you get to keep the equip spell. No way. Oh, you don't care? I thought you were going to get rid of the Shocktopus. Okay, fair enough. You do you. Giant Orc! Oh, my God! If you got rid of Shocktopus, you would have won. Yami Karuna could have won, but now he's in danger. He's in actual danger. Yomi ship... Octopus TT! It's not good! It's all up to the heart of the cards. If he draws a monster with 700 attack, he wins. He doesn't! This is it, Goro! Go! Get him! Top deck mode is activated! Goro's scared because he knows if his opponent has a 1500, he loses. So he has to play safe. I don't blame him. Uh, Trap. Trap doesn't matter. Goro can call the Haunted into his boss monster now. With a steel shell, it'd be pretty damn safe. 2400. Oh my god, is this possible? From 8,000 to 0. 2400 damage has been dealt. He's got his own Red Eyes Black Dragon on the field, but it's called Sea King Dragon. Heart of the Cards, what does he get? He needs something good. Call the Haunted, what does he get? He gets a Mystic Tomato, weird choice. Mystic Plasmic Zone, weird choice. Tribute Summon, it's Caius, the boss monster. And if he gets rid of himself, he wins the duel. Yami Kuroda is going forward. All right. That is game. Using his own boss monster, which we didn't see that entire match until right then and there, he wins the duel. So, Goro, you did really good. I'm not going to lie. I have no disrespect to Goro. He did really good in this tournament. But he ran up into a minor uh, into a minor leaguer that's a little too stronger. A little too strong, I mean. Sorry. I, that duel was hype, so I lost my mind a little. All right, Yamakuroda's doing good, getting to top eight. The next duel is Ribbon. Wow, I haven't seen Ribbon in forever. All right, Ribbon is going to be dueling against Jamie Inferno. feel like we're going back to Domino High all of a sudden. Memories. Do, do, do. All right, let's start this duel. All right. I'm looking for Jamie. I'm looking for Ribbon. Ah, shit, I don't have Ribbon. All right. 
go look for ribbon over here. Give me one second, I'll find her. It's been a while since we've used her. 1400 attack, good emote there, Toll Drama. Great job. 1400 attack will have to do the job. Ribbon's got her book cards. Maiko's here. Maiko will not do the job. Oh, Maiko is wasted. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> I know you don't want to take 1700, but I, look, t t just take the 17. You had the you had monster advantage. 1700 is worth monster advantage. All right, let's see if the opponent gains advantage. Flame Ruler is a little scary. Don't let Jamie keep that, because if they get Rui right now, that monster will beat most of your cards. All right, I, you might not like this play, but Summon Witch, then Dark Hole to get a better monster. Never mind, you have Call of the Haunted. Just do whatever you want. Yep. All right. 1,100 damage comes through, and that is uh, a nice start to damaging your opponent. Call of the Haunted will be very valuable. The question is, will your opponent let you use that value? Inferno, Premature Burial, brings back Flame Ruler. Yep, you haven't normal summoned yet. Black Pendant, it's a 2k beater now. That's a problem. Witch of the Left Forest can get you a good monster ribbon, but none of it's going to be better than that thing. Inferno will do 1100. No, it will not. Unless Ribbon draws her boss monster, she's kind of screwed. You know what? That actually could do it. I didn't think about it, but yeah. Drawing your book card makes a difference. By drawing the book card, she will take 500. She's below half, but she gains field advantage. And her opponent's top decking. Good job using Book of Moon. And used it aggressively. You didn't wait. A lot of characters like wait and don't use their spell cards. Which in some cases works like with limited removal. In some cases it doesn't work. Like with Book of Moon. So good job. Okay. Well we're going to use the Mighty 3 beating. The Myco triple beating. Very nice. 5100 damage will be dealt. Leaving her him with 400. And with 400 life points left, I don't like your odds. I really don't like your odds, so that's not good. And Ribbon is showing why she was able to defeat uh, Taya Gardner way back when. Oh, you shouldn't have summoned. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ribbon threw all of my praise away by doing that. Holy crap. All she had to do was not summon a monster. And what did she do? She summoned a monster. She had game. Witch. Witch, get out there and do something. Attack. Okay, it's fine. It is absolutely fine, everybody. I thought she threw it all. <sighs> okay, here we go. Game number two. I feel a little bad for Jamie there. He had a chance to come back, but he did not draw a monster. Where was this Blazing Impachis? Those would really screw her over. She does not run many beater monsters except for her tribute. I mean, Maiko's okay. Don't get me wrong. She's just not the best. Okay, we got some sets. That's okay. Set monsters are good. Harpies! Oh, that's really bad! Alright, Harpies, lose. you lost Magic Cylinder. That was probably your biggest loss. That's a that's a shame. Blazing Impachi with Salamandra. That card is stronger than a Dark Magician. You're going down. You are not going to last. You know what? It might be worth it. That might be worth it just to get rid of the freaking Salamandra because none of your monsters beat that. Royal Magical Library has value. You, you wasting your Hex Seal? That's not, that's not value. Don't waste your Hex Seal. Double Blazing. Now you're in, your, now you're in trouble. Get that Mystical. Okay. So I'm going to let you know right now. That Royal Magical Library has a lot of value. But there's a timing to this that you could use to get it a spell counter. I want you to try and figure it out. See if you can do it. She got her boss. If she could keep her Royal Magical Library a lot... Will someone like to explain why she didn't set the Royal Magical Library? Why is she doing this to us? Does she like taking big damage for no reason? It's right there. It's got 2,000 defense. And you... D oh, 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 oh boy. Oh, I'm, I'm getting a headache. Oh, R Ribbon, that was, that was very bad. If this Mystic Tomato somehow lasts long enough... Maybe, just maybe, she can get to Chaos. That's a Rui Ran. All right, boss monster time. Inferno would do insane burn, but it doesn't get to. And just make sure you pick Mystic Tomato. Don't be an idiot. I'm tired of her. All right. 
Raven is throwing the duel as hard as she can. She's literally doing everything she can to help her opponent. Um, granted, Chaos Command could not beat Blazing and Pachi anyway, but still. Well, it would have, but it would have, though. So, yeah, she you threw the duel pretty damn hard. You threw this duel really hard. You had it. You had it. Never mind, you would have lost. It was a lose-lose situation. After seeing that Fisher, it was going to be a lose-lose situation. But we didn't know that way back when, so... She still should have done the good plays. 25-50 to the face, that's about right. And we're going to game three. Jamie Inferno, come on, man. You gotta, you, you gotta go pro or you're not going to make any money. Let's go ahead and get into game number three. Let's see what happens. Ribbon, she's from the manga. She's from season zero of the show. She's from, she, there's plenty of places you can find her. We got a Mystic Tomato and some back row. Just don't get hit by Harpies again. That Harpies Feather Duster hurt really bad. Blazing and Pachi, get rid of it. That thing's a really good beater monster. It's one of the scariest monsters in this freaking tournament. Monster Born, now you're in trouble. Eighteen fifty. Okay, MST comes through. MST goes through, and backfire is gone. Ooh, one of her better book cards. That that book card is super good. I will not lie, but she needs to wait for Blazing and Pachi to attack. Yeah, you should have let that attack happen. Only because now Blazing and Pachi is just gonna get flipped. Yeah, instead of the other way. Ooh, you got two. You get one more chance to make up for your misplay. Ooh, Michizure! Oh, you wanted that to die, though. Good play. Maiko's nice and all, but why don't you get Vaprantis Magician down there? That's that's what I'm talking about. That's good. She just needs to stall until she gets her boss. Chaos, uh, Ed Mag or Chaos Command Magician's really good. Never mind. He's not giving her time. He's like, screw time. All right, Blazing and Pachi attacked. So now if you could draw, um, well, honestly, no, this is, this just value. This is really good value. They drew three cards, but at the end of the day, you can have monster advantage. Just flip, flip one of your guys. And then, yeah, you have monster advantage. It didn't take much to make it happen, but it happened. I thought, I thought you were going to flip apprentice and kill them all, but I, I was a little wrong there. Again, he needs two tributes for his tribute monster. So it's fine. It's just a little scary. Another Darkfire Soldier. Oh, number one and number two will never be together. It's banished. Salamandra! No! The game-changing card! Salamandra's too damn good. What the hell are you going to do against that? Even your tribute monster only ties with that attack stat. What? She top deck Fisher? What the hell? Okay, with the top deck of Fisher in game whatever. I don't, I don't know what game we're in. She has 1,400 attack going through. I don't know how. I've already forgotten what game this is. Darkfire Soldier. Inferno has so much value. It's game three. Game three, baby. It has so much value. She's down to half life points because of that. 1,500 damage will be dealt. And she doesn't have any beater monsters. She needs to draw her tribute. I always say it, but I, I really mean it this time. She needs to draw her tribute or just lose the duel. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That works. She summons her old Domino High boss monster, the Sandwich. She makes a sandwich, everybody. She can do it. Going after Inferno was really bad because what if they get Salamandra? You really should have killed Darkfire Soldier, I'm just saying. All right, let's see. Sandwich did a good job, though. Sandwich, Magician of Faith, what spell do you get? Yeah, that backfire does hurt, so maybe. It might be worth getting rid of. Maybe that trap that you, you need to make sure Sandwich survives. I never thought she'd bring out her classic. Her classic boss monster is here. That's super exciting. Magic Cylinder is gone, which could have cost her a lot. 1700 attack comes through. She's burning down. That Magic Cylinder could have changed the whole duel. Because the backfire would have won her, her, him the duel. Holy crap. She's down to 25. He has no field. He has life point advantage, but it does not matter. He needs a super calm. He bricked! 
I think Ribbon did it. She needs one more monster. That's a monster. That's the end of the duel. Ribbon with her old school boss, her domino high boss monster. It's the sandwich. But she's graduated now, so it's not her boss anymore. There we go. Great job from Ribbon. Great job from Jamie. Both characters did really good, but Ribbon wants it more. Yeah, no, she never summoned her fusion before. She she was unable to pull it off in the other tournaments. Oh, I missed Jamie's face, didn't I? Where, where the hell is he? Uh, Give me one second. I gotta go find Jamie. Jamie, get out of there. Ain't nobody wanna look at you. Alright, so Jamie has lost. He did the best he could. Ribbon, on the other hand, did better. So, good job for her. The next duel is going to be... My boy Joey Wheeler taking on Bruce Ryu. Okay, Bruce has a pretty powerful monster that attacks twice and other powerful cards. That sucks. But Joey, my boy, if you could just get your luck stat to work a little bit better than you normally do. Just slightly better. Because it's been very bad ever since we've entered the Master Era. It's honestly the reason we haven't seen you so long. Just because your, your luck stat is that bad. But, uh, let's see. If today's the day you make up for it. Alright. Here's hoping. I'm a big fan of Joey and I'm hoping for the best here. I won't give him money. He, no. His sister's in the hospital. His money goes to his sister. I see that he started the duel with the combo. So he's super lucky. He is unbelievably lucky. He actually started the duel with the gear free combo. He could summon his boss monster. App and his opponent can too. Okay, well that's the mini boss, but still. Well that's no good. <laughs> Warrior Lady's gonna die. Well that's no good. Warrior Lady's gonna die. That's really good. <laughs> that card's really good. Joey, do it. Summon the big boy. Summon the boy they all wanna see. Release restraint. We have Gearfried the Swordmaster. Gearfried the Swordmaster easily destroys the opponent. He will take 500 and he does 1,000 with Exile Force. And if he can protect Exile Force, it has high value. Or if his opponent tries to set a card, it has value. He lost two of his best cards just like that. Dark Hole, brutal. That was a very valuable Dark Hole. However, if all he's got is Chusuke the Mouse Spider, then you still have got a chance, Joey, despite being below half life points. Don't waste your Fisher, I swear to God. All right, Giant Rat is here. Giant Rat goes in. Goodbye, Chusuke. Get him out of here. All right, Chusuke may be gone, but what else does this man have? Bruce Rio, leave my buddy alone. This is my boy, Joey. He's ready to win. Ah, shit, he's got Combo Fighter. But rushing recklessly, that Giant Rat does way more damage and crashes into the opponent. See, that's Tackle after Gen 5. It's 50 power. Well, actually, no, Gen, let's say Gen 5. I forgot they nerfed Tackle again. Tackle used to be the worst move in the game. It was like 35.95, and then they... Oh, is he going to try and release again? Or does he not have any more? He doesn't have any more. I didn't think so. He only owns one Gear Free the Swordmaster. This guy's poor as... Fuck. He only has one of his boss monster. All right, what else do you got? Ooh, he said it. Joey, even, even though you're poor and you can't afford two boss monsters, there you go. Don't play that Dark Hole, whatever you do. I don't care if that monster has 2,000 th defense. You don't play that Dark Hole. All right. Now what? What are you going to do? All right. We're going to go with set. Nothing wrong with a set unless Joey doesn't get a monster. Oh, Joey got a good monster. Command Knight is here. Giant Rat destroys the last Hyena, which we all knew was in his hand because he didn't special summon it. And Gear Free the, uh, the, well, Gear Free the Iron Knight has done it. So, just like that, Joey takes game number one and Cooper's happy. I'm a happy man. That's, I, I don't want much in this world. The only things I want are Joey to actually do well in tournaments. And, uh, I don't know, maybe a new Sly Cooper game. That'd be nice. But, yeah, that's, that's, all, that's all I really want. It's a lot, I know. All right, moving into game number two. Okay. It's all freaking epic opening for Joey's field. Oh, he got it again. Wow. Wow, he actually got it twice. That's wild. Well, he has to open with it because he has no other play. I understand, Joey. I'm not mad. 
Level 7, Gear Free the Swordmaster, his strongest card, and he opened the duel. Please don't have Dark Hole again. Ah! Stop it! Leave him alone! You can't get it both times! No! No! I hate you! I hate you so much, Bruce Ryu! Why are you doing this to me? Who said you could do this to me? Draw a giant rat, Joey. Just do it. Do it for old Cooper. Shit. Don't Dark Hole. God damn it. This is why I wanted a rat so he wouldn't Dark Hole. Joey completely wastes Dark Hole. Comrade of Swords to start. Look, give him swords. If you don't give him swords, he dies. You idiot. Oh god. Oh god, no. It's like the worst card situation for the AI to play with. Oh my god. Joey's losing everything. Including my happiness. Alright, draw something, man. Anything. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh, don't worry about that. Joey will get one of those things in the future if he gets some money by winning today. And only because, uh, yeah, the moon cards, not all of them have been, uh, placed on the earth yet the moon started dueling way before the earth did they probably had like a year start before the earth got the dueling gear free gear free the iron giant is still just a good beater monster in a tournament like this 1800 is a scary high attack stat with 16 defense is solid too it's a really good card all right so what are you gonna do joey's got a, joey's got all this crap what you, what you gonna do he's out of swords yeah but as long as you, please get rid of monk fighter because that card literally what, what are we gonna get with reinforcements Eh, I would have chosen Command Knight, but sure. I get that you're willing to do this because of Hyena. Still, seems a little foolhardy. Unless he's baiting Rush recklessly. But even then, I mean, what if he tributes? What was the point? Chusuke! No, not Kavanodi Blow! He's willing to sacrifice his Chusuke in order to kill Gearfried. Don't do it! Oh, he sacrificed Chusuke for that instead? Really? Gearfree was definitely the target you should have hit. Oh, he can't use Lightning Blade. He needs Swordmaster. Joey, you need to find Swordmaster. It's your only hope. Get a Monster of Orn. Okay. Maybe all of those traps are god-awful. Command Knight. Okay, give that the equip spell. No! Joey, why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep making me think you're going to win and then you throw it away? I know, that's not his fault, but I'm just sad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is that Master Monk in hand? Oh, just Lone Wolf. Okay. Ooh, not okay. That's a lot of attack. You're going the wrong way, yes, but it's the wrong It's 18. All right, Joey needs to top deck his way back in. I think a Harpies would be good. Get yourself a Harpies Feather Duster. I was just talking about that card. Monster Aborn. Ah, oh, you can't pick Gear Free the Swordmaster. Whatever, then. Still the best card you can pick, then, because you can actually equip to it. The problem with this guy is you can't do damage. It's the perfect combo. Lone Wolf with Monk Fighter means he can't do damage. So he can just wait till equip spell Master Monk. And you, you need to draw some better stuff. Yeah, set that. Joey, you're waiting on a spell or trap card to save you. That's what we're waiting on. He needs something that can destroy the uh, Monk Fighter or destroy spells and traps. Comrade's really cool, but the problem is you can't protect it, so what's the point? If he can't protect it, why is it even there? That card's worthless. He already did it. Oh, Joey. Drawing your bricks. Not a good thing. You're just lucky your opponent's also bricking just as badly as you are. Harpy's Fe Wait, did he already use Harpy's Fire Duster? Let's go find out together, everybody. No, he didn't. So wait for Harpies, wait for any MST of any sort, and we're good. Joey will slowly build his field while this happens. Goblin, sure. Sure, he already used Dark Hole. You could summon all the monsters. He already TT'd and Dark Hole. You could do anything. You can do whatever you want, Joey. This guy can't beat you. Shit. You just need to wait for your spell or trap card. I wouldn't summon Giant Rat. You could set it, yeah. You set Giant Rat. Okay, we're gonna lose Giant Rat. This is a oh, does that work? Wait, does jo did Joey figure it out? Does that work, or does Lone Wolf protect it from that? I don't know. We're gonna find out with Fisher. It doesn't. 
<laughs> I found out the easy way. Joey, go destroy Bruce Ryu and get into Topo shit. All right, that was a little scary. That's a lot of damage. But get in to top eight. Yes. Okay. My boy did it. My boy did it. Joe Wheeler keeps moving forward. He's not out of here yet. His sister needs him. There we go. It could have been copies of Lone Wolf, honestly. It could have been copies of other stuff. I have no clue what they are. The next one is Bright Abyss. I forgot she was even here. She's going to be scary. Bright Abyss versus Beluga. Uh-oh. Bright has just as much reason to be here for her sister. Two people are here for their sister. One here is here for her uh, her brother. That's light. So let's see if uh, Bright can do it. Will Bright Abyss go all the way? Or will Beluga show us something cool? Where is Bright Abyss? Hmm. It's not good. I don't see her. But do I not see her because I'm not looking hard enough? Or am I blind? I'm blind. Okay. She was right there. All right. Let's go ahead and start this duel, guys. It's time for Beluga versus Bright. If I had to put my money down, I'd say go ahead and bet on uh, Bright because she actually is pretty decent. Now she is. But Beluga's not terrible. He's, he's a good duelist. Okay, 1800 is pretty scary, so I understand playing passively. Oh, she lost Backfire. Backfire that early would have had so much value. Losing Backfire is a big shame. UFO Turtle goes through. UFO Turtle becomes a uh, Solar Flare. Okay. Solar Flare, if you have another one in your hand, is very valuable. MST goes and hits Howl of the Wild, which is valuable to hit that card. All right, Bright, what are you going to do? You're going to set and you're going to burn. Yep, unlucky that you didn't get another Solar Flare. And Ring of Destruction. That's a little brutal, but guess what? You got Trojan Horse. And Trojan Horse has more value than the card you just lost. Make sure Solar Flare isn't there. Good. If Trojan survives, we're going to see 3,000 Needles. And nothing in Bright's deck can beat 3,000 Needles. Her strongest card is 2,700 attack. Never mind. It could beat it now. Oh, that's scary. What possible pyro could be in your hand right now? Ah, just... To, oh! Oh! Get countered! Okay, with this, he gets to draw a card. Horde of the Phantom Beast gets him a Trojan Horse. And now, what will he do with his 3,000 Needles? Or will he just summon our Trojan Horse? 1,000 Needles? Why do you choose that? I think he likes 1,000 Needles because he always chooses it. Every time. I, I think Bright's in trouble. <laughs> Bright is in a lot of trouble. I don't know who said Bright wins, but you might be wrong on this one. Turns out Beluga got a really good hand. Even Poison Fangs. That will end the duel. Oh, yeah, and he wants to do it with his boss monster. He got the combo. He just really likes these cards. Now, granted, because he did this, he's not going to win right now. But he still pretty much has game. UFO Turtle, Solar Flare. You might as well do Sunburn. Bright Abyss is fighting for her goddamn life. Her name is still Bright Abyss. I just didn't want to spend the time sp changing the face and everything. It, it, it takes a minute to do that, and I don't have a minute of free time. That's why I keep saying it, despite the fact that it is something different over there. All right, with three monsters gone, he's got 2,500 attack, does 1,500 damage right there. Beluga basically has this duel in the bag. Flame Ruler didn't stand a chance. Next turn, Beluga is guaranteed to win the duel. There is a 0% chance of a comeback. I think. I was right. All right, go do it. 3,000 needles. Go have some fun. And with his boss monster, he has just that. A lot of fun. Beluga is one win away from top eight. Bright is one loss away from, you know... Not being able to help her sister get revenge. She can't help her sister. Her sister's in a coma, but she could try to get revenge at least.
Ooh, that's a good hand. Start with Thousand Needles in defense, Stray Lambs, and Poison Fang. Beautiful hand. Yeah, he agreed. I'm glad the AI agree. I love when the AI agrees with me. What, Beluga's the only person you like in his VR league? You haven't seen all the members in the VR league yet, but yeah, I get that. Beluga's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good in the VR league. Great Angus, that's a damn good top deck, but he wants 2,000. It's gone. He loves his needle cards. I don't know what it is, but he just he just loves those needles. The question is, will she be willing to attack with Solar Flare? Interesting that this works. All right, Thousand Needles gets to use its effect. Finally, I get to see it. Thousand Needles destroys the monster. Premature Burial, they really like that. Oh, they have a Pyro in their hand. They have a combo in their hand they're trying to pull off. It's understandable. He's down to 5k, but she's lost a lot more thanks to this other stuff. The zoo would be good or Great Angus. It's a win-win. They're too afraid to attack the crater. Oh, doesn't matter. Boss monster time. It's the Infernal Flame Emperor Lord. And there goes the spells and traps. Goodbye, Horn of the Phantom Beast. Goodbye, Great Angus. The only card that could beat that is 3,000 Needles. So, little baby 1,000 Needles doesn't stand a chance. Let's see what happens. Back fire will not matter this would matter if you used your effect but you didn't bright came to play in game number two she is not leaving she can't leave giant rat okay with giant rat what are you gonna do you're just gonna try and get rid of it worked i gotta give you that much but you're backfiring yourself so you gotta be careful but if she goes for the giant rat instead of the defense mode monster and he top decks 3,000 needles, he did it. He, he figured a way out. Interesting. This is all up to a top deck. Will he draw his 3,000 uh, needles? I didn't think about that, but that works. That 100% works. Okay, we're top decking now. Oh, no! He, she could have won whenever she wanted to. Why does the AI wait? Why does the AI wait 2,700 damage? Oh, crap. All right, Bright did it. We're going to go into game number three, Beluga versus Bright. Both characters have shown that they can win this duel. I had a lot of game threes today, which means that minor league makes sense. The minor league has characters of equal power. All right, Bubonic Vermin with 2,000 Needles is really good. It makes it very easy to summon 2,000 Needles. Lots of traps. As long as she doesn't have Harpies, you're in a good position. And it's gone. Lots of traps. All right, well, interesting. Please flip Bubonic Vermin first. Don't not distribute it. Good job. Hey. Yeah, I like this. Good play. Good freaking play. I love that. 900, 2,000, just the wrong way. 2,000, but the wrong way. All right. You take 2,000, that's all right. You could just do it next turn. Unless she draws, like, some craziness, like a field spell. Nope, you're fine. Right Abyss is in a little bit of trouble. Backfire will hurt, but you're fine for now. Howl of the Wild will definitely have value later in the duel. UFO Turtle has value now, though. Bubon and Vermin's going into defense mode. So what do you want with UFO? Oh, please don't pick Flame Ruler. If you pick Flame Ruler, then I know what's in your hand. Oh, interesting. It's not Flame Ruler in your hand. But what is in your hand must be somewhat decent. Uh, we'll find out together. Just destroy the vermin? Sure. Play a little defensive. Understandable. Looks like you're going to need a new monster. Magic Cylinder. Okay. Okay. Howl of the Wild, you'll do 300 double, 600 burn for that. A thousand actual battle damage, but let's throw a little 600 in there. <clears throat> yeah, you take 500 back, but don't worry about that. You're fine. Both characters are using their burn traps against each other. Both characters are pretty close in life points in game number three, but advantage goes to Beluga. Yeah, okay. Every time they attack, he takes 500, she takes 600. It will be more. Monster board. She takes 1,200. Bubonic Vermin is worth the 1,200 burn. Attack goes through. UFO Turtle is done for. UFO Turtle gone. It's 1,200 burn, which is insane. 
And that 500 from Backfire doesn't feel so good anymore. Imagine if someone had Chain Strike right now with a Chain 4. Oh my god. It would be so good if they had Chain Strike. Alright, Solar Flare Dragon is a good choice just because you need to get your opponent's life points lower than yours. And uh, you will succeed by putting that card in face-up attack mode. As long as it survives. Tribute! It's the boss! Infernal Flame Emperor! By banishing four monsters, you lost everything! Spirit of the Flames! The damage is on the other side now! She's done it! She has him down to 27. Yes, he has Dark Hole, but look at the backfire. The backfire is going to have so much value. He's so lucky he top deck Trojan Horse. Trojan Horse is going to be amazing. No! She picked the wrong monster! The AI doesn't know how to use that trap. It's real. I've seen it before. The AI legit doesn't know how to use that trap. Yes, you can win the duel with that trap. It just doesn't know how to use it. Backfire does 500. He has to win the duel right now. If she draws a fire monster at all, she wins. Just any fire monster she could summon. Holy shit, is the AI going to cost her the duel? The fact that they don't know how to use that trap card. Is that going to cost her the duel? She needs one monster. That's the monster. Spirit of the Flames. It didn't. It, you could have made it less attack and you would have won. The winner, unless a Harpies comes out. Oh, she did. Okay, well, this time you used it properly, you dumb idiot. All right. The winner will be our very own Bright Abyss. She took down Beluga in a very tight game three. Good duel from both duelists, though. Very enjoyable. Beluga has always been a fun duelist to watch, even if he doesn't go very far in tournaments. I feel like his problem is bracket. He just gets very unlucky brackets. The next duel will be Eliza Littlefoot versus Light Kiko. Light Kiko must still duel and must still win because her brother is still in the tournament. So let's see if she can take down the dinosaur girl. Eliza Littlefoot. Alright, let's go ahead and start this duel and let's see what happens. Are you a Light Tsukiko fan or are you more of a dinosaur fan with uh, Eliza over there? Alright, looks like both characters are on the screen. That's good. Harpy's Feather is a little weird, but I can see her hand is very good at summoning both those monsters. You didn't even need the swords, I'm not going to lie. Your Marsh Pecan would have been fine alone. I like this hand. This is a very good hand if you are a fan of Light Tsukiko. If you're a fan of the other girl, you're probably not enjoying this hand. I like both. I think both characters could be very, very fun. We're going to go with Zaborg. Zaborg should pop either because both cards are problematic. Limit Reverse is very unnecessary, but sure, you do you. It will get rid of one of the tributes, but, you know, Eliza does run single tribute monsters as well. It's not just double tribute. With that, we got that monster out of the way. So, what are you going to do next? What, what, what you got up your sleeve? Ah, fuck. <laughs> Sorry for cursing. That's a very, very good thing to have up your sleeve. Marsh McCon will still do its job, though, to make sure that Karaz has a tribute. Monster Reborn is smart. Oh, God says no. That was a really good use of Monster Reborn to use Zaborg. Zaborg would have just matched her strongest card. But instead, we got this. Heart of the cards. Oh, my God. You could do so much damage this turn. You could just obliterate your opponent. Oh, you're not willing. Interesting. You'd rather have the destruction effect more than having damage. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Why are you doing this? Why are you like this? What's wrong with you? Alright. Well, that card better not be an invincible card that Karaz was needed for. Eliza seems to be in a small amount of danger right now. She's dead. Oh, wait! She has a special summon! It's not strong enough. Oh, 2300. It was barely too weak. And it does keep her in the duel, though. Eliza Littlefoot is still in the duel thanks to her Dirac monster. I don't know what that other card was, but it saved her. This Drac monster also has an effect to save her. Hopefully it's a good one. Both monsters chain their effects. We're going to see which one's more valuable. Hoshingen is usually valuable. 2900 attack is pretty darn decent. 
an old combo she pulled off of her uh, one of her favorite uh, pro duelists, Taya Gardner. And that is it. Lightsukiko takes game number one. It looks like Eliza just had a bad hand because she didn't really combo much. And Zaborg is brutal. Let's be real. Zaborg is just a brutal card. So, let's get into game number two and see what happens. Will Light Tsukiko be able to go to the pros? Because remember, whoever wins this tournament will show up in next Saturday's tournament to find out the new king of games. We're going to be on year three of Duel Monsters. Alright, that's a lot of attack points, so you do not have good odds. Swords will help. That'll get you to Kuraz. Kuraz needs to destroy that field spell. That field spell has too much value. Pot of Greed. Unless you get Harpies, you're fine. TT. Alright. Well, I guess we're not going for Kuraz. Yet. I guess you're just willing to go for 1800. Alright, well, at least we don't have to worry about TTs in the for the rest of this duel. Oh, we're really doing this for 500. All right, cool. 500 damage will be dealt. Freya needs somebody out there to protect her, though, or to be tributed. She does not want to stay there much longer. Backfire is a very good card. We've already seen the value of it in the last duel, funny enough. Karaz would be pretty valuable right now, I'm just going to say. Yeah, I would hit Backfire and Molten. Yeah, I was going to say, Backfire is actually really valuable. You don't want them to have that card. I've seen it turn duels around. People don't notice how much damage is stacking over the time, and then they're just like, oh wait, I all, all of a sudden lost the duel? What happened? Hoshingen is pretty good, but I don't know if you want that when it has no protection. And that card is amazing. It is a bouncing effect. Karaz has been lost. Damn, you should have picked Nova Summoner. Should have picked Nova Summoner. Hoshingen is all by itself. Any dinosaur can rip it apart. Monster aboard, sure. Dunamis is a decent monster, why not? 1800 attack is pretty darn good. Oh, it's using the opponent's buff. That's hilarious. But you're probably not going to attack with it, so it won't get to take advantage of it. Yep, AI isn't smart enough to know to do that. Oh, shit. Laitsu Kiko is really close to death now. And her opponent has too many monsters. Heart of the card. Loom, well, let me reverse. Oh, my God. Another backfire when the life points are low. Um, It might make a difference to have that limit reverse, but I don't like her odds. I think Eliza's got this. Okay, Nova Summoner just holding on for dear life. You need to get a bunch of monsters. If you don't keep going for... Oh, I didn't think about that. You had a Marshmallow on. Okay. Yeah, bringing back a classic monster you can get Kuraz. Make sure you pick the right targets. Yes, good targets. Amazing job. Those were the right targets. The one that special summons and the one that's the uh, actual problem. The backfire could have won you the... No! Shit! She lost all her support. Uh-oh. Why Why are you premature? No! The bounce effect! Oh, you're not... Does they have to attack you? Is that why? Do they have to attack you? She's just going to attack you with Hoshin again, then. Damn, it's like Kelbeck, probably. Zabor. Oh, you could double summon. But you have to be smart enough to pop the monster in attack mode. You're not. Ugh. I was afraid of that. <laughs> well, eventually you'll have to deal with that monster. For now, you're fine. They got She got her two strongest cards, Zaborg and, of course, Karaz. Eventually, you're going to have to go through that monster. I'd say just get another Zaborg or something. Nova Summoner? Nova Summoner can't do it. Although, I guess resetting a Monarch is not terrible. Oh, get rid of that thing. Get rid of that thing. That thing's pretty strong. Let Zaborg go back to the hand. That's fine. Zabor going back to the hand isn't even bad. I don't know why I thought that was bad. That's good. Wait, it comes back again? Oh my god, that, that's a good card. That's a good card if it keeps coming back. Nova Summoner doesn't mind, but the life points are getting a little low. That's why you wor I worry for Light Tsukiko. I'm honestly surprised Eliza is trying to keep herself in this duel. She's doing good work. But a Zabor could change everything. Or another Kuraz, but I wouldn't do another Kuraz. Yeah, Zabor's enough. And make... Oh, it was UFO Turtle. There's no more stall. It's just damage. 2,400. 2,400 damage gets her down to 42 with 2,900 left. This is really good. If your name is Light Tsukiko. If you're a, if you're a, a Eliza Littlefoot fan, I'm betting you're sad right now. 4,800 damage showing. 
And that is it. Laitsu Kiko remains in the tournament to stop her brother since her brother hasn't lost. And Eliza will not be making it all the way to find out what's wrong with Rex Raptor. Incredible. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on forward. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yami Kuroda. The next duel. Oh, cool. We got a. Hmm. I actually don't know who would win this. All right. Bones or Tomoya Greendale? Tomoya, for those of you that have forgot, is Zombira, which 2100 four star is amazing right now. All right. Let's see here. We got Tomoya Greendale. Plus, his fusion monster is actually just stupid busted. It's no fun. It's a no fun fusion. All right, and where's Bones? There he is. Let's do this. The tournament was just randomized laser. There wasn't like important characters. These are minor league characters. Nobody's important. There's no ranks in the minor league. That's how you know they're, none of them matter. You just go to the minor league to try and get your name out there. Like, oh man, that guy in the minors has been winning a lot. All right, Tamoya Greendale. And my buddy Bones. Between these two characters, obviously I'd vote for Bones, but I feel like Tomoya is one of those characters that could put Bones down. Damn, he's got three Zombiras in his hand. By the way, did I forget to say three Zombiras? You got to add that to the count of three. Uh, sorry, Master Duel cheats. Boom, we have proof. That's what the fourth time now in this tournament. Three, three uh, Zombiras. TT will do its job. Make sure Zombira is not there, but he's got two more in his hand. He searched one? Never mind then. Never mind. If he searched one, I don't count it. I wasn't paying attention because I was looking for the faces, so it's fine. That's fine then. That's fine. Oh, shit. If he draws it, he's looking for another card. It has a weird, creepy brain. If he gets the creepy brain card, he gets his boss. If he gets his... Oh, no, he doesn't. Polly's gone. I was gonna say, if he gets his boss, we got a problem. That boss monster is super annoying. Zombira is strong enough as it is. You don't even need the other stuff. Like right now, uh, there's nothing Bones can do. Zombira easily overpowers him. Field Commander Roz, what are we going to get with that? Familiar Knight? Inter well, yeah, you only run level 4s right now, so yeah. It's a really good card to get for yourself. Although I think... Oh yeah, Bones runs level 3s. Damn. That is a good card to get for yourself. Mystic Tomato for Castle. Why would you pick Castle? Why would you pick Castle? Why would you pick Castle? No! Oh, crap. That is not good for Bones. Oh, yay! Bones has two of those. Oh, no. Bones has no monsters. This is not good. I'm getting worried. Giant Rat is here. They're both in your hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that what the game's trying to tell me? That they're both in his hand? You, you expect me to believe that video game. You expect me to believe that Bones had three Mystic Tomatoes in his hand. He can't put Castle in defense mode. You have to special summon in attack mode with Mystic Tomato. I... Bones are upsetting me. Oh, wow. The Hex Sealed is strong enough? Oh, crap. Get Dragon Zombie! Oh, crap. Get Dragon Zombie and you can summon your boss. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, Bones. Do it for old Cooper. Oh, shit. You know what? That works, too. The field was a little cluttered. You know, one thing about Bones, he runs Triple Call of the Haunted. I haven't seen a single Call of the Haunted. I feel like when they run three of something, they either get all three immediately or they draw zero of them. All right. Because that, that everlasting cannon thing, he only has two, I think, so. He drew both. Which is wild. Zombira time? No, familiar now. You really don't want to use Zombira. It was three. He did have three Mystic Tomatoes. I can't believe it. I can't believe that happened. I feel bad for Bones. I legit feel bad for Bones. He just got a bad hand. No Dragon Zombies. No Armored Zombies. No Clown Zombies. No Revival. Just this. That's great if you have a monster. Yeah, you just fuck me. Fuck me. I, I, sometimes it's hard to be a Bones fan. It's, it's just, it, it, life, life, life is hard, guys. <laughs> life is hard. I'm doing my best, but damn. Damn. That was super unlucky. 
All right, Bones with the worst hand possible loses game number one. Tomoya Greendale, great job. You're one win away from going to top eight. Bones, don't do that to me again. That was the worst hand you could have possibly gotten. No revival, no zombies, and all tomatoes. Oh, well, at least he doesn't have to deal with three Zombiras this time. He keeps getting that cannon, I swear. What the hell? I swear, he's going to get that cannon more often than people get freaking uh, Dark Hole. Which is really often. Okay, come on. Get my hopes up, Bones. Get my hopes up. You know I want to see it. I want to see my big G. She's in there somewhere. Oh my. That, that, that works. You could do it. You know what? Fair enough, but do it now. At least get the 1600 burn off. Bones has done it! With this, he special summons Big G! It's the Mammoth of Goldfine. Or Gold Mammoth of Goldfine. I don't know. All I care about is that it's badass. It has 2200 attack, which is pretty decent for this tournament. It can even beat Zombira. That's how you know it's good. If it can beat Zombira, then it's good. But Zombira with Polly in the hand scares the crap out of me. Dragon Zombie United, we god damn! Alright, level 4. <coughs> Bones, are you lucky enough to have one in your hand? No, you're not. You're not really a level 4 guy, I understand. No Zombira, though. Monster Born, he can have Zombira whenever he wants. Here it comes, and he's definitely going to use it to destroy Dragon Zombie. Just to make sure the Mammoth isn't super powerful. Bones, do it for me. Summon Clown Zombie, just because I love clowns. Even if it does no, has no value, just do it. Armored Zombie, okay. I like Armored Zombie. That's a classic. Good old Zanky after death. Mysterious Puppeteer will not be going anywhere. Oh, well, let's see if Timoya Greendale gets lucky with a top to Holy shit. When it comes to luck, that is it. That was the luckiest card he could have drawn. But what is he Premature Burial since Zombira can't attack directly? Yeah, I don't agree with that one. That one, I don't agree. That was a very lucky top deck by uh, Tomoya, but uh, Familiar Knight is probably not the best choice. Mystic Tomato, there you go. But now you can't special summon Mystic Tomato using Familiar Knight's effect. Damn. Tomoya Greendell is bricked, but if he draws one Zombira, he's back in the duel. Oh, he's halfway to his fusion. Okay. I mean, he's two-thirds of the way to his fusion. He just needs Zombira. Or the other guy. It doesn't even matter. And he has every opportunity to get it. This is it. Will we see the most annoying fusion in the game? Not yet, but it's still definitely possible. There is a strong possibility. Tribute the Pumpkin! It's dead. Damn it. I love the Pumpkin. Damn it. Bones wins if he special summons a zombie. The entire concept of his deck, and he wins if he does it. Why would you put the Hex Seal in attack mode? If Bones special summons a zombie, he wins the duel. That's a zombie. Why didn't Bones choose those cards earlier? Why was he choosing Hex Seal? Tomoya loses game number two. We're moving on to game number three, everybody. We do not know. I told you, these decks are really well balanced for the minor league. Both, you're like, everybody has a chance to win. Um, Bones or Tomoya, I'm going to go with Bones because I like him, but also because he keeps drawing those freaking, uh, he keeps drawing the freaking burn cards. I don't know how he does it, but he draws it every time. Reinforcements of the army. Okay, he does have that weird skull thing. Field commander could give him what he needs. Mystic Tomato, Mystic to if there's a level... Oh. You see, that's good, but a Mystic Tomato probably was okay with that. He's just like, all right, all right whatever. I'll just summon another one. Oh, no, he wants Snake Hair. Okay. Snake Hair is powerful. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. No traps there. How is Bones, the man known for Call of the Haunted, not drawn a single Call of the Haunted in this match? How is that possible? I want an explanation. I don't want silence. I want to know what the hell is going on here. That's his whole deck's concept, and he can't draw one? 
he had called the haunted. Where's yours, Bones? If you don't get it, you're not coming back. That guy is Zombira. If he draws Polly, the duel's over. Mr. Tomato, okay. <clears throat> 1900 attack. Even, even still, Bones couldn't beat that card with his best cards. Please pick Nar Tomato. Good. Field Commander Roz now picks Snake Hair or something of that value. There you go. Now get a Hex Seal or you lose. He is an R. Joey for me, you're right. Get a Hex Seal or you lose. Oh, yeah! I got I got everything I wanted except Call the Hunt and I'll take it. All right, with this, Zombira is dead, which means much less risk of him getting anything. Bones, I have, I, I'm going to assume every card in your hand is a monster. I'm going to assume every single card you have in your hand right now is a monster card. Because you're not playing any spells and no trap cards. Pyramid Turtle. Okay, that's one of your better cards that you have not drawn yet. So I'm glad to see you got it. Problem, it's not a beater monster. You know what you could really use? You need like uh, Armored Zombie. Uh, Clown Zombie would have been enough. Dragon Zombie, one of your best cards. See, those are the real shit. He didn't get the real shit, I'm afraid. But what he did get was the legendary Call of the Haunted. All right, Hex... Wait, Hex... Tribute? Palm King? You got both his bosses. All right, with both boss monsters, bl obliterate this opponent. Yeah, you can't beat Roz over there. I love it. You're doing so good, man. I love you. Keep it going, Bones. Just don't get Dark Hold. That's the one thing. That's the one thing they can do to you to break my happiness. Oh, they're going to go for Pump King, aren't they? Damn it. I love Pump King. All right, Pump King is gone. That is a shame. He plays that card face up because it means that Bones can no longer play spell cards. Bones could not play a spell. He did anyway. Okay. A fair trade. Bones, do you have a monster with 1,500 attack? Because that's what you need right now. You don't. Damn. What is in your hand? Not a monster with 1,500 attack. Got it. Giant rat. Okay. Hex seal, but no. Oh, Castle of Dark Illusions. Hey, we're getting the buffs every turn. Let's do it, everyone. 1,400 is not enough. Giant Rat's going to be annoying, but who cares? Every single turn, we're buffing our monsters. And if he can resummon Pumpkin, Pumpkin will get its effect off. Giant Rat, terrible that you got two, but whatever. No! He had nothing to protect it, though. And the Hex Seal's gone, too. The, the buff is does remain, though. But they don't get it anymore. It's just the buff remains. Pyramid of Wonders. Beautiful. Call the Haunted for Pump King. Yeah, he got it. I'm sad that Castle's not here anymore, but we'll take it. 2,200 attack is plenty. 2,000 attack is plenty. 2,200 attack is plenty. Keep the damage up. This guy has too many life points to play with. You're right. These are cursed life points. All right. Dragon Rat is left alone. Sad and alone. It's got a new friend. A friend to stop all traps, but being in attack mode is not a good idea. Or all spells, I mean. Nope, it worked. Okay, well, you did it. You stopped Bones' monster reborn. That was very valuable. Come on, Bones. Top 8. You're top 8 material. I understand if you can't win this tournament, your strongest monster has 2,200 attack for crying out loud. But you are top 8 material. Come on. Yeah, let's keep it going. Mysterious Puppeteer is gone. The big old big G has done it. We're one turn away. Thank God for Pyramid of Wonders. Thank God it doesn't stop Dark Hole. Shit. He actually talked like that. He needs Dragon Zombie. It's the only one. Fuck. You gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Oh, thank God. Just Bones. Just don't fuck this up, man. I have no idea how he did that. Tomoya Greendell's got something in him. Pot of Greed. That's my boy. That's my... No! How? How? Your deck is all normal monsters. How is this possible? Oh my god, you're so lucky. Holy crap, I'm, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how he's still bricked after all this time. I don't know what in his hand could be considered a brick. Sangan. Attack. Call of the Haunted for game. 
the Pump King returns. The 800 burn and 800, 1,000 attack, and it's, oh, nope, Pyramid of Wonders. It's over. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Holy crap, that was way too close. All right, Pump King in the duel. Go with the classic. Go with the classic. Yep. With exact damage, Bones will win the duel using his Pump King. Tomoya Greendell was a very good duelist with some very powerful monsters, but Bones just got lucky. Very, very lucky. So, we're going to get back into our bracket. And we're going to see who's up next. Oh, we're at the last fight of top 16. We're almost to top 8. Jesus. Johnny Steps versus Macy Hops. Okay, who here is the Bunny fan and who here is the Johnny fan? Place your bets. There's no real bets, but have fun with it. Tell me if you're a Bunny fan. Tell me if you're a Johnny fan. Do you want to dance in my chat or do you want to own a Bunny? All right, let's start this duel. Macy versus Johnny. Johnny really wants to go back to the pros. Macy just wants to do it for her kids. She wants to be on the television. Shard of Greed is a great card to start with. Eleven hundred attack can't do anything. That's one weakness of Johnny. If he doesn't fuse, even his fusion monsters aren't strong enough to defeat any of the bunny monsters. Well, that's a scary top deck. And yet they don't want it. Metal Morph is actually not as valuable as you may think, because Giant Rat wanted it either way. It's actually more valuable for Giant Rat now. It got rid of Witch and it got rid of Metal Morph and it got the special summon. It was the best value. Ancient Elf does beat Giant Rat, but oh no. <laughs> 1400. Oh my gosh. Do it. Crash. Alright, there you go. You get to search for two monsters. Oh, Witch can only have it once per turn. It's not it's not its old effect. That's fine. Ancient Elf, go ahead. Giant Rat is gone, which doesn't matter because Giant Rat would just summon Giant Rat. As we all expected. Johnny Boy's in a lot of danger since we already see what her hand has. Her hand is horrifying, and she has Pot of Greed right now. Oh, all the bunnies in the world. I hope you enjoy the adorable bunnies. And there we go. 2300, 1400. Johnny, if you don't fuse, you don't live. Your whole deck is fusion-based. No fusion, no chance. That's not bad. But I stand by what I said. Okay, that is the best you could do, but I stand by what I said. You hit Dark Hole. That's the worst thing that could have. Holy shit, he's going to fuse. You hit Dark Hole, and now you have everything you need. He got his boss. He had everything he needed. Johnny steps with his Musician King, and he gets to search because that happens. He, he now is in complete control of the duel. He just has to wait for one of his three fusion weapons, which we've seen him draw all three in a five-card opening hand. Man, oh, he doesn't have a chance, Manticore, I forgot. The second it I don't have object permanence. The second it leaves the field, it's gone. In my mind, I don't see it. So please don't play Mecha Bunny in attack mode like an idiot. Please. Thank you. Uh, sometimes they do. That's why I get upset. Just like that Magician of Faith play from way earlier in the tournament. All right, Manticore of Darkness is going to do the work. Nimbomanga is here to help. I forgot Johnny was supposed to be kicked out, but that one card is the reason he's still here. Remember Johnny was going to lose to his last opponent in game three, and then that's the card that saved his ass? It happened again. It happened again. He can't keep getting away with this. Ancient Elf. Polly, uh oh. Polly, oh, whoa. King of the Swamp. Uh oh, he can fuse. He can fuse. We're in danger right now. King of the Swamp, he gets to choose the fusion he wants. Swords, good idea. Good idea. You're not going to last much longer with all them. Matt's Cork, good idea. Get rid of Melfi. Yeah. Fusion time. He doesn't want to fuse. Probably because of swords. Soul Resurrection for Melfi? Sure. Rabadragon! The two bunnies evolve into Rabadragon! 
The boss monster is here and Johnny steps. Even if you could fuse, it will not matter. These attack stats are too high. You already used Harpy's Feather Duster. You're already dead. You've used all your best cards. You got nothing left in the tank. Your opponent has everything. Foolish Burial for fun at this point. Harpies, just to make sure that's not a Saku. TT, holy shit. That Harpies Feather Duster had so much value. TT was like one of the few cards he could have come back with. And she hit it. This girl's got it. Johnny Steps is not winning game number one. Call the Haunted, okay. Bullish Burial and Rabbit Dragon. Very good play. Shining Angel to try and stall. That's a very good idea, but will it matter? His life points are at 3k. One Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, he's got Light Hex Sealed, so if he has Fusion Weapon, he'll be strong enough to die. Oh, no, he just destroyed himself. Okay, he gave up. I get you. I get, even if you fuse into defense mode, I get I get it, yeah. Oh, at least I get to see Gilshia the AD Knight. That's that's always nice. Yay, Gilshia. Good to see you. Um, you're dead. Call the Haunted time. Yep. They don't wait till battle phase. That's why I just say it. Yeah, this was, a, this was a sad one. This was a very sad duel. Holy crap. That is it. Macy Hops is doing it for her kids. She is one win away from top eight. Her kids are cheering in the crowd. All right, moving into game number two. Will she be able to win it or will Johnny break out the best of stuff? Her hand is not the best. I'm not going to lie. Mecha Bunny's nice, but the rest of it is not set up well. Unless she drew full, if she drew a foolish burial, then, I, then it is, but... Without that card, I, I can't I can't give her props. It's not a good hand. But she said she's going to use TT early. And, oh, wow, he lost TT. She's going to use TT early, and it's going to cost her. Yeah. Because he could fuse right now. No, I'm joking. He won't do it, but he could. There's always a possibility. So, Macy, you don't really run beaters, but draw a rat. Okay, Melfi will be fine. Melfi will protect you. No, don't do that. Oh my god. That is not worth it. That, no. The bunny is helpful, but it's not worth it. Trust me. 800 damage? You basically just spent a Call of the Haunted to do an Ukazi. Ancient Elf is here. We already knew it was coming. But one good thing about Mecha Bunny, even if it was in attack mode, you do get to get your monster. So, you know what? It has value. <laughs> It has its value. Oh, wait. She got it. She got Foolish Burial. She can get... Oh, she wants that one. Okay, you know what? It's a safer monster. I understand. I was going to say it's better to get Rabbit Dragon immediately, but you wanted the... So it's gone. Shit. Oh, her Call of the Honey was already used. What am I talking about? You should have chose Rabbit Dragon, but it technically didn't matter in the end because, yes, it was hit. So that sucks. All right, what are you going to do now? What, what card can you top deck? More Melfi bunnies, yes. Yes, good. No, what? Yeah, explain that. Do it. Do it. And I'm not talking to the crowd right now. I'm talking to Konami. Explain it. Explain that play, Konami. Explain that one. That one almost makes sense right now because that monster's effect relies on it being in attack mode. But it's still a horrible play. Explain that, Konami. You're useless. You know that, Konami. You're useless. Alright. This is what you get for canceling PT. Alright. Well, 2,100 defense from Melvy Bunny is good. Um, I feel like Macy's being a little too nice to Johnny. She doesn't realize Johnny's actually a menace when it comes to uh, dueling. And yeah, now she's going to find out. She's going to find out the hard way. Melfi Bunny held on as long as it could, but now the duel's basically over. Yeah, once Johnny gets his fusion weapon, Johnny don't really lose. Oh, well, that card might help. Might. Manticore. Manticore's a good choice. Get rid of that freaking uh, Ancient Elf. 
Weirdly enough, she actually has a chance of coming back. What is this? How is that possible? This is happening. She's coming back. Holy crap. She's going gonna, she's gonna to win? Is she going to 2-0 Johnny? An uh, old pro is going to lose to mom Macy? <laughs> Macy hops? Random mother is going to beat Johnny Steps? With a bunny deck? With a goddamn bunny deck that barely beat a turtle deck in game three? Okay, that's what I, I was going to say. There's no way she's going to win. That's just too much. That is just too much. Monster Reborn was used horribly. That was the worst choice for Monster Reborn. They, there's a Manticore in that grave over there. Go get it. Why would you use Monster Bo Reborn like that? Holy shit, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay the ultimate price for being an idiot. I understand no Musician King because it wasn't summoned through Fusion Summon. Maybe that's why. It was summoned by Light Hex Seal, so technically it was never special summoned the right way. But, but there was a Manticore right over there. And you didn't choose it. You don't gotta pick your own graveyard. That's the whole ball, my fucking god. You can't keep getting away with this. You cannot keep drawing that card at the last second. She didn't get a single monster? She got one. She got one monster to save her own life. I am getting so upset that he gets Cyber Draw at the last second every single time. It's not like, oh, he got it early. He got it in the middle of the duel. He gets it on the last possible turn every single freaking time. And now look at him. Now he's back in the duel. Now he's back in the freaking duel. Macy, I want you to win. He's pissed me off already. That Monster Born play, I mean, yeah, your Melfi play really pissed me off, but I, it, it was so bad I blamed Konami more than I blamed you. Poly time. Yep, we already knew. Yep, Music King. Here we go. Musician King is going to be a big problem, but she could do something interesting. If she chooses not to Raigeki break it... Ah, uh, she disagrees. I was hopeful she wouldn't, but she disagrees. Could have been funny, what I, what I had in mind. Alright, they know it's Giant Rat, but they don't know... Well, they do know Lightning Vortex, so it's over. Lightning Vortex for game. This is game. Johnny Steps, you get what you deserve. Attack. You son of a bitch. You're still in the duel. How does he keep doing this? One turn away from death every time. He's always one turn away from death and he crawls himself out of the grave. He just keeps crawling out of the grave and Macy Hops is struggling now. She's like, damn, I really shouldn't have given you that free hit on Melfi. All right, Shining Angels, Giant Rat, here we go. Who's going to get the stronger mom? Well, we already know it's not her. Her whole deck is weak. Her whole deck's about defense. Giant Rat's like one of her only beater monsters. And he has a way to get rid of all of them. And he's not very strong either. But he can get like at least Ancient Elf or a Lady of Faith. Those will do the job. Nimble Mamonga. Actually, that's a really good choice. Nimble Mamonga is a really good choice. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There's only one left, isn't there? Yeah, that's a shame. I don't know if she runs any single tributes. Oh, yeah, Manticore, but it's already gone. Oh, 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 oh that's a, that's that's the right way to win the duel. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Win the duel that way. I, I, I'll i enjoy this. Let me let me get comfortable. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, yeah, just end the duel. Magic Cylinder. Macy Hops 2-0s the former professional Johnny Steps. And that is going to take her to top eight of our tournament. Good job, Macy. She's done it. I'm sure her kids are proud that she's made it this far, but now we're in the real leagues. Only the powerful characters remain. The minor league best, the best characters of the minor league are here. So let's see what happens. Are you a Macy fan, a Bones fan, a Light Tsukiko fan, a Bright Abyss fan, a Joey Wheeler fan, a Ribbon fan, a Yami Kuroda fan, or an Alda V? I forgot about the streamer. Alda V Stormer has been waiting to stream again. Here we go. Alda V Stormer. Well, actually, no, she was reacting to everyone else's duels, so she, you know, she was streaming the whole time. Uh, Alda V Stormer is here to duel against Yami Kuroda. 
one of these characters is going to semifinals. Every single character left in the tournament is powerful. Yeah, Bones, one of the strongest of the minor league. Come on. Let's do this. Unironically. Alda is ready to duel. Yami Kuroda is ready to duel. V Stormer wants to go pro for all of her chat. <laughs> She's doing it for chat and for subs. Monster Reborn gets back Ryza, but you don't get its effects, so... She's doing a lot of cool stuff, but a little too early in my opinion. Because of that, a Dark Hole could ruin everything. But we'll see what Yamakuroda even has. Harpies? Harpies does hit Call of the Harder. That's a big loss. Oh, Birthright. Eh, it's not, it's not the biggest loss. Uh, Mad Archfiend's a good card, but I don't think it'll make the biggest difference. Hunter Owl will make a big difference. Hunter Owl is a very good card. Okay, Garuda the Wind Spirit. Holy shit. V Stormer came to play. She has so much damage. Yami Kuroda doesn't know what hit him. He has never played against a streamer before. Chat is telling her what to do. <laughs> Chat's like, hey, 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 special summon Garuda. Just do it. <laughs> Legin is there, and Garuda may be dead, but it doesn't matter. You have 800 life points left, and Ukazi could kill you. Y you're dead. You're dead. She could dark hole right now for the just for the funny part of it. Just for just for comedy's sake. She has five monsters on the field. 3,500 attack hunter out. It's over. Holy shit, she kicked his ass. Yami Kuroda lo loses on turn five. He is one of the four strongest duelists in his elementary school, and he lost to some streamer. All right, moving on to game number two, because that was embarrassing. That was actually embarrassing. That's called slap by chat. Blind Kamikiri would be a really good card to start the duel with. Ooh, he got his field spell. That's how you make a difference. The field spells control the duel. Shit. That top deck was clutch. <laughs> that was a really good top deck. And Battlestorm is here. <laughs> I like that. That's good, Deadpool. That's good. All right. Well, we got another set. I would summon, out of all these, Sonic Duck. Yeah, Sonic Duck's the best. Sonic Duck buffs the Battlestorm. Ooh, okay. If he has Caius, he could pull it off. Oh, well, wait. That assumes, yeah. He could pull it off. That's a really sad thing to say, Alien. But you're right. <laughs> that's, that's a really fucked up thing to say. But yeah, you know, you're right. Mystic Plasmic Zone has returned. Caius, I was right. He does have it. Battlestorm's a dark monster. You take a thousand burn. Because it was a dark ad, you take 2,900. But... He has Caius, he has the field spell, and he's done the burn. Everything is in his favor right now. Everything is in his favor. All right, Harpy's Brother, Flying Kamikiri. We're not even using Garuda because there's no wind monsters in the grave. Caius is sitting pr pretty. It just banished a dark monster. That monster is insanely powerful. Yeah, I think someone act I think it's Dark Hunter, right? That's its name. Yeah, Dark Hunter. Hunter Owl is here, and if there's enough wind monsters, it could make a comeback. But it needs a lot of wind. That's one. Interesting. You did that for a direct attack. I know his life points are low, but you did all that for a direct attack. And you refuse to summon Garuda, even though your life points are begging you for it. Is that two Caiuses? Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. His mom lets him have two. Allure of Darkness is unnecessary. He got an equip spell! What?! Is that enough to end the duel? Wait! How did he know?! That's cheating! We have it on camera! He cheated! How did he know he needed exactly 400 attack points?! How? No. No. Wait a minute. Pull the tape on that. We're going to game three either way, but pull the tape on that. How did he know that he would get exactly one dark monster and the exact equip spell to give him exactly 400 attack to win the duel on that turn. What? I don't know about this. I don't know about this. The minor league isn't that... It, minor league doesn't have that many restrictions. They don't really pay attention because most people suck. But that was very... That was that was very sus. Uh, we also got her boss monster, the Dark Storm Dragon. That is her strongest card. And it's a pretty good one at that. 
All right, so let's... Oh, she got two. That's the unluckiest hand she can get. Drawing two of those is really bad. You do not want two of those. That That is a, that is a fact. All right, 1,500 attack comes through. We got Birthright, which would be better if one of the Dark Storms were in the grave, but sadly, she drew both of them, so that's really bad. Harpies, you lost it. That sucks. You can't combo into Harpies, brother. Mystic to... Oh, my God. Mystic Plasma. So, mad Archfiend. And it's getting worse by the second. Oh, if you are a fan of our, our Alda V-Stormer, I think she's out of here. I think Yami Kuroda, he found something that made it so he could win this. Yeah, like he's cheating 100%. I can't find the proof, but I know it's true. He's cheating. Something happened. He watched the stream. That's hilarious. But even if you watch the stream, how could you predict that you have... Uh, a dark monster. Uh, a dark equip spell and a dark monster coming. Caius, shit. Caius, it's it's over. It's just over. Alda V-Stormer is out of the tournament. She did amazing. Her deck is really good. She beat him on turn five, and then he turned it right around and beat her on turn five. He is... Damn. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, he just went ham. I don't know what's going on, but he was just like, today is the day. I take this person down. And he goes to semifinals, which means Light Tsukiko needs to keep winning because her brother hasn't lost yet. Alda V Stormer, you are a great duelist getting top eight in this tournament, and your deck is quite interesting, but you're not good enough to be a pro. So get wrecked. Yami Kuroda moves forward. He's this much closer to meeting his favorite person in the world, meeting his idol. The next duel is two Domino High students going at it again. Ribbon and Joey. Joey does it for his sister. Ribbon does it to meet Taya Gardner yet again. Who will win? Uh, shit. Ribbon. Let's do this. Obviously, I just want Joey. Ribbon is good, but I just want Joey. I'm gonna need an extra second to find Ribbon's face just because she's uh, a little far away. I hope y'all don't mind. Even if you do mind, I don't think I care. <clears throat> no offense. Maybe a little offense. Alright, Command Knight beats Mystic Tomato, but that's what she wanted all along. Hex sealed. Interesting. Is she going to pull off her mini boss monster again? Her old boss monster? No. Damn, got my hopes up for nothing. I got all excited thinking I was going to see a cool card, but nah. All right, well, you can't beat the Hex Sealed, so it might still happen eventually, but as of right now, it's not happening. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, she did it! By using Book of Moon properly, she's going to do it. All right, really good play from Rib. Whoa, she got her real boss monster instead. She doesn't want her mini boss monster. She wants the real one. And with the real one... Oh, shit, Fairy Box. Oh, shit, Fairy Box. Well, unless you're the luckiest person in the world, Ribbon, you're you're going to take a lot of damage. Oh my god, he failed that one. He got it! All right, go Joey. Joey Wheeler, 1,900 damage. Beautiful. Ugh, still scary, though. You need you need Gear Freed. You, you need a gear... Yeah, that'll do it. That'll get you to Gear Freed. Pay the five. You want to keep a fairy box around. I understand not wanting to lose a thousand life points a turn. That is a heavy cost, but keep one of those things around. They're very valuable when they work. Neo's here. Just need a gear freed. You get a gear freed, you win this duel. Double command knight. Didn't think about that. That also helps, but it won't win you the duel. It'll just make sure she doesn't get her mini boss. But chaos command is still way stronger than you. This card is her boss monster, and it's pretty darn good. Being able to negate the effects that target this card is pretty all right. Oh, monster effects, damn. Still all right. So, like, if Gear Freed, the Swordsmaster, tried to pop it, it wouldn't work. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's the worst top deck. He only has one of those in his deck, and he drew that instead of the three Gear Freeds. 
This game hates me sometimes. Royal Magical Library being face up is high value for her. Scapegoat, okay. Fairy Box is really costing him, but he can't draw a monster to help himself right now. He needs his Gear Free the Iron Knight. He has three in his deck, and he managed to draw the one Gear Free the Swordmaster, which you don't want ever in your hand. And I feel like I've seen it every duel. Fairy Box has been uh, destroyed. So anyone that was wondering about Maiko's effect, there it is. You got to see it. Warrior Lady. Oh, Comrade! Hey! Okay, wait, with Comrade, you could... Well, you'd have to crash, though, and lose your, you'd lose your thing. You don't have to crash. You do whatever you want. Joey, you're my boy. You do whatever you want. Enjoy your thing. Shit. You know what? Just get rid of the Royal Magical Library. We don't need her drawing cards. Yeah, that's, that's about right. You got this, Joey. It's all you, man. It's all you. There's nothing she could do. She got right a comrade, but you have enough attack with Lightning Sword, so you're fine. Lightning Blade will get you this game. Warrior Lady? Sure. Get her out there for damn fuck. Oh, no, he's bricked. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's no way she still has monsters, though. Oh, no. Well, she didn't pick Chaos Command Magician. What the? Oh, because then she could search for a new one. You know what? She unbreaks her hand by summoning it, and she gets to search. So, you know what? It had value. Uh, Yeah, that's game. That's not game. Joey almost lost right there. I stand by what I said at the beginning of the duel. He needs to draw Gear Free the Iron Knight. He has three monsters left to protect him. That's our that's our clock. Our cuckoo clock of doom is three scapegoats. That you, you do nothing. You are you are you are negative value. All right, try this again. Come on, come on, come on. You could do this, Joey. Just need a little gear free. You got three in your deck, and you got twenty five cards left in your deck. So three divided by twenty five. That card's good too. Get it out there. Get rid of the boss monster. She's still stronger than you though. Oh yeah. He can't use Exile Force. Chaos, Com Chaos Command's Magician is immune to it. It literally will negate it. It's showing off how good it is. This is it. Joey draws it now or Joey dies. Here we go. A 3 out of 24 chance. You bitch of a video game. He, he might still be in the duel, but I don't know how many rats he has. Crap. She got another monster. Of course she did. Oh, good. She attacked in the wrong monster. That works. Please tell me you have more rats. You need more time. Good. Good. Good, Joey. Good. How many How many cards you got left now? He's got 20 cards left on this next top deck. Here we go. It's 3 out of 20 chance. You s Maybe. Maybe. This duel is very close. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to freak out. This duel is very close. All right. Giant rat. We're out of rats. Game winning attack. Magic Cylinder stops it. Book of Eclipse. That gives only him draw power, right? She's stuck in defense mode. She saved her life points, but she's stuck in defense mode. But he gets to draw an extra card. That's my boy! Get it out there! Kick her ass! Now you can have two for the price of one! Or, you know what? Sure. Goblins beats the face down, so I'm down for that. Gear Freed, the Swords Master is here. And you didn't summon goblins. And you put a monster with way too little attack in attack mode. You got so lucky that if that if that was Book of Moon, you lost the duel. You were the luckiest man in the world, Joey. The fact that you didn't summon gear uh, goblin attack force scared the crap out of me. Pot of greed, no. No way. No way. No way! What? Joey, you why did you put it in attack mode? You could have just used goblins! The goblins would have been enough. Joey Wheeler loses duel number one in an intense back and forth duel. Game two. Oh, Joey, you were messing this up for me, man. You're my boy. Your sister needs you and you're failing. Don't get me wrong. Ribbon is good and she was way better than you back in Domino High. Hell, she's, she's probably still better than you now, but win anyway. Oh, yeah, you're right. Then just don't put the other monster in attack mode. <laughs> That's all you have to do. Just don't put the other monster in attack mode. All right, Maiko goes in. Fairy box could be funny. 
Roulette Spider is a little over aggressive when you already have fairy box. You use one or the other, don't use both. You rolled a four, I don't know what that does. It was successful, whatever it was. 1450. Myko gets rid of Fairy Box. It's understandable. That card's super annoying. Gear Free the Iron Knight's gonna get killed by TT. I can already feel it. She has TT. She has TT. She doesn't. Yay! Book of Eclipse. Who cares? You get to draw. Draw power is good, even though you don't want Gear Free in defense, though. She could beat 16. That is a problem. The fact that she could beat 1600. Yep, Myko. Damn it. One out of three are gone now. Reinforcements. Okay, get get another gear freed. You know you need more. They're very safe, good cards. There you go. Plus, once you draw release restraint, you'll have value. Pot of green. Command knight's good too. Mm, goblins were not necessary, but sure. I guess it was doesn't matter what you chose, you were gonna die. I don't know why you set Dark Hole. That was very bad. You're lucky they don't have uh, MST or anything. But you should not be setting Dark Hole. Giant Rat for something good. Rat will do. <clears throat> so Joey is out of rats. He has one in his hand, one in the grave, one on the field. And Gear Free the Iron Knight is here to destroy a Myko. Which, by the way, is that all three Mykos? That's all three Mykos. Okay. How are you going to do this, Joey? I'm trying to think of how to win for him since he can't do it himself. Well, that's not good. She aggressively Book of Moons to destroy your monster. You don't have any of your fairy boxes. No kunai with chain. No nothing. Hmm. Got command knights, but they don't do it. Ugh, I was afraid you dark hole. All right. Oh, well, maybe it'll be value. Nope, it was it was negative value. You gave her stuff. Oh god, this is getting just, just summon. Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> Are you gonna attack with goblins? Ooh. <laughs> The good news is you get to keep Command Knight as long as she doesn't special summon. Then you summon her Command Knight and it all works out. You got her very low on life points. It was a good play. Unless she special summons. Or that. God damn it, Joey. You went for maximum damage and I don't blame you, but damn. It's going to cost you. Exile Force? Yeah. You can't let her tribute. If she ever gets her tribute monster and she re like, it's just so good. A 2400 single tribute, immune to monster effects monster is so good. Oh, that card's terrible. She only uses it to summon sandwich sometimes. So, go ahead, Joey. She's she's out of cards. Use the rat or command knight. I was going to say, if you use command knight, please play swords. You're not smart enough, damn it. Well, Joey pretty much has this duel in the bag, but all it takes is one 1700 beater. She doesn't have one 1700 beater though, so this is your chance, Joey. You could Swords, Fish, or Gabe. Okay, she had Book of Eclipse. You could not do any of the things I just said. Oh, Command Knight and that. That's two top decks. Gear Free the Swordmaster instead of the Release Restraint. He has two Release Restraints, one Gear Free the Swordmaster, and three Gear Free the Iron Knights. And he keeps getting Gear Free the Swordmaster over the other cards. Or you're returning. <coughs> Com okay. Comrade with Command Knight easily beats the opponent. Go. Two Comrades. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Fisher, sure. I'm here to enjoy the duel, and that's enjoyable. Shit. Get that with Command Knight. Don't let her keep a. Don't let her keep one of those. Good. She might get a Magician of Faith, and that might be a little scary, Joey. But you can do this. I know you can do. This. So let's see. No Chaos Command Magician, and we're good. I stand by what I said. Nothing has changed. Okay, now I'm getting worried. Now I'm confused. Interesting. Interesting. This whole duel is decided by this. He did not win. He had game right there, but he just he's not lucky anymore. Joey's luck stat doesn't exist anymore. He used to be lucky in the show. Tag Force, he was semi-lucky. No, he was lucky. He won the freaking biggest tournament ever. But in this game, nah. 
Yep, you deserve it. You put a Magician of Faith in attack mode, and you didn't tribute it. You, you deserve it. Joey gets her. So we're going to move into game number three. Who would you rather have? And I understand if you like Ribbon, so I'm going to let you choose. Ribbon or the right choice that doesn't get you banned? It's your choice. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you can choose whatever you want. I'm not going to be that mad. I'll be a little mad. Come on, boy. It's our boy Joey. He can do it. Lucky stats. That's all we need. Oh, my fucking God. Never mind. Ribbon fans rejoice. Ribbon fans rejoice. He got three revival cards. Two cards that are very specific bricks. And a dark hole. Granted. She also hasn't summoned a monster for some reason. Is this the legendary double brick? I didn't think I'd ever see it in my lifetime. All right. Book of Eclipse, that could help him. He actually prefers that because he needs to draw cards. Reinforcements, he could do it. He can go gear free the sword master. If he's smart enough, he can do it. Screw it, you lost. She spent a whole dark hole on a rat. Be so proud. Go Joey, go kick her ass. Gear free the sword master has 2200 defense just in case she hits you with a book of moon. It's worth it. Yes, he's smart. His AI brain is starting to understand what he needs to do. The other card is a permanent brick in his hand now, but who cares? 20, okay, you're going a little over aggressive now. A little over aggressive. We saved the monster born for this guy, but you didn't want to. Just very over aggressive now. You don't need all this. You're lucky she didn't have a trap. I don't know how both of these characters bricked. But we've already seen both their decks. Like, they have hardly any bricks in there. She finally has a monster. Let's see if it's valuable. She needs... Her Shining Angel or her Apprentice... Or no, no, Mystic Tomato or her Apprentice Magician. Uh, Witch of the Black Forest will make it so she's not bricked, but she's also dead. So it doesn't matter. Joey Wheeler! Just as bricky as... Oh, wait a minute! It was called the Haunted. She just never had a monster in the grave. Joey Wheeler! Just as bricky as his opponent. Goes in with Gear Free the Swordmaster, does exact damage, and wins the duel. Joey is in semifinals. That was a really rough top. Th those three fights were all really tough. The first two were back and forth. The third one was just like, oh my God, what is wrong with you? How do you both have bricks that bad? I'm trying to look for Joey's face. Then we can get started in the next duel. Ribbon did really good getting to top eight. She's still a really good duelist, but Joey is just a slightly better. So, let's look at our bracket and realize Joey's in a lot of danger. His sister's eye surgery may not happen. <laughs> uh, the next duel is Bright Abyss, who's trying to fight for her sister, versus Light Tsukiko, who's trying to stop her brother. Lights, who's more important? Light stopping her brother from meeting Night Shroud? Or Bright helping get revenge on uh, Odelia? Or for Odelia? What is more important to you people at home? Well, let's go find Bright and make this happen. All right. Let's do this. Okay, I see a couple there. I see a couple. Um, Bright is ready to duel. <laughs> I like that. Their names are Bright and Light. Bright Light. Light Bright. It's the perfect matchup. Harpy's Feather Duster ruins all that back row, which is super brutal. Losing Solemn Judgment and Magic Cylinder is huge. Firestorm is just a really good beater monster. Graceful is weirdly used uh, late. Molten Destruction is here for 2200 attack. Shining Angel can stall, but there's no tributes in her hand. So Light not having any tributes... Oh, that could just stall as well. Light not having any tributes is a bit of a problem, though. Alright, we have ourselves a set. Solar Flare Dragon, call the Haunted into... So oh, she got it! Bright got the lock! She doesn't need to be able to destroy monsters by battle! 
She could just win by a thousand burn every turn. You have eight turns left to live. Or seven turns left to live. What will you do with the seven turns you have? And backfire could be less depending on if you go aggressive. In exactly seven turns, this planet will explode. Attack goes through. Freya's dead. If you played her face up, Freya would have been fine. Funny enough, but you just didn't. Another thousand burn comes through. In exactly six turns, this planet will explode. <laughs> Shit. That breaks the lock. Oh, you really hated that lock. Oh, that's 1500 burn, I think. Yep. And Karaz did its job. It broke the lock, and it's stronger than the monsters that remain, but Backfire is still right there. And Backfire is very scary. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's very hard to lock down uh, Light, simply because her deck has a, a Zaborg and Karaz. So, yeah, Backfire is really going to hurt. So this is more, will you win in a couple attacks, or will they get so many Fire Monsters you can't win? Ooh, why would she pick that? And there's also the case of, oh, what if Bright gets her boss and then just wins by battle? Solar Flare again. Shit, that's 200 damage. Solar Flare, that's 1,500. That's game. That's game. You can't win. Light actually lost to Bright. Unless she pops both backfires and destroys Solar Flare Dragon. She did, she, she, she lost right now. All right, Light has lost the first duel. It's basically a guarantee. There's no way... You didn't just lose because all your opponent has to do is end their turn when their turn comes around. They just have to activate Ultimate Baseball Kid's effect and you lose. That is all that has to happen. Bright, go ahead and show her. The battle position thing was weird, but sure, we did it. <laughs> Lightsu Kiko is shocked. She hasn't lost yet, so that was her first loss. And now she's going to have to play a lot better. So, Light, let's see if you could beat Bright. Both characters have good reasons for wanting to... Well, not really. Bright just wants revenge. and that I don't know if revenge is technically a good reason. And Light is trying to prevent her brother from meeting Nitra, which is probably a good reason to win the tournament. You don't even have to win the tournament. Just to beat uh, Yami Kuroda. Premature Burial. Very aggressive first turn from Bright. Very aggressive. Harpies is going to be good right now. Harpy Feather Duster. See if it hits Backfire since that card's so valuable. Nope, it hit Call of the Haunted, which is also valuable. Karaz can be used. Or, oh, you want Freya. Love that play. I love that play. Mostly because Freya can't be attacked. It buffs your monster. It's beautiful. Beautiful play. What are you going to do now? Shit. I still like the play. <laughs> Whether or not it worked out in the long run, I still liked the play. Heart of the cards. Get yourself a normal summon. All right, premature tribute. Just do it, but don't use Karaz's effect. Oh, you don't even tribute. I like that. She's saving her monster for a more important thing. She's like, I don't want to use Kur. She's an idiot. Damn it. I was trying to. I was trying to give her props, and she just threw it away. <laughs> she could have just saved her life points. Harpies. Damn, that's a big trap. You lost magic cylinder. When you lose something you only have one of, it's a big loss. She just, I just, I tried to do it for her. I tried to give her props and she just threw it away. World Firestorm, get him out of here. You got anything else you want to show, Bright? Because right now you're top decking against a 2400 beater monster. And it doesn't look like it's a good thing to be you. Oh my god, you got a Pot of Greed. I was going to say, it doesn't look like it's good to be you right now. But at the end of the day, you got Pot of Greed. And that could technically bring you back if you're lucky. You could support. You don't have to. I understand not wanting to. But you could Zaborg if you wanted to make sure the face down didn't have an effect. Wow. Bright's bricked. Okay. Despite how good she did in, in duel number one, Bright's bricked in duel two. And with limit reverse, we're going to see another... She got firewall. Oh, she got it. There's only one of those in her deck. And she got it. She's going to start banishing infinitely. Oh my god, you have to pop. You need Karaz. You need a Karaz, like now. Zaborg doesn't matter anymore. 
Freya doesn't matter anymore. She's gonna banish. All right, UFO Turtle wanted to die. That was all part of the plan. Flame Ruler wanted to die. That was all part of the plan. Firewall being used on... Uh... Oh, that's because it was the only pyro. Uh, Windows, can you please not notify me during a stream? That'd be real nice of you. Heart of the cards. Get something good. Just go Zabor. Just win. Yeah, just, just win the duel. We're going to game. We're going to game three. Bright and Light both have really good decks. They're both good at what they do. Um, the pyro monsters are gone. There's nothing to... Oh, there are more pyro monsters? Uh-oh. I didn't realize there were more pyro monsters. I thought they were fire monsters. That's a pyro still. There's only one left. You're fine. There's only one left. You got this in the bag. Unless that card is very good. Summon Freya just in case. Good. Alright. Attacks go through. Attack go through. Game winning attack gets re prevented, but it doesn't matter. They, we already checked. They don't have another pyro monster. That is it. Light beats bright in game number two. We're going to game three. <coughs> I would like to know right now, because we don't know who will take it. Both characters can take it. Who would you rather have? Elementary school student that is trying to stop her brother Light or recent graduate that's part of the biggest gang in Domino, Bright, trying to get revenge for her sister's... Uh, Injury. Massive injury. We got a bright fan in chat. We got a light fan in chat. We got a light fan in chat. We got more light fans in chat. I can't tell. Fire is both bright and light. <laughs> I know you're going for bright. Um, we got a light fan in chat. Harpy's Feather Duster when you don't have any monsters is a brutal card to get. Oh. Bright's got this. She hits Solemn Judgment and Magic Cylinder. She has Molten Destruction. She has Solar Flare Dragon. That's 2,500 damage in the opening turn. If you are a Bright fan, you're going to get it. Golden Dragon, thank you so much for making it to the YouTube stream. And thank you so much for being a YouTube member for 14 months, which got you that little Joey emote. And thank you for using Zaborg on yourself. That was the worst use of it. But you did it for the premature. Holy shit, you're terrible. Patience would have been more worthwhile. She drew the one firewall again. That blows my mind. The firewall will cost her, but Jesus Christ, that actually is crazy. 500. No, she has it! You're joking. Is she bringing it back? The classic boss monster! She brought back her mini boss from back in Domino High! She put it back in her deck after her sister's injury. Oh my god, she got her two head. I didn't think she would still play it, but she actually played it. No, I know it's... Guys, I know the Zaborg was mandatory. I was saying wait until she had two monsters. That that was my thing. Just take the damage. Because then you keep the premature and you're going to be just fine. That's an ultimate baseball kid with a two head. That is not good. That is not good. That is very good. That Harpy's Feather Duster has maximum... Oh, no. All of a sudden, you're rolling to MST. I hate that the AI won't just get rid of swords and realize they can win. If they just get rid of swords, they win the duel. All right. Well, even with that, you can't beat anything, so... Prepare to die. You, you, are, you are going away. Nova Summoner is gone. Bringing back the Twin-Headed Fire Dragon is classic. Freya is gone. Marshmallow is chilling. A Karaz would be helpful. You need to hit that ultimate baseball kid. You need to hit that backfire. A Karaz would definitely be helpful. Zaborg is good, but Karaz is better. Okay, more traps. Both characters don't know what to do in this situation. Monster reincarnation works. Or call the haunted. Yeah, you do you. Obviously, you need a monster to, or a card to discard for a monster reincarnation. So, you got rid of the mini boss monster of Bright. It will cost you 500 to do so. Life points are getting low, but Ultimate Baseball Kid can't beat Zaborg without a lot of friends. Well, there goes the. Damn. There goes Marshmallow. On. And you get to do 500. Oh my god. Oh my god, the duel's over. Bright Abyss has taken down Light Tsukiko. Light Tsukiko is so good, and she still lost to the Twin-Headed Fire Dragon. Bringing back the classics, everybody. That is how you win duels. 
in the minor league at least. I won't say that for the other leagues. You're going to lose in pros if you do that. But here we go. Laitsu Kiko lost, and now she has to hope that somebody will stop her brother from going to the pros. Let's find out if that happens together. There's only one fight left, and oh my god, it's the two funniest characters. Let's admit, uh, out of all the characters left, these are the two joke characters. Alright, who is funnier to you? Obviously, I like Bones more, you already know that. But, I understand if you are liking the new character, Macy Hops, so... Who would you rather have, Zombie Boy or Bunny Girl? Or Bunny Mom, technically. Where are you, Macy, and where are you, Bones? Up oh, there he is. All right, lots of Macy fans in chat. Thank you, I, uh, thank you, I appreciate that. That you are, uh, I'm your favorite. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Sorry, I have to look at so many things. I can't look at chat constantly. It's a, it's a thing with these tournaments since I have to find the faces, find the decks, and do all the nonsense. Talk about the duel, even though they are terrible duelists. All right, Macy Hops already has a rabbit dragon in her hand, which is super, super good. Pod Agreed is here as well. Raigeki Break on... Yeah, you don't need the bunny. Dragon Zombie is actually very valuable. Ah, Book of Life. Damn. I was going to say, Dragon Zombie is one of his best cards, so that is something you want to hit. But you didn't. But it's fine. Giant Rat will stall for a little bit. Not forever, but for a little bit. Hey, look at that. You got yourself a bunny. It's all good. It all worked out in the end. Now your goal is to... Yes, more rats. Yes, that's what we want. I didn't think he'd actually, she'd actually get that. I was gonna say get Banello down in the tribute for Rabbit Dragon. No, Melfi! The boss monster is here! We got the Big G! Mammoth of Goldfine. Big G takes down Melfi, which means Rabbit Dragon can't be summoned. Yes, it can. I take it back. It's gonna be boss monster versus boss monster. Who is better, Rabbit Dragon or Mammoth of Goldfine? We'll find out in two turns. Because <laughs> Magic Cylinder says no. Can Goldvine get a buff? He needs a card to make him stronger than Rabbit Dragon. That's not enough. That will not do it. Pyramid of Wonders cannot save the day. Both boss monsters staring each other down. One is clearly better than the other. Pyramid of Wonders will sacrifice itself to make sure that the Goldvine does not die. But I stand by what I said. It's not strong enough. Bones is in trouble. Dragon Zombie. Yo! United we stand! He just drew it! Rabbit Dragon gets defeated! The Mammoth of Goldfine is unstoppable! Well, actually, that other bunny's really good. But the Mammoth of Goldfine is unstoppable. She needs something to pop it. Manticore is really good. I can't believe it. 700 damage goes through. We have ourselves a swords to make sure that she has time to buy her. She buys herself time. This is super good. Macy Hops is a mother that uh, plays dual monsters with her kids. That is the bio, basically. And their kids want to see her go to the pro league. Oh my god, she drew it. And with swords, he can't do anything about it. She's gonna, she, how is this duel back and forth? I thought the second he got his one spell card, he'd win. The one equip spell. But it might, it will, he, why'd he flip that? Why'd he flip that? Don't flip that. No. Bones lost his boss monster. Bones lost his best equip spell. Bones is no longer standing. And Swords is still around. It lasts way too damn long. And he's out of cards. We already saw him use Magic Cylinder. Pot of Greed is so good. I can't believe how strong she is. Macy Hops is here to play. Blade Rabbit's so annoying. Soul Resurrection gets her back her boss monster. Oh, well, she didn't use Blade Rabbit correctly, but whatever. Call of the Haunted, Hex Seal doesn't matter, You're, it wouldn't be strong enough. I mean, it does beat that at least, but it's just, it's not going to matter. Yup! The two strongest cards in Macy's deck- No! The two strongest cards in Macy's deck are gone! It's all up to top decks, Bones is still in the duel- Oh shit, Bones is still in the duel! Anything can happen in today's duel right now. Anybody could get top four. Call of the Haunted, bring back Dragon Zombie, a classic good beater. Mystic Tomato to do some damage. Problem, she wasn't willing to activate him. She's waiting. She knows she can win with it. If he gets gold fine, she knows she can win. She's being patient. 
No, why is she smart? Why is the AI playing smart? Why didn't they just waste magic cylinder like they always do? What's going on? No. No, Bones, don't do this. Don't. No, 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 no. Bones, Bones, Bones. Bones, why is she playing better than normal? Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't put it in attack mode. Don't you dare. No. No. Absolutely not. No. Bones, MST now. Now! No! He got his two strongest cards. His boss, the gold find. His mini boss, the pumpkin. But he's going to fall into her trap. She was smart. She didn't just waste magic cylinder. She used it. She waited for it. She waited. They never wait. They have no resource management. Why did she suddenly gain resource management? What the hell? What's going on? They will blow Monster Aborn, Call of the Haunted, uh, Premature Burial, Harpies, Dark Hole. But they won't blow magic cylinder right when they they always use magic cylinder i've never seen them wait that was the one time i've seen the ai wait in this game we're not talking tag force those motherly instincts i guess that was insane he had her he had her <laughs> holy crap all right well now i'm excited this duel might be more interesting than i thought they're pretty evenly matched the fact that that duel was down to the wire it, it's pretty evenly matched Granted, if she gets Manticore, it won't feel like that. The AI is learning. I, I wish. Jesus. If it was learning, this might actually be fun. Rather than just, oh, yeah, look at that. They've messed up. But this, that was a good play. Go for the flip first. That's smart. TT doesn't matter. Just get rid of Blade Rabbit. Or Melfi Bunny, sure. TT did not matter. It's sad that her mini boss... Oh, my God. TT. It's sad that her mini boss is stronger than his best card, his strongest boss monster. Also, that Dark Hole was also TT and Dark Hole gone, and she got her monster back. I don't play in the tournament now. This is for AIs, not for me. I'm not an AI. I'm real. I feel pain. Ow. Alp, 800 damage. You're gonna need more. Shard agree is very good for her. Look, just get a monster with an equip spell or get gold find with a pyramid of wonder. That's like your only hope. Call the haunted. We're bringing back armored zombie. Sure. Armored zombie's going to make sure. Nope, it was a mecha bunny. All right. Nah, I'm real. I promise you. I'm real. Draws a card. Giant rat. Problematic for me. Bones, don't get too owed by Macy Hops, please. You're my boy. Well, I guess if I had to choose between you and Joey, it would be Joey. But, you know, you're really helping me out in this one Capsule Monster series. So, And you helped me out back in Sacred Cards and Rechef. So, I don't know. I just got to... I got love for you, man. I got love for you, and I don't want you to die. That was the worst use of Pyramid Turtle I've seen in a while. But since you did it, I'm proud of you. <laughs> He's like, Cooper, I'm going to lose. I want you to see a clown card. You, I know you'll like it. He's right. <laughs> He's right. I at least get to see a clown card. <laughs> Shit. He ain't doing so good. He ain't feeling so good, guys. Someone help him. Please. Oh, my buddy. I wish you luck. Oh, at least Vanilla's dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Never the end, no. Never. Absolute Dementia, no. Harpy's Feather Duster, that doesn't even matter. They have Pot of Greed right now. So they could Harpies, they could Pot, they could do whatever they want. My buddy Bones is gonna die. He lost his Call of the Haunted. Damn it. TT... Snake hair is gone, so no chance of getting your fusion monster out. I'm trying to think of one. He already used Dark Hole. He already used TT. I guess Saku, if he if he pulls a Sakuretsu armor, that would do it. As long as she doesn't have a beast monster around, yeah, that would do it. Other than that, yeah, he's screwed. I've just been lucky that she stopped drawing monsters, probably because she used all of her monsters already. She okay? He's halfway there. No. <laughs> he can't have anything. <laughs> Give him something, game. Stop bullying him. Give him a chance. Give him a goddamn chance. That's my buddy you're messing with right now. 
You have no idea how upsetting this is to watch one of your favorite characters just die. I'm saying that to you guys, the guys that actually care about way more characters than I do. <laughs> well, Monster Reborn's his last play. Mystic Tomato. I understand going, <coughs> going Mystic Tomato. You're just trying to make sure you have a few more turns left. Book of Life. Okay, that one. You at least pick the right monster with Pyramid of Like, this time get like a Pumpkin or something. Something that will be strong with an equip spell. That Bones used all of his stuff because he knew it was his last turn, so he had to do it to give him one more turn. Mystic Tomato will probably get Snake Hair, and then it'll be Death. Or Armored Zombie, true. That works. Oh, you really liked Prana? I'm glad somebody liked Prana. I didn't know if people would like somebody that I just pulled out of my... Uh, not out of my ass, but out of the blue. That was a horrible use of Pyramid Turtle, but... Oh, no, it wasn't. That was the best use he could have had for us since it was already in attack mode. Monster of Born is horrifying. You don't need to do this. You stole his Arvin Zombie. That's just not nice. 1500 attack goes through. Pyramid Turtle go into defense mode. You know it's the right play. Manticore. I have no clue. Unknown. I have no clue. Pumpkin. Castle of Dark Illusions. Wait. Pumpkin. How much attack are you at? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How much attack? Just don't put Castle in attack mode. You have to play super safe. He's at 23. He's at 24. He's at 24. Why didn't he attack? No. He lost either way. You, you did it though. But you did it, though. Why? Why? You pulled the combo off for the first time for real when it mattered for exactly the amount of attack you needed. And you didn't attack. You, you were, you were going to lose either way, but still, I'd like to see it. Oh, no. Losing to your own monster? Not in my house. Still beats Pumpkin, but you're not losing to your own monster in my house. All right, Bones, there's no trap in this world that can save you. The game-winning attack is here, everybody. She did it with his monster. That monster. How could you? Macy 2 owed Bones. They were pretty back-and-forth duels, but at the end of the day, Macy just overpowered him. H higher attack points wins duels, especially in older, lower-level Yu-Gi-Oh!, so, let's go ahead and move on. But losing someone I, I like really hurts. Here we go. We have made it to semifinals. I'm a little surprised with top four. Only like one of these people... Oh, two of these people make sense. I thought Bright would make it. I hoped Joey would make it, but I didn't think he'd make it. And Yami Kuroda I thought would make it because his deck is actually good. Macy is the biggest surprise. She should not be here. I thought she would lose to Johnny Steps. When I saw that she had to fight him. But, uh, yeah... Here we go, everybody. It's time for Yami Kuroda to take on Joey Wheeler. Uh, let's see here. Joey. I would do Yu-Gi-Oh. Joey. Joe. Fuck. I don't know where Joey is. I, I do not know where Joey is. This is a problem. I wasn't using him that long. Oh, there. He's in the corner. Every time I don't find a character, it's because they're on the very right or very left. And I, for some reason, I just don't look at those corners. It just doesn't work out. But Yami Kuroda, we'll see how he does against Joey Wheeler. Here we go. Game number one of semifinals. And there. Third and second don't matter. It's literally it, it's literally like pity that they're even letting the number one duelist go to the pro tournament. The minor league is a joke. This is a joke. These duelists are nothing compared to the pro duelists. These decks are jokes compared to the pro decks. Only the first place is allowed. Second, third, I mean, yeah, they'll be recognized more, but they're terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, Joey has his combo for next turn. I'm very happy to see that. I hope he uh, gets some good use out of it. Legin's a little scary, but it's going the other way, so that works out. Joey can overpower Legin with his powerful gear free, the Swordmaster. 
So as long as he gets that card out, he'll be solid. Let's see. Garefrey the Swordmaster, that's my boy right there. And that's a very powerful card going in. And they both have magic stone. How do they keep getting it? It's limited to one and they always get it. All right, there we go. Oh, you're going to be forced into defense mode, and with your field spell, your defense mode sucks. Unless you got Kaius. He did not get Kaius, thank God. Joey Wheeler's holding on, thanks to having a really powerful monster. Don't play Comrade. Play Giant Rad. Damn it. He's addicted to Comrade. Damn it. Okay, if he gets Kaius, you're going to pay very heavily for this. Oh, that's interesting. It's not enough attack points, but if it had just 200 or 300 more attack, it would have been able to do it. Oh, that's not interesting. That's upsetting. Never mind, it's good that you saved your giant rat. Shit. <laughs> he still had a, t a monster left after all of that. His last card was a monster. Okay, giant rat is not good enough. That's not a good idea, Joey. Mystic Tomato wants to die. Don't be a fool. Do not be a fool, Joe. Fuck me. All right, Joey, you just, just hate me, apparently. You just hate me. You save Rush Recklessly for a real monster, then things work. Oh, you had Fairy Buffs the whole time. I did not know that. Fuck. All right, it's Giant Rat. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get more monsters. Get more rats out there. Try again. Fairy Box, come on. Do it for Joey. There we go. We got rid of one monster. Granted, it wasn't even that strong, but the other, the legit needs to die. You got this, Joey. You got this. And sorry I'm very biased in these duels, but only when Joey or Bones comes up. Those are probably the only times I'm going to be biased. Okay, Fairy Box, but he doesn't have many life points left, so if this messes up, he won't have enough to pay for it. Oh, shit. Thank God he had Warrior Lady. Oh, I didn't think he'd pick the Spell or Trap card. That was really smart. Kuroda is going to win this. Um, Holy crap, that was smart. Joey, what do you got left in your deck? Goblins? Goblins don't matter. Um... What, how do we make this matter? Joey is in so much trouble. Giant Rat in attack mode is the worst play. All he had to do was not. He, they can choose not to. All right. Yami Kuroto wins game number one. This is, uh, <laughs> this is not good. Joey's boss lost to his boss. Both boss monsters were summoned, and it did not go well for Joey. We're going into game number two. We're going to see if Yami Kuroda can do it. Will he go to the pros? Joey, don't fail me. You got a little unlucky here and there, and that Caius play was very good going for the trap card. Very smart. I feel like Tac Force AI always picked monsters, so. Yeah, think of your sister, Joey. I will not I will not write a story where she gets healed unless you win. I will say she's blind for the entire series. For the rest of the... However long Master is, for the next five years on YouTube, she'll be a blind character. She'll never get the surgery in time, and she'll have to be blind for the rest of her life. I'll do it, Joey. You better can win. <laughs> Giant Germ. Confir okay, Infinity Dark is good. Fairy Box is hilarious. Although I think you'd rather have that card die. You're lucky that the monster died. You don't want that thing alive. I'm cruel. It's not my fault he's a loser. If he just didn't lose, it wouldn't be cruel. All right, giant rat. Hope that there's no trap back there. Joey's doing some damage, but he did have to spend a Fisher on just a 1,500 attack point monster. So that's not usually good. No, when your opponent runs legit. Mystic Tomato gets rid of Com... Well, might get rid of Comrade. Joey's luck stat. Joey got some luck, but... But how much luck? Because this guy could keep trying. He went for the scapegoat for safety reasons. Joey gets to keep scapegoat, but he doesn't even want the scapegoat. Yeah, that's probably what will happen, total drama. And she'll be better than Joey. It'll be the right thing to do. All right, Lightning Blade goes to Comrade. Comrade now is actually pretty decent. And what the hell are we doing to our rats today? Rats will become comrades. I do kind of like this idea, but you're not going to be able to keep the comrades, so it didn't work out for you. That magic cylinder puts you pretty low. You're actually tied with your opponent now. And you're going to be very reliant on Fairy Box if he doesn't get Caius. Oh my god, are you going to be reliant? Heart of the cards. Fuck. 
Oh, no, you're going to lose your boy. Oh, good. He's not willing to risk it. Thank God. As long as Comrade survives, you're good. You, get, you can get rid of Legion. We're lucky. He would have He would have killed it. The fairy box failed twice. He would have killed it. Cure free. Oh, my God. I've never been so happy to... Fuck me. Wait, it's fine. Monster born. I've never been so happy to see you. Yeah, honestly, pick Legion. I'm not even mad because picking Legion means that if his opponent gets the field spell, he'll be fine. It's a good choice to pick Legit. As long as he doesn't get Kai's. Shit. That's a good card. Alright. It's not the best card in the world, but it's good. Swords of Concealing Light does its job. Command Knight can make up for it, though. The Fairy Box is costing you a little bit here and there. The Giant Germs are costing you a little bit. Here and there. There's still one left for a nice and juicy Kaius, which would get rid of Fairy Box, which would ruin the entire duel for me. Please don't do that. Oh, God. Interesting. Are you willing to risk 1,600 life points? You're willing to risk a, th risk a thousand. That makes sense. Shit. Joey, three losses in a row? It's 50-50, not freaking one out of four. Why are you get three misses in a row? What the hell's going on here? And he can't get he can't get his thing. Wait, wait, comrade, comrade gives you 400, right? That's enough. Comrade gives you enough, but the giant germ is gonna cost you a lot. It's worth it though. It's worth it. Your opponent is open, and fairy box is still protecting you. It is super up to luck now, but you are still in this. You are still in this duel. You need one more monster, and you do not attack with comrade, or I will yell at you. You have no life points to play with, sir. Do not attack with comrade. Good job. And even though it would have been better to attack with Comrade in that one instance, you need to keep your life points up, up pretty up there. You are still in this duel, Joey. What does he got as his last draw? Shit. It could be anything. Pay the 500. Pay the man. Win the duel. Pay the man and win the duel. Just go. 24. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Comrade. Oh, he has nothing left! He's out of 1500s! Yes! Joey takes game two just barely! Yami Kuroda only loses because of some unlucky fairy boxes in the beginning. Oh, he's still in the tournament. Joey, one more. Your sister's eyes are hanging on by a thread. Game three. Will Yami Kuroda take it? He needed Caius in that duel. Or will Joey Wheeler take it? Yeah, that was a long duel. He used up all of his thousand meters. He used all the mystic tomatoes. He used all the infinity darks. He used all the, everything. All the weak monsters were used. Reinforcements for an emergency goblins. Gear freed. Probably going to be your first go. Ooh, command knight. Emergency goblins. Just in case, because, you know, goblins with a command, uh, a command knight. Ooh, that's no good. Uh, goblins with a command knight can defeat Caius, so it's, it's good. Mad Archfiend has no defense and is a weird card to start the duel with, which means the rest of your cards must not be very good. Stealing Gearfried is a cruel, cruel thing you've done. You're a bad person. He's used every card. Get a Dark Hole, Joey. Do it for me. Don't use Fisher, Joey. Interesting. Why not start the duel with Command Knight while you still have swords up and then start beating things up? That way you already kill monsters instead of doing absolutely nothing. He disagrees with me. He wants to do nothing. Double Command Knight would be insane. Double Command Knight would be pretty darn insane. Use goblins while you still have swords, you idiot. Oh my god, you you just terrible. Uh, me and my friends were thinking about doing the Suicide Squad game, and then we, we saw how bad it looked, and we were just like, dude, I just, I'd rather save the $60. And I heard it might cost 70 so I was like, don't worry, man. No way. YouTube doesn't pay enough for me to play that bad of a game where I don't have a chance of making my money back because it's just that bad. All right. Well, you could Fisher, but it would not value. It would have no value. So he got his boss monster, and the boss monster will not do anything because we got the double command knight lock. Um, that's lucky for us. Thank God. That is a lucky top deck that he did not use for what reason? What? Sir, you could have done 2,000 damage this turn. Why didn't you do it? 
Of course, all of my friends have a PlayStation 5. No, wait, no, they don't. Miguel doesn't. Oh, Giant Orc is here, but it can't attack, so Joey needs Gear Freed. Joey's definitely going to need Gear Freed. Oh my god. Wait, that works. The Triple Command Knight? Can you handle the Almighty Three Shoe Beating? Command Knight goes in, and that's 4,800 extra damage. Joey is one turn away from gimmick. He's going to finals. Joey's one turn away. No Dark Hole. Thank you, God. Joey Wheeler, do not, do not be a Mystic Tomato. That is the only thing. Do not be a Mystic Tomato. The Three Musketeer. Oh, damn it. It's a goddamn Mystic Tomato. That's the one thing I told you not to be. Oh, wait. It's still too much damage. Unless the trap activates at the last second. Even then, he didn't get enough. Yeah! Joey Wheeler is going because he top decked three Command Knights. Well, it took a little while to get the third one, but he got three Command Knights and he has taken the game. Joey is in Grand Finals. His sister's surgery might happen. She might get her eyesight back. He just has to win one more match. Yami Kuroda, you are an amazing duelist for minor league standards. You just got outlucked. Outlucked, my friend. He's probably pissed. He's like, what the hell? The question is, who's Joey's final opponent? Everyone in chat, choose who Joey's final opponent will be. Who do you want to see win the whole thing? Joey, Bright, or Macy? Those are your only options. Who can win this entire tournament? If I had to choose, obviously Joey. If I had to choose a second character, um... Screw the revenge plot. I don't think revenge is that important. And I don't think it solves anything. So I would say go go with Macy. I think the mother going to pros would be super funny. Just random bunny mom. Where she's like, oh, I, got, I got my bunny deck that I made with my kids. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, Macy, Macy. Brain control, but you have nothing to use, so why brain control at all? At least you waited. Oh, wow. Wow, you got maximum value from that brain control. I was incorrect. You got the best value out of that brain control. All right. The mama, got, uh, mama did not get any bunny cards in the opening hand, and she didn't need them. Her opponent did 4,100 to herself, basically. Oh, crap. That Harpy's Feather hurts. TT and Magic Cylinder got hit. Those are two of the best traps that are only at one. And they got hit. Giant Rat. Giant Rat's good. Royal Firestorm, get in there. Oh, crap. Don't have your mini boss. Oh, she has nothing. She has nothing. Go get her. Go get her, Macy. Screw the revenge plot. Go, Macy. Go do it. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is not okay. Uh, she attacked in the wrong order there, but whatever. That is not okay. Melfi Bunny! Oh. Oh, no. It got worse. Oh. Mom, I'm sorry. Sorry, kids. Mom's not going to make it. <gasps> Mom got called the Haunted! Rabbit Dragon! The boss monster at the last second! The boss monster at the last second makes all the difference! She can't do it! Bright has to top deck like Fisher. Ultimate Baseball Kid's doing this out of desperation. That was a desperation play. I can't believe Macy got it. Macy got her boss at the last second to overpower the Ultimate Baseball Kid. And because of that, Rabbit Dragon goes in and does not win the duel just yet. Actually, that card will stall for quite a while. It's not over yet. It will cost her five. It's like Fairy Box. It will cost 500. And it stops every direct attack depending on how many pyros you have to get rid of. It's kind of like that Insect Neglect card. But a little worse. Rabbit Dragon. Almost lost the duel. She put... Wait. Why did the AI put Melfi in attack mode with zero? Did Bright just win this because she put Melfi in attack mode with zero? She just really wanted to see the bunny that badly? You... Wait. She can't get 1650 from this. She can't get 1650 from this. The high she can get is fuck me. 
is 15. No! Solar goddamn dragon! The winner is bright! Why would you put it in attack mode? Why, SpongeBob? Why? She thought she had game, but it had zero attack. Why would the AI put it in attack mode if it had zero attack? It's over. We're going to game two. Bright is one away from grand finals. Both characters wanting to help their sisters. One wants to help recovery and, you know, general life. The other one wants for revenge because her sister's still in a coma. Apparently, we need one more like on this video to hit the big goal. Somebody please be that last like. I don't have my phone on me, so I can't... I do have my phone. I just haven't opened it. Macy threw really hard. She just threw away Lightning Vortex. Jesus Christ. Blade Rabbit's right there. You don't need it. You don't even know how to use it. Thank you, Shadow. 100 likes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just to watch Macy Hops throw, sadly. But honestly, I've been very impressed with her performance in this tournament. I didn't think she'd go that far. I thought she was a Joe character like Ray Tortimer. I thought she was just another Ray Tortimer, if, um, if I'm being honest. I thought she would. Oh, thank you so much for liking, everybody. Especially I Hug Pillows. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, there's only three duels left. She needs Rabbit Dragon, like, right now. This is going to be the only time she's going to have this many monsters. Well, that's not good. She got her mini boss, which almost beats Rabbit. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Yeah, Rabbit Dragon would be good since you don't have any damage. Like, let's get a tribute monster. Shit. Well, at least you didn't put it in attack mode. How come you won't put it in attack mode now, huh? Why all of a sudden you don't want to put it in attack mode? Yeah? Come on, Macy. Makes sense. That thing has 2,200 attack. It's going to beat your defenses. Damn. You need a Harpy's Feather Duster or your Tribute. Soul Resurrection just to bring it back. I don't know if it was that valuable. It's not terrible. It's just not that valuable. That's a nice card, but I'm guaranteeing that she's going to have better cards eventually. These are just level 4 monsters. You should wait for the big ones. That card could become a much bigger monster. Although I guess 2,000 attack doesn't threaten you. All right, 500, Mecha Bunny 500 back, so, you know, their life points are staying pretty similar. He's my favorite, too. Joey's my favorite from all of the animes, but OG especially. I appreciate the extra likes. That's Rabbit Dragon. I just noticed she got it. That's Rabbit Dragon. Please tribute the zero attack point monsters. Damn it. You tributed two monsters with attack points instead. Oh, that's fine. 800 extra. Just get in there. And with Rabbit Dragon, she can do it. This boss monster is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, of the tournament. In fact, have we seen all the bosses? Is this the strongest one? Oh, no. You know what was the strongest? It was Georgie's. You guys don't even remember Georgie, do you? <laughs> Georgie was the, the ultimate obedient fiend guy. He had the strongest boss monster. Even if it has no real value. Oh, crap. The thing in the crater is going to have a lot of value right now. This is a triple chain. Now activate blast. Oh, no. I was going to say activate chain strike. And ugh. this ain't so good for you. Magic cylinder. You might as well. 1500 back. Those backfires are going to start costing you, so keep those monsters in defense mode. Just look for tributes. Keep it in defense mode. Don't you dare play it in attack. You, with the backfire on the field, you don't have as many life points as you think. No, the thing in the crater cannot summon the Flame Emperor. It just summons basically everything else in her deck, which helps her get for tributes for the Flame Emperor. All right, heart of the cards, tribute, and there it is! The Flame Emperor, which is stronger than the Rabbit Dragon because of the field spell. The Bunny Dragon, for the first time today, well, second time today, has been defeated by battle. The first time was against Mammoth the Goldvine. Manticore was too late. That You needed that beater monster way earlier. You didn't even tribute set. Damn, you're sad. And that is the end of the duel, everybody. Monster Aborn, they didn't steal Rabbit Dragon out of respect, and I appreciate that. Um, tribute? No, you just had two Flame Emperors in your hand. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't appreciate you anymore. 
There's no card. I think you already used Magic Cylinder way earlier in this duel, so there's not a single card you could top deck to come back. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. Macy Hops is about to get 2 0 She should have won the first duel, but she's about to get 2 0 This is the end. She did really good to go this far. Her kids are probably just happy to see she made it this far. I'm sure they're not going to be sad. Both of them want to. Uh, both of them are have sister reasons for some reason in the grand finals. But before we do that, we are going to do the bronze place breather match. The reason we still do bronze place breather matches in this case is so that in the future, if these characters come back up, I can rate them better and rank them better, depending on who won where. So Macy Hops has to take on Yami Kuro. Okay, this one's going to be very easy. This one's going to be a fast duel. I think we can assume that Yami Kuro is just going to blow through this opponent. Macy Hops is a little too passive with those defensive bunnies, and he's just going to get Caius and blow through right and just really destroy it. And if that doesn't happen, I'll be surprised. I'll be very surprised. I don't know why I got rid of Macy's face. I always do that. I'm not supposed to. Where's Macy at? Macy Hops. Good duels, uh, good duels today. I'm sorry you're not going to Grand Finals. Pot of Greed comes through. Dark Hole. Oh my god. You just spent a Dark Hole on a 1500 meter monster. I hope you know what you're doing. I really hope you know what you're doing. That was a good play with Foolish Burial onto Manticore. That was really good. I appreciate a good play. The problem is, damn. Oh, God. TT. That's not good. She's, oh, I mean, Manticore should come back, but I just don't run out of beast monsters. That's all I'm saying. That's so good. Okay. MST with maximum value. Rescue Rabbit, but there's nothing in your deck with attack. Rescue Rabbit is actually supposed to be used with uh, Giant Rant Special Summon. Then, you know, your next turn you use it. Then you summon Rabbit Dragon. The AI does know how to pull that off. So instead, she thinned out her deck, which that's the best she's going to do with Rescue Rabbit. And Mad Archfiend comes through, and then Mad Archfiend gets rid of Rat. Rat's like, thank you. I get vanilla. But vanilla. Instead of another rat. Do you have two rats in your hand? That's the only explanation. You know that, right? You don't. So, yeah, yeah you're, you're a liar. Why didn't you attack with vanilla? It has 100. Oh, you're going to play in defense mode. Never mind. You, what the fuck? None of this makes sense to me. No, I don't, I don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh. I never have. Never will. We're going to see Caius. We are definitely going to see a Caius. Call of the Haunted will keep you alive. I thought you would miss a tomato. You might not. We might not see a Caius. I thought you were going to miss a tomato. Monster Reborn. This is getting worse by the second. Oh, you could use it. You could actually Gemini that monster if you wanted to. You don't. Yeah, you did. You Gemini'd it. Okay. Gemini effect. Legend goes down. Now, Nibbomamanga attacks. Oh. They have to. Yeah, they have to. Legend will keep the duel going, but it's still over. I don't know how Macy Hops turned this duel around. It. I, I thought she had. Uh, I thought she was going to lose. I thought Caius was basically a guarantee, but it wasn't. Giant Orc. It's over. You know what? For fun, Macy. Just for fun, summon Rabbit Dragon. People like that card. How many people like Rabbit Dragon? I do. I think it's kind of cool. A card that just barely isn't blue eyes. It's like Giga Gaga Giko. Giga Gago. I, I don't know its name. Hey, she did it! For the fans! Rabbit Dragon is here! And Rabbit Dragon end this duel. Game one goes to Mama Macy. I like that. Let's let's call her Mama Macy. Alright. Macy Hops takes it. <clears throat> Game number two. Let's see. I feel like Yami just played a little poorly. He needed to use Mystic Tomato so he couldn't get Caius, but he never did. Let's see if he could do a little better this time. Also, she made a good play using Foolish Burial into Manticore, using Melfi. It was, it was great. Alright, Pot of Greed. He has a pretty good hand this time. This hand, he, this hand is really good. Monster Reborn guarantees Caius. He also got Pot of Greed. That's a great hand. It doesn't get much better than that. Sure. Don't waste your Monster Born. Don't wait. God damn it. That card does not need monster. Vanilla could kill that card. Do you not realize how? No. Don't give it an equip spell. Oh my god. You're dumb. Oh. Oh. That hurt. That hurt my head. Oh man. 
Oh, you're making me upset. You are ma- Oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, it didn't matter what you did now. Oh, it was tributed, so he gets it back. That's funny. Um, it doesn't matter what you got now, because now... You need to giant germ as soon as possible. Oh, you know what? No, you could use the swords into giant orc, but then... That doesn't get you Caius. Just, just use giant germ. Damn. You, di you didn't use any of it. Manticore probably will come back and then just kill you because you're a giant orc. Throw away Melfi, get back. Yep, that, that's how we play. You might need one more monster. You don't know about Rageki Break, but I do. I'm, uh, Ma Macy, he's got Rageki Break. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. See, I, I I helped her out. I cheated. Why would you? Okay, whatever. You really don't want to see that Mecha Bunny, apparently. He hates it. And Giant Orc with the Equip spell is gone. Now you can Giant Germ. How about that? How about now, you Giant Germ? You willing? That's a really good card. Let's see what Macy gets. She needs a vanilla with 150 attack. All right. This duel's over because Manticore it always comes back, but not when you have freaking uh, Kai is banishing it. Once Kai banishes it, this whole... Oh, yeah. This duel's over. All right. Here we go. Boss monster time with an animation. Caius comes in. Manticore gets super banished. With it being banished, it's two direct attacks, and two direct attacks do too much damage. Macy Hops loses game number two. We are moving into game three. We've had... This is probably the day we've had the most game threes. Let's be real. We've had the most game threes today. So, going into game three, Yami Kuroda or Macy Hops, who do you choose to get that bronze medal that I might forget about so hopefully someone keeps track? But I'll have it on paper. It'll be in the tournaments so that I can remember them if I really need to look it up. But, like, let's say 50 tournaments down the line, finding that tournament might take a while. Giant Germ is gone. Infinity Dark is here. If Infinity Dark gets normal summoned again, it will be able to change battle positions of anything it attacks. Just like Gravy Capers to say, oh my god, you spent... This is the second time she spent Dark Hole on that monster. Funny enough, the last time she did it, she won that duel. So maybe, just maybe, it's worth it. Also, he doesn't have Caius this time. So her chances of winning went way up. Giant Orc is dead. Good. All right, appreciate you, Alexi. Crap, she's... Oh, no, the mom is bricked! The mom is bricked! Oh, God, it's Caius! Oh, God, things are going falling apart real quick, everybody. Things are falling apart real quick. Luckily, Shard of Greed has a lot of value. Getting it this early is so good. Shard of Greed gets into Pot of Greed. You're very, very nice of you, Alexi. I really appreciate that. Vanilla for 150. Hell yeah, let's go, Vanilla. I, I am so sad I had to say that because that was a horrible play, but let's go. Use Dark Hole on Vanilla. It's too strong. Mad Archfiend would lose. Oh my god, Mad Archfiend loses. That's what I thought. You know what would be better than one Vanilla? Oh my god, you did! I was joking! I was joking! I didn't think any AI in the world would be bad enough. Holy shit, are you stupid? Oh my god, why would you monster abort it? There's so many better cards in his grave. Oh my god, it's for tribute, that's why. Okay, never mind, it's fine, that's fine. He was stupid, not you. He was stupid. That vanilla was worth a dark hole. That vanilla was worth a dark hole. In his mind. Mad Archfiend gets to do some piercing, but then will die horribly. But the fact that he's not going for Giant Germ means he's not getting a chance to get Caius. If he had gone for Giant Germ earlier, he might have actually had a chance. I didn't know the AI was stupid enough to listen to me. Jesus Christ, he actually used it, and now he's going to lose. Is he actually going to get fourth? Because he... I, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. It blows my mind. Double Caius, but it's too damn late. You didn't use your Giant Germ earlier. Pot of Greed, she might get another monster, even though she doesn't really run many. Rescue Rabbit. Put him in attack mode. You coward. I said do it just out of hilarity, but... She's out of germs. And it's over. 500 burn, but literally, it, it, it's over. His hand's a brick. 
Legit's not bad, but then you'll just give her more Momongas, and she actually heals more than she takes damage. I think she only has one left, though. She lost one earlier, right? But literally, all you did was heal her for 200. That, 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 that's all you did. No, he has three germs. He, he used one earlier. That's the problem. One more turn. He has one turn. He needs some sort of revival card so he can go into Caius. That is a good card. Oh, wait. Is there too many dark monsters in the grave? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, no. It's only good if there's like uh, two to four. It is over, Shadow Rock Yaki Break anyway. Macy Hops. Mama, Bunny, whatever. She has done it. Mama Macy has gotten bronze. Her kids could not be more proud. I, I am, I, I'm proud. Hell, I'm watching. I'm like, hey, look at that. She made it third place. That's really good. But now it's time. And don't be too hard on Yami Kuroda. He is literally an elementary school student. And not only that, he looks up to Nightshroud, who's a total loser. So, like, come on. It was bound to happen. This duel has a lot of importance behind it because this duel will actually decide someone's fate. Joey wins, his sister will get that surgery, and he gets to go to the tournament next week where we get to find a new king of games. Bright wins, she gets to go to the tournament next week and try to stop, uh, well, well, let's say defeat the D so that she can get revenge for what happened to uh, Odelia, her sister. Both are sister related. One's about revenge and one's about actually helping someone that can be helped, but he just needs money. All right, let's do this. Joey's ready to go. Bright is ready to go. The final fight. Final matches of the day. Who is better? The fire deck of Bright or Joey? Alright, they're ready to go. Giant rat. Fine start, Joey. It's a fine start. Bright has a great hand. Getting backfire this early has a lot of value. Hitting Kunai with Chain has value. Alright. Damn, Kunai with Chain would have been nice. Giant Rat, Exile Force. That's sad that you have to use it so early, but I agree. You kind of have to use it this early. Backfire this early is going to be very painful for Joey. I'm sure he knows that, though. He's not going to use it. Then why even choose it? Might as well pick another rat for safety reasons. All right. Do you have another trap card to protect? Ooh. Okay. Well, that exile force ain't sticking around. I'll tell you that much. Firewall. Wow. She only has one of those. She got it again. That is insane. Okay. Warrior lady. She's fine. Exile force did not work. What? Just use exile force if you're too afraid to attack. Yeah. They're so afraid that they have a boss monster. They don't attack against that card. But... Then it results in stuff like this, where it's like, dude, you should have just done it. And Warrior Lady returns with Warrior Lady, and there it goes Gear Free. Now do you feel bad? Now do you feel bad about not doing it, Joey? God damn it. How could you fail me? Oh, Jesus Christ, Joey. Oh, man, that's... Okay, luckily she's as stupid as you. For some reason, they pick the worst cards when it comes to that fire trap. But at least it does damage. A thousand burn is like she used tremendous fire, so it had value. Backfire an extra 500 for fun. And Joey's bricked. So he dark hold knowing he had no other options. That's... Whew, that That's upsetting. Monster Reborn. Spirit of the Flames makes the most sense. That's a very, very good card. 2,000 attack points are coming through. Joey has scapegoats. I did not... I didn't know you had scapegoats. Okay. We'll see if scapegoats makes a difference. I... Fairy box? I was going to say, yeah. Don't, don't use it yet. You don't need four scapegoats. Three scapegoats is enough. Four is pushing it. 500 life points is gone. Reinforcements, okay. Goblins, I would have picked Gear Free, but sure, you do you. Goblins goes in. Goblins does it. Officially, Bright is bricked, and she has to top deck a monster card. Will she top deck a monster that is not her, uh, what's it called? Oh, she did. I was going to say her tribute monster. She has Twin Head, and she has Flame Lord. Heads? Dude, Joey couldn't protect his monster! 
Oh my god, he's gonna lose too many life points. The box on top of the backfire on top of Solar Flare Dragon, it's too much. Joey, get a monster. Okay, that helps, but get a monster. Is the I, I have to ask Joey, is the car Oh you had gear free! Yeah! No! Shit! Well at least she has to start paying now too. Okay, he got rid of Solar Flare, which is super valuable, but he's running out of life points, and let's just say that that it's that uh, fairy box is going to cost him more than help him, especially when Call of the Haunted's in the hand. It's over. It's over. Why didn't you summon Spirit of the Flames? What the fuck? You got fire monsters for days. Why didn't you summon Spirit of the Flames and attack your... Oh, you're afraid of fairy... Oh, shit! You're afraid! He got it! The Sword Master! He she's afraid of fairy box! She's afraid of fairy box! Joey, you got I, I Look, you got Gear Freed. Stop paying. Stop paying for Fairy Box. It's not worth it anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joey. It's not worth it anymore. You got to stop, bro. She could crash and win. She could crash and win, dude. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know what you're doing. She could just crash and win. None of this matters. Joey's done. All right. Well... Game number one, we're going to have to give it to Bright Spark. She has this game in the bag. All she has to do is attack with any monster or or just wait for that card to die, sure. It doesn't matter. Double backfire, he knows he can no longer attack, which I still don't understand why she's not using Spirit of the Flame. She has a fire monster in the grave. Joey didn't even destroy the monster. What the fuck is going on? She has plenty of fire monsters in the grave. She's just choosing not to. I bet you she'll summon UFO Turtle for no reason. Oh, oh no! All of a sudden, you feel like it. All right, whatever. Whatever. She's a little weird. It's fine. Bright takes game number one. It seems revenge is more important than actually just needing money. <laughs> needing money is not as important as revenge. But we're going to go into game two. Joey Wheeler, if you lose this right now, you're out. And her burn deck has done it. Let's see if you can pull this off. Now, Fairy Box is going to be getting countered if she draws Backfire that early again, because the fact that she got it early was one of the biggest things. That's a really good trap as well, but it's not Backfire, so... Yeah. I'm sure it won't be that valuable. However, that Harpy's Feather Duster is extremely valuable against Joey. Damn it. Alright, Gear Freeze, one of his best cards. It's gone. Maybe it won't be that valuable. Maybe she'll just hit one card. That trap is very valuable as well. I feel like if you see a trap from her, it's going to burn. He lost a fairy box, which is probably better for us. He got... She, Jesus. She got Infernal Flame Lord, which is horrifying. Joey can't beat that card. In terms of attack, his boss monster can't beat it without equips or, or other monsters. Joey just can't beat that card. Spirit of the Flames is going to be horrifying. and a Okay, this is horrifying. Joey's duel might already be over. Warrior Lady could hold on for just a second, but it's going to cost him all of his life points to hold on. Every life point he has. Game 2 is all bright, baby. All she has to do is activate her trap card, but the AI is not smart enough to do that. I am not lying when I say that. She will activate her trap card. He's going to activate Exile. She'll activate her trap. It's over. The winner is Bright... Wait, wait for it. Bright Abyss. Joey Wheeler... Your sister's going to be blind forever. 2,700 damage has been dealt. Joey is still a pretty good duelist, but he gets countered by Burn Duelist. Burn Duelist in particular counter his deck. So, there it is. Our boy Lost Bright has done it. She earned her way from the underground to the minor to the pros. And because she's done it, she can now go and try to get some revenge on the man himself. The D. But that won't be happening for another week and two days because this Saturday, for those of you that don't know or don't keep up, this Saturday is the Fortune Cup and you're going to see some 5Ds deck go full power with super fast decks. They're going to be super good. They're going to have all the card support they need. It's going to be great. And of course, you're going to see really strong characters like Akiza. You're going to see Leo. You're going to see characters you love. But Joey did fail his sister. He's a, he's a joke. Good, good job, Joey. Bright Abyss has done it. Her quest for revenge can continue. But we'll see if that happens. That will be next week. 
Do not miss this Saturday's tournament on Twitch. It will be a little bit of a shorter tournament just because I have things to do that day. But uh, it's going to be a great tournament just because the decks are going to be so fast. You got some of the best boss monsters in the game and all your favorite characters will be there. Whether or not you really think they're your favorite. I mean, come on. Y'all love Lug, don't you? Who doesn't love Lug? He's going to be there. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'll see you all next time. Please remember to uh, like and subscribe on YouTube and go follow me on Twitch because Saturday's tournament is a coming. Bye, guys.